10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi, Ham Fam. <laughs> I am very sick today. Hello. So I tried to make myself look semi-human. So don't judge me. I had like all these plans to be all like cute and stuff today, but apparently that's not happening. So you get this. You get this instead. And I'm sorry. Hello, Ham Fam. How are we doing? Happy Saturday. I didn't want to cancel another Life is Strange stream. I, I was like 99.9% .9 sure y'all were going to fucking schmurder me uh, if I canceled another Life is Strange stream. So we're here, we ball. I am very sweaty. <laughs> I have a fever. You can see all my shit in the background. Hold on. No, no, hold on. No, no, no. Please hold. Please hold. No. You don't get to see my vacuum. This is for Strider. It's fucking epic. Oh my god. Okay, hi, I'm back. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, so we're having a very, like, low energy, very low energy, very no alerts. There's gonna be no alerts. There's gonna be no, no corn. None of that shit. It's just gonna be you and me and Life is Strange makes three, okay? That's all we're doing. Plus, plus I don't want like, like, like last time, I don't want like any like, I don't want corn going off in the middle of like <sighs> emotional damage scenes because that would be fucking wild uh, and terrible to be honest. Am I not Sarah's icon? Yeah, so uh, full disclosure, I'm super stressed. I'm I'm not doing well, ham fam. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm I'm like I'm stressed. I'm stressed as fuck. I'm stressed as fuck. Uh and I think that's what's making me sick is the fact that I am stressed as fuck. Uh but I'm trying. I'm here. Um I'm, I'm here. I'm living life. Uh but I wanted to hang out with you guys a little bit. Just because I don't know what my stream schedule is gonna look like the next couple weeks. Um I might have to take like massive overtime or a second job because uh, your girl has no money uh, because she gave a lot of money to the ex uh, to help support him. And obviously that was a bad idea uh, because now I have no money. So, uh, <laughs> so I also am going to look at like six apartments next week um so uh pray for me that one i can i find what i like two i find what i like that i can afford and three that i can afford to move in there uh so i might be moving within the next couple weeks it's all happening very quickly uh so yeah just uh manifest all the good things for me right now please thank you uh so i want i didn't want to cancel today's stream because I wanted to make sure that I got to spend as much time with you guys as I can, just in case I do have to, like, I don't want to say stop streaming. Because that kills me. Because you guys know how much I love the community. Um, but I might have to step away for a while. Oh no, I don't have snap cam on. I can't cry. I can't cry because I don't have potato to hide it. No tears. Ain't got no tears left to cry. Okay, we're good. Sorry. Sometimes you just gotta sing a little Ariana Grande to bring it back. Uh, but yeah. So things are things are messy and complicated right now. Uh, which sucks. I always tell you guys that you'll never regret being a nice person, but sometimes it's not worth it to be nice to certain people. That's all I'm going to say. Remember to protect yourselves first um, and foremost. Okay? So just remember that. Anyway, KK, Kai, <coughs> Camilla, thank you so much for being part of Pre-Stream Crew. I appreciate the hell out of you all. 
I hope you're doing well and thank you for being here. Sorry that I started stream a little bit late. Uh, uh, full disclosure, I threw up <laughs> like five minutes before stream started. I am really sick. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so, um, oh, no, I'm just going to cry. Stop. Anyway, uh, baby bagel dose. Yes, that's me. Hi. Uh, and yes, Camilla, hello. Uh, Camilla. Hi, Tempest. Welcome in. It's good to see you. KK, you were first today, even though the bot didn't register for some reason. Uh, this is your second first for the year. Let me add you to the spot of honor. Please, please hold. First, first, first. Knockout. Because <laughs> it's knockout, knockout. You gotta get that second knockout in there. You know? Um, oh, shit. <clears throat> Crispy! Thank you so much for 15 months of resubs. I appreciate the hell out of you. You are the best, the best, the best. Um, thank you. You're the best. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Crispy? Oh, yes, Crackers, Daddy. Stranger. Thank you for the $10 dono. I appreciate it. Don't make Chapter seven, don't make me cry. I can't cry, you guys. I don't have potato. I literally turned off. I literally turned off um, <clears throat> snap cam today because I didn't want it to be distracting from the message of the game. And now I, need, now I need it. Oh no, I've ruined myself. I need it. Uh, Tremoir, welcome in. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a great Saturday. Hi, Halen. Welcome in. Morning, folks. Shadow, what up? How you doing? Oh, look, it's the best part of the day. The ham fam. Chibi, you are right. The best part of waking up is the ham fam in your cup. You didn't know? Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> Trying to, like, mop my face up. Uh, hello, Bagel and Hamley. Hello, Kaylee. How are we doing? It's good to see you. I will lurk for a bit. We'll get some food. Observing the cat. Oh? The cat's doing some. I, I love the stories of you and the cat, Camilla. The friendship, the unlikely friendship. Uh, but how we doing? Uh, so what do y'all think about Adam Driver? Eh, he's a good actor. I don't, I don't understand why people think he's hot as fuck. Unless I'm missing something and you want to like enlighten me, Nikkei. And also, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Starlight, Starbright, first star I see today. Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a fantastic one. Thanks for being here, you little cutie. Uh, you're also a cutie. I just saw your message. Everyone's a cutie. Everyone's cuties. Hey, yo. Hi, Shay. How you doing? Hey, yo, Shay, yo. How you doing? Happy Saturday. Welcome in. Oh, sorry. I'm, like, trying to talk and my throat's half swollen and I can't hear the bad ear day. Hey there, Hamley. Hi, Almighty J. Welcome in. How you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, no. The voices are back. <laughs> Was it me behind the dark screen? Baby, you're always sick. I'm gonna fight the germs. Please do. I'm t I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm just exhausted. It doesn't matter. Like, I got so much sleep last night and none of it fucking mattered because I just woke up sicker than I went to bed. I don't know why. Bagel, thank goodness there was this creepy voice. Did it sound like me? Just out of curiosity. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Vodka, it would solve the sick, but someone doesn't listen to my advice. Alex, I'm not gonna drink vodka. You know what? Fuck it. Do I just take a shot of vodka right now just to appease you, sir? Will that leave you alone? Will, will that leave you alone? Will that make you leave me alone? Do you want me to just take a shot of vodka right now? 2 p.m. on a Saturday? Oh, hi. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? How's your day going? You, me, and disease. Yeah, that's literally my life right now. That's how it feels. For real, for real. Uh, no porn? Oh, cor yeah, no, corn. It's corn, not it's porn, you know. I hope you feel better soon. Take your time. Uh, you need to get better. Thank you, Jasper. Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. How is everything? <laughs> you guys, I'm trying not to fuck up my eyeliner. <laughs> I just, the the tears, the tears started coming and they didn't stop coming. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Wow, bagel. Don't stop. Everyone stop having reactions to this because then I'll start crying again. And then you guys will have more reactions to it. And then later, and I read those reactions, I'll start crying again. And then I was just going to lather, rinse, repeat. Thank you for the hydrate or dihydrate, Chris. I'm going to get on that in just a second here. Manifest in a cheap, nice apartment by next Saturday. Got it. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I, like, I feel like I'm, I just, I am, I am bad. It's like I have two people stuck in my body. Ayo. 
Uh, it's like I have two people battling for control of my body. There is the higher plane consciousness bagel who understands that everything is going to be okay and everything will work out. <laughs> Stop! And then there's, <laughs> there's this bagel who's freaking out because she can only see the short term and just is like... So overwhelmed. Stop. Stop it. And then and then and then the higher consciousness bagel gets mad at this bagel for crying. <sighs> Please hold. Please hold. Again. I would like to reiterate my advice. Don't trust a hoe, never trust a hoe, and you can't turn a hoe into a house husband. <laughs> Just don't do it. Just don't do it. You can't turn you can't turn a hoe into a house because they fuck you over. Anyway, we love you, Bagel. I love you, Shay. Thank you. We always have Discord. I know, but it's not the same. I know. You know, embody the song in the background. Oh, do I? <laughs> do I have Candyman still replaying? And no one told me <laughs> that, like, the first 20 minutes of my bot are gonna get muted. Oh no, this is not a good time. <laughs> Please hold, let me do this. I am a mess today, you guys. This is not a good time. Please hold. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm falling. You know what? Maybe we just make this a mental breakdown stream. <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a while, right? <laughs> right? Right? For, for realsies, though, I haven't had a mental breakdown in a while, in a hot minute. Uh, we're long overdue. Uh, we're long overdue for the mental breakdown stream. Please hold. Let me. Where are my head? Where's my headset? Uh, but yeah, okay. How's this? Is this, uh, is this more enjoyable slash and or less DMCA? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, how we all feel? Uh, you know if you need time away, we're not going anywhere. I don't want time away. That's the thing. I, like, like, need? I don't know. I, I just like, I'm just, everything is going to be okay. I just need to believe that everything is going to be okay and everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. <sighs> but universe, you are testing my fucking patience. <laughs> it's me. I'm testing my patience. I'm testing my own patience. Oh my god. Uh, and Crispy, thank you again for 15 months. 15 fucking months. It's okay, loves. No, it's not. Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. I decided that you guys, I was going to dress up all pretty today um, and like do like a, like a makeup for Valentine's Day because I felt like shit. So I got my hair. I did. I did the massive amounts of curls that you guys have always wanted. I, I was like, I was like, I'm just going to let my hair go full fucking curl plastic. Uh, and now it's getting stuck in my earrings, which is fantastic. Um, but I was like, yeah, we're going to look all cute. And instead I woke up six and I look like the Hamburglar. I can't tell. Do I look like the Hamburglar? I feel like I might slightly look like the Hamburglar. No? You guys want to see the full, you guys want to see the full Hamburglin fit? The, the full Burglin? Hold on. The full burgle. <laughs> Do I look like the Hamburglar? Do I look like the Hamburglar? Oh my god, okay, this chair does not- I need a chair with wheels. I used to have my shit together. Remember when I used to be, like, good at this? Oh my god, okay, my eyes need to stop being wet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna- we're gonna do this. Gel about what? My hair gel? Uh, hello there. Hi, Mr. Poe. Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. How is life? What is new? How are you? Hashtag Hamley for life. Stop it. Every little bit helps. Stranger, it does. And thank you. You have no idea. The kind of, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your kindness. 
and thank you for that donation. I appreciate you. Can we get more love and hype in the chat for Stranger, by the way? I appreciate- You guys, I owe you- You guys know you mean the world to me, right? <laughs> and that's why I'm so upset. <laughs> uh, stop it! Chapter 7! Don't make me cry! <laughs> yes, thank you. That's what we need from him. Chapter 7. Uh, doing pretty good. Love your face so much. Love your face so much. You have such a cute little face. I was watching you play Stardew the other day. Your face is so fucking cute. Stop it. I can't <laughs> I can't cry, guys. I don't have potato. I don't. And I also don't have patience for my own- mm -hmm. Yeah, get them out of the way now, because once we go to the game screen, all the sound alerts are gone. Hi, BB. Welcome in. Chapter 8. <laughs> <laughs> Don't roast me. Wanted to tap, <laughs> but tapped enter. That's fine. You're good. Uh, Mr. Poe is 65%. Okay. Gas Station Rogers. Hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I just woke up. What episode did I miss? Uh, you know, just the hot girl shit. You know, the usual hot girl shit. Uh, but yeah, Camilla, 85% sassy today. She. KK, 30% sassy today. Lie down, try not to cry, cry a lot. Yeah, that's literally the story of my life. Uh, it'll be fine. Everything's gonna work out. I just have to believe that everything is going to work. Uh, I might do a subathon very, very soon. Uh, and by a subathon, I mean like a help me, uh, fix my car and pay for a down payment on my, my deposit on my apartment a thon. Uh, so, you know, start telling your friends. TBD. You guys, my hair is getting stuck in my earring. No, this is a nightmare. This is this is the dream. This is not what dreams are made of. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. Uh, but yeah, Haley, eighteen percent size. I don't know. I think he. I, I think he's hot. I don't know. You know, different strokes for different folks. I mean, he's not ugly. I just I just don't look at him and go. Ugh! You know, it's not it's not who I look. I don't go Ugh! when I see him. You know? Uh, you guys, I just watched the movie Strays. How the fuck did that movie make it past the writing room? Strays? I've never heard of it. Should I look into it? Hello, Bagel. Hi, Kitty Hippie Chick. How you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday. Welcome in to the chaos, per usual. Uh, I don't understand it, but it's there. You know, attraction is, is there sometimes. Uh, who is Adam Driver? Yes, Kylo Ren. Sending the white light of healing. Thank you, Kitty. I appreciate you. Uh, hi, hi, Valley. Welcome. In. Can I get an exclamation point chat in the chat? I have no idea how far behind I am, and I'm so sorry. Uh, Valley, welcome in. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. How are you doing? It's probably just stress. It is so much stress. You guys, I want to, I want to unload and just bitch about everything right now because your girl is stressed. But also, I don't think that you guys want that, so I'm not going to. But however, I could, and, and. Maybe I should just get drunk and unload. Should I just get really fucking sloppy drunk and just tell you all my woes? Should, should I just get really sloppy fucking drunk and tell you all my woes? Cause like, but like at the same time, I don't like, no. Because I don't want to be that person who just like fucking, I don't want to drag people unnecessarily, but sometimes people need to be dragged. I just want to know. Sometimes people just need to be dragged. I vote absinthe? Nothing. That would kill me. Are you kidding me? You guys see what a fucking shot of tequila does to me. Absinthe would ruin my life. Quispy is 46% sassy today. Sheesh. Uh, Kitty, 20% sassy. Yeah, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. It would solve the sick. That's all I'm saying. Am I just going to get drunk and weep? Is, is that what today's stream is? Drunk and weepy life is strange. Right? Legal to drink at any hour. True. Thank you for the exclamation point. Chat! Hi, I appreciate you. It's porn. A big lump with knobs. It has the juice. Is that what we're going for here, Spring? Endless cycle of tears for real though, KK. Your hair looks pretty. Thank you, Shadow. I wanted to give you guys the full curl because I always tease the full curl and then the full curl never happens. So I was like, all right, I'm committing to it. We're just gonna, I went to bed with my hair wet last night. I, uh, I did the thing. Material girl. That's me. Uh, anyway, let's pretend I didn't do whatever the fuck I just did with my face. Uh, <laughs> that's why I tried to distract. 
Nick K, I don't know why, but I heard that in this tone right here. That's why I tried to distract you with how I want to fuck Adam Driver. Like, I feel like that's... That was the vibe you were giving there. Like, oh, bagel. That's why I was trying to talk about fucking Adam Driver. <laughs> and the lower consciousness bagel just, yes. And the lowest consciousness bagel is just sleeping. Just, she's like, you know what? It, I'm just gonna wake up one day and every, every problem's gonna be solved for me. Oh, you get it, stranger. Oh my god, so how are we all doing? Hi Strider, welcome in, how are you doing? It's good to see you, happy Saturday. Can't turn a hoe into a house husband. Yeah, you write that down! Fuckers. I could barely hear it, it's okay. Oh, the music? Fuck, that's so embarrassing. Sometimes when I find a new song that I like, I do the ADHD thing where I hyperfixate and I listen to it on loop for like 12 hours and it's delightful. For me, and only me, and no one else. Everyone else, hey, I literally, I uh, I should have known I was neurodivergent long before I, I knew, um, because when my best friend and I lived together, she would, like, I would find a new song I like, and then um, I would listen to it on repeat, like for days, for weeks at a time, just like all over the house, like while I was in the kitchen cooking, while I was in my bedroom, while I was in the living room, like playing games. And I remember uh, after she and I had like, she had moved and she was like with her now husband and they were living together. And I was like, uh, I had moved and I was with my now ex. Uh, we had like, we had met up, we flew, we, I flew out there to hang out with her uh, and stuff like that. And we were out somewhere and uh, like one of the songs that I had like really hyper fixated on and I think it was like a Maroon 5 song came on in the restaurant we were on or we were in and I was like, oh my God, I love this song. And I heard her say under her breath, I used to like this song. And I looked at her and I was like, what? You don't like this song? What happened? She goes, you listen to it every day for like a week, for like 12 hours a day. And I hate it now. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, no, but it's so good. How can you not listen to the same song on repeat? And she's like, I don't know how you can. And I'm like, oh, fuck me, I guess. All right, fine. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh my, oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta do a hydrate and a drown right now. Thank you. Please hold. That's a lot of water. That's so much water. Woo! That's spicy. Uh, darn right, everything will be okay. Ooh, can we make a co-mental breakdown stream? Yeah, would you guys like to have a mental breakdown stream? Would you like a mental breakdown stream? Life do be life in. Seriously though, hi Spartan, welcome in, how are you doing? Sorry I never answered your message the other day. I forgot, uh, I saw it and then I did the neurodivergent thing where I like answered it in my head and then I, and then I didn't answer. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry. Uh, I was sort of good and then seizure Thursday, 5 p.m. So back to square one on the men. Even wrote a new song this morning. Hey, I'm glad to hear that you are on the men. Awesome about the new song, Kitty. That is awesome. And I'm sorry about the seizure. I really, really hope they figure out what's going on because you deserve to not um, have to deal with seizure. I'm sorry that you, I'm sorry that you um, Moving your head around like you're in a shampoo commercial. You think so, Mayor? <laughs> my straw got stuck in my hair. My straw got stuck in my hair, you guys. This is this is just this is just I'm batting a thousand today, okay? This is this is terrible. This is this is terrible. Uh Mayor McCheese, man. I look like Mayor McCheese. Jesus Christ. Rizzing me up without even trying. I'm not trying to. The Hamburglar? You don't think I look like the Hamburglar? Or do you not know who the Hamburglar is? What? KK. You have- everyone has to know who- you guys know who the Hamburglar is. What's the difference between an arousal and a hamburger? You're not giving me a hamburger. <laughs> Mayor, what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> That was wild. Okay, sorry. Love strikes. I do too. Cutest hamburglar ever. Thank you. But I feel like I look like the hamburglar. Uh, let's see. My job is jobbing and Twitch isn't twitching, but Bagel, I love you. I'll catch the VOD highlights and you do not look like the hamburglar. You look like the hot burglar. Thank you, Chibi. I appreciate it. Can we uh, get some love and hype in the chat for Chibi? Enjoy your day at work. I hope you have a fantastic day and good luck. Uh, 
life is life. In. Life would just be fucking life in today. Uh, Spartan is 76% Saturday. Sheesh. Did anyone else see that floaty thing pass by the left of the screen? I hope that was just a hair. Uh, no, this house is probably haunted. It was, I mean, it, hopefully it was a hair. Hopefully it wasn't like a spider, because I know spiders like to fly since you guys ruined my life and told me that last year. By the way, thank you for that, that fucking and never ending nightmare that I definitely didn't fucking need to know about. Uh, and then two, dos, uno dos, uh, uh, yeah, it could have been next week. I don't know. This place is definitely haunted. Not like by anything malicious, just like little weird little things happen or I'll hear a voice or I'll, or like something will happen, like, like something will move and I'm like, I'm alone. Okay. Anyway, uh, I did see it. What was that? Could have been cat hair. Uh, Tempest, 56% sassy today. Sheesh. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. How's the wife? Uh, oh, you too can check, uh, catch the VOD highlights over on the VOD YouTube channel. Socials in the chat today. Thank you, Gigi. I appreciate it. Uh, fuck jewelry, honestly. I like my earrings, though. Like, I love earrings so much. I love wearing earrings so, so much. Andy, welcome in. Hello, all. Just dropping in real quick. Watching women's hockey right now. Ooh, have fun. 22% uh, sassy today. Sheesh. Uh, ghost hair. You guys clipped the ghost hair. To watch the ghost hair. Come on, come on. Hold on. Please hold. We're not holding. There's a distinct lack of holding. The video's just playing. Scorpio power. Damn. As a fellow girl, I love the tea. And as Scorpio, I'm here to tell you, fuck that bitch. Tell us, BB. Give it to us. Hi, Shruffy. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday so far. And welcome in. Um. Like, I'm very much one of those people that, like, I firmly believe in karma and, like, everything, everything that what what gets put into the universe comes back tenfold, is what I believe. So, I'm just waiting for karma to do its thing to the people that have betrayed me. Is it? Was it? Okay, this song is a bop though. It's the night away. Don't be ready so weak. Oh, it's the night away. No matter what they say. Okay. <clears throat> Please hold. Night away. Okay. And thank you. You have no idea. The kind of, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Was it that? Oh, yeah, it's just a hair. It's a hair. It's just a hair. Ghost hair. Ooh. Ghost hair. <laughs> is this what you guys wanted from me? Is the, I don't think this is the content anyone wanted from me today. I'm just throwing that out there. No more bees awake. the last to stay. All right, sorry, I'm done being ADHD. Uh, is it time for another late night homie chat session? The results in us staying up like three hours past when we said, all right, gonna get some sleep? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That was funny the other night though, Spartan. We were all like, okay, it's time to go. And then like three hours later, we're still up. That's how I said it for real. Okay, good, Nikkei. I'm glad I picked up on that tone then. I mean, Adam Driver's a little hot. Really, you think so far, you know? Also, hi, welcome back. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Adam Driver, Mini Driver, Baby Driver so many drivers and so little time to drive i'm sorry for getting you stuck on another song why are you sorry kai it's a good song lurk with love sprite and nicotine thank you so much for the lurk i hope you're having a fantastic saturday and i hope to see you again very soon uh to be honest i do that with every new song i find right like sometimes you just gotta obsess about the new music you find a little bit show it a little love uh that's neat vodka in that cup this isn't vodka this is water what do you mean? I thought listening to one single song whole day without changing to another was the default setting of the human brain? No, apparently not. And apparently it annoys. Apparently it's fucking annoying to the default setting brains. I didn't know this. Uh, literally, like, my best friend ruined my entire viewpoint on that. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm a dick. Okay, sorry. You could have told me I'm a dick. You could have, you like, mentioned that I'm a dick. 
Uh, add me to the put song repeat forever crew. There you go. KK, one of us. One of us. Sorry, I cried and now I have like... My eyes are burning. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Mr. Poe. I appreciate you. Did you just say sorry? Yes. And I'm sorry. Suck it. Uh, I know who isn't. Don't... I know who it is. Don't worry. I listen to Everlong, The Food Fighters with David Grohl every night. Uh, Everlong is one of my top... 10 favorite songs kitty that is fucking amazing uh everlong just hits it just hits hard man especially the acoustic version it's so good who is hamburglar oh my god okay hold on we're gonna do a little lesson for those who don't know who the hamburglar is hamburg burglar ham ham hamburglar so back in the day mcdonald's tried to make their shit more appeasing i don't know I, how do i say this they had like a whole little world of hamburg of of characters right uh and and this is the hamburglar i'm giving hamburglar right it's giving hamburglar i'm the hamburglar bitch i'm hungry yo 90% of seizures are brought on by a person two doors down using hard drugs. No matter what landlords have done, fumes still come in smelling flaca as a type. If we can get person and crew out by the end of summer, my seizures will decrease. I hope so. Oh my God, Kitty. I'm so sorry. That is such a shitty circumstance. I, I hope, I hope, I hope, and I'm manifesting for you that, that, that they're all gone because that's fucking wild. Can you still find cheap B-Day candy? Possibly. It just depends on where you look, I think. Uh, remember that kind of creepy reboot of the Hamburglar? Oh, like the 80s, the eight, late 80s, early 90s one? Shadow, aka the one from my nightmares as a child? Uh, hold on. Let me find that motherfucker's picture. He was terrifying. Hamburglar. Hamburglar. Ham Hamburglar. This is... This is legitimate this is legitimately terrifying imagine that popping up on your tv as a child imagine imagine fucking imagine right You about to hamburgle my heart? Kai, what the fuck? I adore you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm about to hamburgle your heart. You heard me. We we getting all hamburged up in this bitch. I'm gonna slowly start opening the game. Uh get the heck out of there, haunted. No thanks. I like I, I don't I don't mind. I'm already haunted. I'm haunted by the ghost of all of the bad decisions I've made in my life, so. What's a dead person chilling in the room next to me gonna do? <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh, this is a vibe. I wish I liked jewelry. I feel weird. I don't wear it. Not everyone has to like it or wear it, Nikkei. You got it. You got it. Uh, the purple one. Oh, Grimace. Grimace is wild too. I liked the nuggets. Does anyone remember the little chicken nuggies? I used to love them as kids. I actually have a pop figure. Hold on. Oh, God. Hold on. I actually have a pop figure. This song is a pop. I actually have a pop figure of one of the nuggies. Because <laughs> I, I literally, the nuggy thing is not a Lexi thing. The nuggy thing is a me thing. I hope you guys know. I love chicken nuggets. The nuggy things is all is all me. And then I had to make it a Lexi thing because I started getting drunk and eating, eating nuggies while I was in the city. Fireman McNugget. <laughs> he cute? Look at that little soulless face. <laughs> Look at those soulless eyes. Ooh, how fucking cute is he? Right? No. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm really good at Valorant now. Something finally clicked and I'm finally good at Valorant. And now it's all I want to play. So this is uh, turning into a Valorant stream. No, I'm kidding. Of course, the ghost hair would happen just as Bagel speaks about me. There you go. 
Uh, karma, there's a Polish word, karma, feed, father, cat, dog, etc. Oh, well, there you go. Hopefully they get their karma, their cat, dog food. Just saying. Their cat, their cat, dog food. It was spirit, ghost of a hair that was the one with chat and decide to leave. Was done with chat and decide to leave. Exactly, Carmilla. This wasn't the content we wanted, but it's the content we deserved. Thanks. Absolutely. Welcome back. How are you doing? Dance, dance. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday and welcome in. I've been in the hills fucking cop cars feeling like a cop co What? Nikkei? What song is that? Bro, we said goodnight to each other like four times. I know, that was so fucking funny. I can't we were like, okay, goodnight, bye, and then just started talking again. I will catch a spooky ghost live on stream one day, mark my words. I hope so, for you, for your sake, stranger. Uh, we've never done that. Homies always good, but on time, yes. I like guys who are kind of ugly, okay? Look, okay, no, I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you and your Adam Driver thing. Look, I don't, I'm not a looks person. I'm a vibes person. So like, I completely understand. Cause sometimes I like someone and people are like, yeah, look at that guy. And then sometimes I like someone and they're like, that guy? And I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> He pretty. <laughs> and they're like, really? Doctor? Uh, anyway, accidentally Google's turd burglar. <laughs> the mistake no one wanted to do today, Mayor. Hamburglar is crazy. I know. Shout out to my man, Mayor McCheese. He's me for real, for real. Spartan, what the fuck? Y'all are wild. All right, I'm gonna slowly start opening the game because I'm slowly catching up on chat. Uh, I fucking knew he was ginger. For real? Yeah, I've listened to Dave talk about writing the song in the acoustic version. Both versions blow me away. Yes. Everlong is a fantastic song. Hamburglar? Yes. I still say Ronald was more nightmare fuel than the Hamburglar. Ronald McDonald's was nightmare fuel. Absolutely, stranger. I absolutely agree. Uh, just, just in a very different way, I think. And also, I don't like clowns. He reminds me of a raccoon. Yeah, he, got, he got a little raccoon going on. A little bit, Kai. He, he got a little raccoon going. Is that not Amy Schumer? What the f- <laughs> oh, I see it though. I see, I see it. I see it though. Like I can see it in my head. Like I see it. It's like the cheeks and the nose. Hobo clowns are the scariest because they're hungry. I know. This showing on TV for children would lead a lot on the, the path of crime. So many burgers. So many burglars, in fact. So many burglar, burger burglars. Maybe that's why I always crave McDonald's. There's a newer version of the Hamburglar as well. They're in uh they're in the commercials now, aren't they, Shadow? Like I saw a random uh I was like passively watching Hulu in the background one day uh while I was working, and then I heard someone say something like the hamburglar, and I was like, huh? Sorry, I'm getting the game loaded. We're we're actually attempting to we're actually attempting to get the uh the game started <laughs> at some point in our near future. Uh there will be a tribunal for the peeps two doors down in June. Everyone pray for them to be evicted. So many of us in our hallway are sick because of their actions. I'm manifesting. Everyone manifest for Kitty. Kitty needs action. Kitty needs those bitches out the apartment so that Kitty can stop having seizures. Manifest. Are we manifesting? Hamley, you're not manifesting. I'm haunted by bagels, astral projections. Oh, you see those? Oh, fuck. They're meant to go the other direction. Okay. Well, at least thank you uh, for letting me know, stranger. I was like, I'm I'm like, I'm off with my location a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll fine tune that. <laughs> haunted by this dick. <laughs> Apologies to my chaos mode. You're fine. We always enjoy a chaos mode. All right. Who's ready for like, I feel like we're all hyped up now. And then we're going to go into like, life is strange. And it's like, the, like, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna speed run Life is Strange and then we're gonna play some Valorant if I'm feeling well enough. We're gonna play Valorant after. Right? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me look this up. Right? We're gonna, we're gonna see. Okay. It says that the game should only take 18 and a half hours to beat. We've already done nine on just episode one. <clears throat> All right. Let's speed run. Life is strange. 
with respects to the story though okay so we can play some valor so i want to play valor i wish i had the points to redeem valorant but i lost to the last bet oh you bet against me shay well 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 sucks to suck doesn't it well 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 if it isn't benedict arnold mcshay isn't it if it isn't benedict arnold mcshay Them big ol' eyes. Which one? Mine? Uh, I live next to a cemetery and they don't even visit me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, goodbye. Good night, bye. Any so anyway, another three hours? Yeah, basically. That's But we, we just kept talking. You don't hate... Yo, don't hate Mayor McCheese. I don't hate him. He's my spirit animal. I don't hate Mayor McCheese. I just like... What an interesting spirit animal. Yes, they bork my dreams. Oh, the 90s called. They want their hamburger back. Get those bitches out. To be a fair, ba fair bagel, I would like to know why your astral projection ended up in the UK. I was trying to go the other way. I was trying to go the other way. I don't know. I was, I was trying to go, like, the opposite way. I don't know. I, apparently, I don't know North... Never eat... Never eat soggy worms. Okay, wrong way. That's all. Uh, literally, I wish. Shall I pause all filter redeems? My bagel. Uh, Spartan, I already ma did before stream started because guess who actually, like, I was up early today and I was, like, on top of things and then I just started feeling, like, sicker and sicker as the morning went on. I, you guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a badass today. All right? I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna let this game do most of the talking for me because my throat is starting to hurt and also my glasses. Oh my god, what is going on? I need to get an eye appointment. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to afford glasses. You guys, more like, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, I'm rich from the past bet. Oh, are you? Cause you believed in me? Like a believer? 18 and a half, goddamn, I know, right? You need someone to throw a curveball? Let me know, I'm popping off at work right now. Thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're going around work going, Milk Gang? Aw, oh, rest in peace, Milk Gang. Goddamn. I thought the final boss was going to get you, except I'm awesome. And I found the button. Worms? Not waffles? Have you not heard never eat soggy worms? I, hold on. Growing up, it was always never eat soggy worms, right? Was it waffles? <laughs> Did I misunderstand the assignment when I was a child? Did I completely misunderstand the assignment? Up early made me nauseous already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Same. I'm also rich. Oh, God. I'm going to let the game do most of the talking. Mm -hmm, sure. For real, though. Damn. My bagels take my job. Hashtag replaceable. Hashtag down on my luck. Hashtag getting fired. Question mark. Oh, Spartan, since you brought it up, I didn't want to do this in front of everyone, but <clears throat> I've really appreciated your services as a moderator for the Hamley. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you go because, uh, I, you're too much, man. No, I'm kidding. I could never, I could never get rid of my Spartan. Wieners? What? Milk gay? Yeah. Morning makes me want to vomit. It's all weird and ugly. Sometimes I like morning. Sometimes I don't. It's just very, it's very situational. Again, there are two bagels in my body. A higher plane consciousness bagel who likes all of the things. Never eat shredded wheat was my, yeah, see, I've heard the never eat shredded wheat. In the UK, it's never eat shredded wheat. I've heard that one, but mine was never eat soggy worm. Never eat soggy wieners. That was yours, Shrubby. Never eat soggy. That's how they taught it to you in school? Because, like, I'm talking about, like, in school, they taught me never eat soggy worms. I heard it, but I would prefer don't eat worms at all. Oh, so it's don't eat worms at all. Yeah, okay, I see. Uh, you know, I what I grew up, never eat soggy worms, but why not waffles? So, okay, wait, wait, wait. You know what? You did, you did. Shay, you were also a never eat soggy worms? Who else? Okay, I need to know. How many people were soggy worms? I need like I need like a head count because I know I need to know it wasn't just me. But also now I'm also questioning Shay. Why not waffles? Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat soggy wheat. Never eat soggy wieners. <laughs> it is yet. That's so fucking wild. 
This is all just so wild. It's my time. <laughs> no, it's not. Stop. It is. Yep. No way. How do you know which way it is? It, it, which way is which inherently? I don't. I, I know it like in the direction that I'm sitting that north is up, east is right, south is bottom, west is left. But I don't know what direction I'm facing. So like this is why compasses are a thing. We also had Oscar Mayer Wiener Van, which was huge. And yeah. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer Wiener. Uh, so <clears throat> you got a fun story before we start the game. Uh, when I was younger, my mother tried to force me into show business. If you guys can't tell, I was a child actor. Uh, so I did the beauty pageant circuit. I actually have a picture of me in a beauty pageant right here next to me on the board um, because I'm doing this thing where um, every time I talk negatively to myself, I'm like, would I say that to Little Bagel? And then just like... Look how little I was. Look how tiny I am. I'm the one in the little white dress. Look how little I am with my little curly hair. Look how cute I am. Look how cute I am. I was adorable. Yeah, so I did pageants. It was, ba yeah, baby, baby, beagle. Uh, I did pageants and child acting and all that shit. Uh, my mom made me go sing for the Oscar Mayer Wiener. It was wild. I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, like, that's wild, Camilla. So, like, how did you learn directions? I was just thinking about this last night. No, you weren't. No, you weren't, Joe. What? Blue balled us on a cliffhanger? Who did? Huh? Oh, life is strange. Oh, yeah, I blue balled you on a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why soggy worms? Don't eat worms. I know. From what I remember, I don't think I was taught my directions. Well, now I'm concerned. What? My state is superior in one aspect because of waffles. Wait, y'all never did, did never eat soggy worms? Yeah, never eat soggy worms. I've never heard of never eat soggy worms. I, I only never eat shredded wheat and never eat soggy waffles. Oh, this, this would never work in Polish. Oh, I see Camilla, yeah, yeah, yeah. If the sun is rising where it is, that's east. If the sun is setting where it is, is west. Oh, Spartan. Coming in clutch with the knowledge. Okay, I like that. Okay, Spart my Spartan just saw this over here. You guys, can we get some love and hype chat for Spartan? Apparently a Boy Scout at heart and just knows things. Uh, Did I do it, Camilla? I'm talking about the game. Yeah, I was like, I was like, ain't no fucking way. You were talking about never eat soggy worms, Joe. But also, hi, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I had never eat shredded wheat. What? Running out for a little while. I'll be back this evening. Sounds good, Strider. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Um, from there, you can find out north and south. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I also auditioned for the Oscar Mayer Wiener commercials. Justina coming in clutch for the Oscar Mayer <laughs> Wiener commercials. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer Wiener. That is what I truly like to be. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. <laughs> what a fucking jingle. <laughs> I can't. What a fucking jingle. I like, oh, I didn't take my allergy pill today. Oh, God, I'm falling apart, guys. The South said, fuck now. We trust hunting instincts. I can't. Don't know directions to this day. Cry if I don't have Google Maps. That's amazing. Okay, that's amazing. Also, yes, I was a Boy Scout. Makes sense. I only know directions where I live. If I leave the mountains, I'm lost. I'm so sorry, KK. I'm so sorry. I bet you'd get acclimated. I bet you would. I believe in you and your ability to be acclimated. Uh, best jingle? Yes. I wanted to be a boys out so bad. Oh, everyone would be in love with me. Yep. Fuck waffles, I got pancakes. I do like pancakes. Now I want pancakes. Can someone make me pancakes? That'd be like pretty fucking awesome. Can, can someone give me pancakes? Uh, oh, Spartan was a Boy Scout. I love it. I know. Bro, I have no sense of direction either. Same. I mean, I can figure it out. I'm, I'm pretty resourceful when it comes to that shit. But, you know. All right. <clears throat> I got lost in a city way more than I get lost in the middle of nowhere. There you go. Uh, my boyfriend said jokingly he would worry about me if we split up because I wouldn't know my way around. I got mad at him. <laughs> but was he wrong? 
<laughs> Maybe he's just looking out for you. I remember the directions like this. North, south, basically by nature, but uh, west, east, Polish. East is basically is very close to rising sun and west is similar. And when translating to English, if English one starts with W, then Polish one doesn't. And if it doesn't, the Polish one does. Polish sounds complicated. I still get lost in Los Santos. Hashtag scenic route. I've gotten really good at navigating the city. Boy Scouts, sorry. Or Boy Scouts, sorry. I was typing with one hand. Boy Scouts did fun shit. Yeah, Boy Scouts did all the fun shit. Girl Scouts did stupid shit. Like learn how to knit and take care of your husband. Weird method, but it's also the Wild West. True. I was a little guy selling shitty popcorn and getting my bitches. Spartan, you're adorable. No, he's not wrong, but I don't need no man. Okay, good point. <clears throat> Loif is strange. Who is ready to take the adventure? That is, Loif is strange with me. All right, we're going to do the entire thing in a really shitty British accent. And I, again, to all our UK friends, I'm so sorry. This is how we're doing it now. Would you like to go waste? I would die confirmed. Yeah, 9 p.m. Look for food. Get yourself some food, Camilla. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. I don't use the GPS, though, for most things in GTA, so at least there's that. That's growth, at least. Yeah. I get lost in an empty room. Yeah, okay, bye. Why are you leaving? Why is everyone leaving? Trigger, what do you mean you're triggered? Come on. This isn't the worst, this isn't the worst thing anyone's done to you, right? Right? This isn't the worst thing. I, I could be really bad at it. I could go over the top. I could make you feel real, real annoyed, but I'm not. We sold horrible popcorn that no one would buy. Did you have any of the cheese stuff? Because the cheese stuff is really good. I love this kind of event. We need fan art. Yes. Why do I come into the stream and hear a British voice? Why are you mocking me? I'm not mocking you. <laughs> I'm, mocking, I'm mocking myself. Welcome in, Fub. How you doing? Good to see you. I had a Girl Scout cookie dynasty, though. I was top seller in our state for like four years. I could see that. Yeah. That's it. I'm coming over there. All right, come fight me. You can't. Kick that ass. Fucking blast your neck into the shadow realm. British Lexi after server reset. Maybe. <laughs> nah. It's bad, Bagel. Love you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's a, it's a real bad. I know. Can you say, can I have a bottle of water on next Tuesday? Yeah, except I'm more posh. I'm not going to do that. Go a bottle of water. That's just fucked up. You can't make fun of people like that. Why is your British accent soothing though? Because I sound like I'm narrating a book. I was in a Valorant match the other day and people kept telling me that they thought I was using a voice changer. They didn't believe that I was actually, my voice was actually my voice. And I was like, why? It doesn't sound like a voice changer. It just sounds like a voice. And they said, it sounds like you're about ready to narrate a book to me. And I was like, all right, thank you. I was like, I have done some voice acting if that helps. And they're like, yeah, that explains it. Yeah. It's Laura Croft. It's me. I'm Laura Croft. Thank you. All right. You're the host of Love Island. Welcome to Love Island, where 12 singles will cohabitate and fuck for three weeks and get into all sorts of messy drama. And we're going to film every second just for you. So when are you going to narrate a book to us? I'm not. And next, Harry entered the common room. The fire was low. All of the other Gryffindors had gone to sleep. Harry fumbled about the common room looking for his wand. He had seemed to misplace it. Is that what you want, Joe? All right, can we play Life is Strange now? Click to start. Where's my controller not working? Hello. I'd like it if my controller works. Um, <laughs> what is happening? Hold on. Why is my controller? Let me see if I can get my controller. Da -da 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 -da. My coffee stuck on my fucking microphone. My coffee's cold. You guys, I've lost like 12 followers since I've started this accent. I've got questions. <laughs> it's not that bad, right? <laughs> right? It's not that bad. I thought it, I didn't think it was that bad. My brother would bring so much popcorn home. It was lame, but my state's Boy Scouts did decent with money. They sold the car zone things too and people loved them. They also partnered with like the JROTC at our high school or something. So they got to do fundraisers with them. Oh, that's exciting. And then Harry pulled out the wrong one and got expelled for indecent exposure. The end. Was one of them Ferb? Ferb probably unfollowed you. 
Is this leading to some Harry Potter fanfic? <laughs> yes. All right, can we play the game now? Oh no, my controller has drift. Oh no, my controller has drift. Hold on. That's gonna severely impact things. Nope, you may not play. Why can't I play? Hello? Okay, there we go. All right, episode two, Out of Time. For those who remember, we played episode one a couple weeks back, and then I got really sick and kept canceling stream. So we are now on episode two, Out of Time. We got left with a blue ball as Joe has put it, a blue ball cliffhanger, wherein there is a tornado approaching the city of Arcadia Bay on Friday. I don't know how they knew. I don't know how they, like, there was like a newspaper that was like, ah, oh, it's Friday. So they've got to stop this tornado from killing the entire country. Country? City. You know what I mean. Hold on. Why is my shit not working? Hello? Why aren't you working? Why are you being such a fuck? I really, ha I really hate it when you're being a fuck. All right. Game got offended by a British accent on the English accent. I uh, don't know what to tell you. Episode two, out of time. Here we go. All right, who's ready for this adventure? Only two gonna be next year once it's done. <laughs> How dare you? What? No, we got this. Once I, once I, once I get a little bit healthier, once I move and I'm over all of my stress with money and moving and stuff, We'll figure it out. Also, <clears throat> hey guys, tell your friends and family about the stream. Tell them to come uh, join the Hamley. Uh, new emotes are coming soon. So if they want incentive to sub, the new emotes are coming soon. And then, and then, and then I can, uh, uh, if I get a little extra money, I can stop being stressed. Thanks. I don't know how to sales pitch, guys. You guys know I don't like asking. But I might do a, I might be doing like a subathon in the next couple weeks. And everything is going to be fine. I told my friends and family, but I actually have none. So sorry. But you, you did tell no one. So I'm proud of you. Thank you. You're the best. Also, the, the music in this game is unrivaled. And you guys have to tell me how the sound sounds. Is it too loud? Let me know. It's good? Okay. I like that shirt. I'm not gonna lie, I had Max's haircut at one point. It did not look good on me. Sounds good so far? I had Max's haircut at one point in my life and it did not look good on me. I'll have to try and find the pictures of when I like tried to do like the shaggy Haley Williams hair too. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but Maybe I better save my strength. Little BB Max, yeah. Long hair bagel for the win. Thank you. I'm really loving my long hair. I never have had hair this long, ever, in my entire life. I was thinking about it the other day when I was in the shower. Like, when I was younger, my mom made me have very short hair. I have, like, massive trauma from how short my hair was. And I'm not even joking. I will find a picture. My hair was like up to my eyes. My mom made me keep my hair very, very short. And my sister was allowed to have like this long, beautiful hair. Uh, and then as I grew up, I learned all about like uh, golden child syndrome and stuff uh, and how I was definitely not um, the golden child. But like, I realized that having that short hair like really impacted how I view myself and like my sense of like femininity and stuff like that. So having long hair has been very healing for like 
my feminine side, I feel like. It's been it's been very nice. Yeah. I feel like I feel more feminine. I feel like a, like I I always had a hard time like relating to like my like feminine side if that makes sense. So like it was like it was really hard for me. Like I don't know. I feel I feel beautiful for like the first time in a very long time. Ever, honestly. So uh, God, I'm feeling the emotional trauma coming. Yeah, I did love this song when it came out. Is this another one of those things where I can stand up whenever I want? Fuck! So I've just been sitting here waiting for her to- This is why. This is why the game takes so long to play. Because I'm just letting her fucking vibe to this goddamn song. No, rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. The way that I have done this at every fucking junction. You know what? No, it's because I liked the song. That's why. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. It had nothing to do with the fact that I'm stupid. Oh, you guys, why am I stupid? <laughs> yeah, it's luscious and pretty like a Tristan May commercial. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad you let it go. Thank you, Nikkei. And honestly, when I first started streaming, my hair was like probably like chin length, I think. I don't know. I've let it grow a lot. Uh, Hamley, did you know we're getting new emotes soon? You can subscribe today to get access to our current emotes and all future emotes, as well as the ability to watch this amazing content with no ads. And if you have Prime, did you know you can subscribe to one person for free every month? Hashtag shameless plug. Hashtag when am I getting fired? Hashtag Boy Scout Popcorn Gang Gang. <laughs> can we get some love and hype in the chat for Spartan? Yeah, thank you, Spartan. I have a really hard time. Like, like I was, uh... <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. Do I just take a shot of vodka and just fucking go for it? Do I just take a shot of vodka and just like give you guys all the fucking tea? Do I just give you guys all the dirt while we're playing? Oh, I didn't want to say anything but kick it. As you should, Queen Thank you. We were vibing. We were vibing. Yes. Hashtag nope. What? All the games that have this just so you know. Oh, good. Good. So I'm going to do this every game. All right. Where's my cell phone? All right. Go for it, stranger. Go, yes. Well, you did tell me I'm cutting it multiple times. I was hoping you wouldn't. You did tell me out. Can I, wait, what? You did it? Oh, yeah. I did, like, so, like, I, I talked about cutting my hair. I don't know. I'm, I am I decided not to. I Like, I, like, and ultimately, I don't know. I might go blonde, though. Okay. Colory says, you there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? Max says, I can't go back that far, smartass, and I need your help. She's like, like when you told Stepdork it was your weed. And she goes, but for reals, we need to talk. And then Chloe says, or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales, my treat. And then uh, <laughs> Max says, sold. It's good to have many. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I turned off the alert, but it didn't show. What is happening? Hello? Bob, but, uh, I don't know why it's frozen. But uh, Baby J, thank you. Oh, we meet at the Two Whales Diner. Aunt. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> don't even tempt me. I'll, eat, I'll meet you at Max and Irma. <laughs> Bullet, thank you for 23 months of free subs. I appreciate the hell out of you. Can we get some love and hype on the in the chat for Baby J, a.k.a. Bullet Hammer, a.k.a. my little bro bro. Uh, do the wave, everyone. You guys doing the wave? Yeah, Spartan. No love? What do you mean? Tea and tequila go together. Go go together. I do have tequila, too. Too bad. Take the love, Spartan. Yeah, suck it. Hey, projectile mallet. I'm at the game, but Max and Irma sounds amazing. Well, I'm, I'm only hyper fixated because I want pancakes. Oh, shit. Miss Thank Jeff, what the game. fuck? Thank you so much for 15 months of resubs. I appreciate you. Big hugs. Big hugs to you, too. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I adore you, and I hope you're having a... I hope life is good. I hope life is fantastic. And I and I'm I'm praying that it's fantastic for you. Ayo, any sugar daddies in the chat for a hype train? Any sugar daddies who just want like a slightly annoying like brunette with really super curly hair to just like make eyeballs at them, but she doesn't have a zoom cam, so she can't zoom cam right now. No, I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> any sugar daddies want to pay for my apartment down deposit? <sighs> Uh, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Spartan. I appreciate the heck out of you. Spartan, enjoy the ad-free viewing and the emotes and all of the stuff. All of it. Did your sub just run out? Is that why you're confused? Uh, hey, Mischief Hype, yes. Uh, Hype, yes, yes, Mischief Hype. Uh, I appreciate you. You are the best. You're the best. You're the best. 
Um, and thank you for coming in. How's everyone doing? Happy Saturday. Welcome to this, the day of our... Choo-choo, bitches. Thomas doesn't exist today. I turned him off. Uh, Kai, thank you so much for the gifted sub to April. April, if you're here, enjoy the ad free viewing and the emotes. Uh, and uh, can we get some love and hype in the chat for Bullet Hammer, I Earn Mischief, and Cozy Kai for kicking off that hype train? I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Uh, I, uh, I love you. I, I don't, all I know how to say is I love you guys. Thank you. I, Hamley, Kai is the sugar mommy. Mischief is the sugar daddy. <laughs> the way I was about to be like, Kai's, Kai can be my sugar mommy. <laughs> She's my little gift basket. Uh, Kai, you hey. and I have such a weird friendship. Nikki, you, you can't going? sneak in here with a hundred biddies. You have to say hi first. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Dr. Nikki Cat, who has a doctor, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, hey. Shay, thank you for a hundred biddies. How you doing? Someone said sugar daddy and I had to. Oh, sugar mommy. Hotter than wasabi. She the boom sucky sucky. <laughs> I didn't say hi. What? You didn't say hi? When did you say hi? Was it like a million years? Oh, you did. Sorry, it got stuck underneath all of the, the fucking uh, subs. Hi, Nikki. You did say hi. I'm, I apologize. It got stuck between all of the, oh, shit. Here we go again. And that's my bad. That's on me. That's not on you. That's on me. Nikki and Shay have, yes. Megan, yo, welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Emotional Damage Saturday with us. And life is strange. We're having a great day sugar daddies ooh woo i'm really good at telling people they're a good boy so if anyone wants to like should i just like start a business where i tell people they've been a very good boy for money should that be my should that be my next business venture how do we do we feel like that would be worthwhile <laughs> should, should i do it <laughs> Very good boy. Thank you for the hydrator to hydrate, Megan. I appreciate it. Mm. No worries. I wouldn't put it past myself to forget to say hi. True. Spartan, fuck you. Okay. I think there's a website for that. Can you link me? Because I need to start making more money, Joe. So if you could, like, if you could, like, send that my way, that'd be great. Thank you. DM me. Uh, you'd have to ask Valve that question. What? Oh, you did. Oh, stranger, why not 69%? Yo. For those who don't know, GTA 5 is currently 63% off Steam. If you would like to play GTA 5, it's 63% off on Steam. And then not only that, 5M is free. So you too could join the GTA RP server that I play Lexi in. As long as you don't meta game and come find me. Otherwise, I'll shoot you because Lexi doesn't deal with strangers well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, yes, I'd support. Thank you, Kai. Uh, hashtag fuck me. No, don't fuck me. Fun fact. If you sub for six months in advance, you get one sub free. Wow, that's insane. Holy shit. Start a secret and cringy girlfriend audio channel on YouTube. What if I make it not so secret? Should I? Hmm. You know, there was like for a while. Hold on. We're going to look this up. How? Do, okay. How? Do, I need incognito mode. I need incognito. Okay. I'm going to look it up on my phone on incognito mode. Okay. So allegedly there is a website where <clears throat> allegedly you can sign up to be. How do I say this without sorry? Does anyone? <laughs> does anyone know what a heel sled is? Uh, <laughs> in terms of gaming, <clears throat> I'm gonna see. If... So basically, uh, men will pay <laughs> women money to, uh, like <laughs> play video games with them and just and just heal them. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> they're called heels. I could be a heel slip. Right? No? <laughs> no? 
called it? Is that someone who only plays healing classes? Yeah, but like specifically only heals the person. Zero to 100 <laughs> real quick. All we had to do was follow the damn truth, I'm a DJ. businesswoman. That sounds easy. Yeah, but like you get degraded a lot. So, so the only part that I would have a hard time with is would be like the getting degraded by a man who probably doesn't know how to fucking hide behind cover or like dives into their back line and doesn't like, you know, like fucking know how to get out. Uh, so I'd have to be like, oh, no, you're so good at this. That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they suck. OK, how to become a heel slut. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look this up now or I'll forget later. How to get paid to be a heel slut. My guide to heel slutting. Okay. <laughs> and then sometimes you withhold healing. You died like a real man. Ew. I should just Lexi it. <laughs> anyway, this is a weird conversation. Let's pretend this didn't happen. I thought it was law that girls can only play healers. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, girls can only play heels. Uh, we're not allowed to play tank, even though I'm better at it. What? Who said that? A what? Gas station worker, don't worry about it. Sound sus? Yes, but not because I'm not. I'd, I'm ashamed to say I do, but I'm not into that. Incognito is for the week. Look up everything on normal browsers. No! I have, I have a certain level. I have a certain reputation that I need to uphold here. Hmm, explain it to me. Oh, wait, that's sick. Wait, is there like a website where like I can just like be paid to play video games with boys? Men will really buy anything from women. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, heel slut, where's my heels? Get out of the fire. I mean, who will? Basically, basically. You, <laughs> you died like, <laughs> imagine just, you know, that's, that would be you do it. Just positively roast them with a sensual voice. Wow, I was really impressed by the way you just dove into that back line and then struggled like an idiot while they totally fucking kicked your ass and clapped your cheeks. Yeah, it was amazing. Like that? I thought uh, this stream took a turn. <laughs> Wait, are you saying the girl I pay to heal me doesn't think I'm good? No, sorry, Joe. Sorry, you're probably not good. Unless you are, in which case she probably thinks you're awesome. Yo, any women interested in heel sluts but men asking for rent? Use only normal browsers. No. That was such a that was such a creative way to die. That was so hot. There's no shame. Tanking is my favorite. I love being tanked. I love being like I but also I love being support characters, but not because of the stereotype, but because I'm very good at like say I like the way that Valorant does it like uh sentinel roles where you like watch people's flanks like i'm very good at watching flanks so it's easier for me to sit in the back line and heal uh although like when i play overwatch when i play heals i'm usually lucio so or so i'm like up in their fucking faces with the rest of the team so like i don't know you guys want to play overwatch okay you'll get them next you'll get them next time champ i believe in you Lou. I think that's called Twitch. I don't think it is. Jokes. It's so Yo, Overwatch? Yeah, see, exactly. I love using a pet class and just hiding in the corner. Nice. That's fun. All right, you guys want to play Life is Strange? Yo, I want to play Overwatch. Should I be afraid? Oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> There's no shame. Okay, why is OBS crashing? The second... is. Am I still here, by the way? Because the second I go back into the game, the... the the OBS starts OBSing. It's BSing. It's BSing me. You know, that's all I'm saying. Nope, you're not here. Trust. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Sold. It's good to have minions. And then Chloe says, got a bail, master. Breakfast is a go. And then you there, Mad Max. And then she says, like I said, always for you. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. No. No emoji. Chloe doesn't like that. And then sad face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. Okay. And Max says, hi. On my way. Uh, and she says, you are evil. 40 minutes or else. Notice the smiley face. Even though Chloe said no emoji. All right. We have new messages from everyone. What is this? Okay. Mom. Okay, wait, hold on. Are these all the old messages from Warren? Why does my controller have such bad drift? 
okay, that's old. Victoria, thanks for our friends. Kate, Dad, Glowy, and then Mom! Hey, honey, I hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Mommy. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Mm -hmm. Like no time has passed. We'll read the journal in a second. We're going to look at everything else. Uh, we're looking in the mirror. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. <laughs> this is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Literally going to wake up every day and call myself zombie face now. All right. Uh, looking. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Sure thing, Mommy. Joe, if you want to call me Mommy, you got to pay to call me Mommy. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. So make the bed. Does anyone I'm actually so make their bed? Rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Did, does everyone... Oh my god, I got it. What? Hold on. You got what? Starts screaming rank up day after the man who pays you dies for the 15th time. What? Oh, the, the emote? Nice! Now I just need the other one. You got it! I make my bed a mess. I rarely make my bed. Like, I make my bed if I'm cleaning my room, but if it's just a normal day, I just don't make my bed. Because, like, I don't... I'm not, like... I don't move when I sleep. So, like, my... My blankets just kind of stay where they're at. So, like, when I get back into bed, like, it's... I don't have to adjust anything because I'm not... Kevin, are you licking your balls on my screen? Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, little man. I thought you were licking your balls. <laughs> Ew, okay, thanks. You just licked your balls and then came and licked my hand. Cool. Appreciate it. Kevin says hi. Kevom. Yeah, he's a little Kevom. Hi, Kevom. Yeah, Kevom. Oh, I always move in my sleep more than once. I've ended up with my head against the floor. What the fuck? I break dance in my sleep? It's a, it's impossible to make my bed with a body pillow on it. I mean, work. huh? What? I need a shower. Yo, I love body pillows, though. They're so nice. Mine don't have wife. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Mystic enchantment cards, 159 cards. All right. I have to tack my sheets every day because I turn 20 times. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, shit, why you put them on blast like that? Content. Everything I do is Cartier, fun. Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Okay, cool. Uh, looking at these photos. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. I want a pregnancy pillow because the, that shit looks comfy. I'm not pregnant yet. Look, I'm not pregnant either, but pregnancy pillows look comfy as fuck. And then plus, like, it simulates having someone to cuddle, you know? I mean, what? That I'm was a hoping. good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Uh, you're so cool being 17 and drunk. What? I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Bagel has waifu body pillow confirmed. No, I have a squishmallow. I, all I have is a squishmallow that I sleep with. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Bullshit, I'm drowning in time. Time is like a river. Einstein. Rant, giant, giant frog. Okay. My head hurts after longer rewind. Second thinking and thinking about this now. Okay. Schrodinger's cat would exist in two different time zones. Hello, kitty time. Hello, time kitty. Okay. Take a giant step backward for mankind. Quantum entanglement. Energy disperses as particles reach equal distribution. This means that time has a fragile foundation. Nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can be obviously broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock! Rewind only were limited by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Wait, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time irony or evolution maybe i have to do time exercises now that's a lot that's a lot that's very like <sighs> losing i could get shit. lost doing time travel research yeah without the extra body heat to kill me aggressively while i sleep one. if only i could be this focused on homework okay 
Oh, wait, I have my camera. Look. We'll take this a picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. But first, let me take a no selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Immediately smiles. Look, the wifey pillow is great. I don't know what to do with my head hands when sleeping. So I normally would hug my spare pillows. And now I have a pillow meant just for that. No, I feel that, Spartan. I feel that. I actually do hug a pillow while I sleep. I have like six pillows on my bed. And I just hug one of them while I sleep. Yeah, or my Squishmallow, depending on the mood. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. I saw a cute panda Squishmallow at Walmart the other day and carried it around like a kid for several minutes. I was so close to buying it. You should have just treated yourself, KK. Treat yourself. I feel that after I realize I'm fixating on something, I always ask myself, why can't I put this energy into work or my class? I feel that. I feel that with like content creation. I'll hyper fixate on something that I'm like, you know, you could have like redone all of your overlays instead. Ma'am. Hey, Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent a bunch of physics and science links with, and without further ado, here's a time, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, 1960s version, fun early steampunk sci-fi, and Morlock's faces melt. Primer, lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Oh, okay. He's mansplaining. This is why we don't like Warren, by the way. He's a mansplainer. Uh, time after time, H.G. Wells uses his time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco. Super cool and clever. That actually sounds like a really cool fucking movie. I want to watch that. Can someone put that in Discord for me? Because I have a fascination with Jack the Ripper and H.G. Wells. Uh, Pulp Fiction, serious. The switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity plus Uma. Somewhere in time, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. The best kind of chick flick, you'll cry like a baby. I did. Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Sar uh, Sonny Chiba and his soldiers end up back in Samurai Days, basically tanks versus ninjas. And Time Cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme does splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Did I say that? Time Cop. Has anyone seen Time Cop? I haven't. That's all the time I have now to do an actual quantum physics to plow through, or as I ha do have actual quantum physics to plow through, and not your fun back to the future homework that I never get. Now that I've discovered the art, now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? <laughs> Warren, shut up. Don't hit. I'm leaving. Doctor Who? About to go back for him for real. What? Oh, the panda? Do it. Go back for the panda. I believe This you. is so insane. It sounds logical to me. Time travel is not just science fiction. History, uh, join the chrononauts, sorry. Uh, history has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to blend all rule, bend all rules of time-space continua. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal, temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build, in top secret, their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinite. Or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clear based on the vast scientific information that time travel is only applicable on a person by person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or thermodynamic calibration. For this reason, we have created a forum where past, present, and future time travelers can share tips, ideas, and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time. Hence our moniker, the chrononauts, brave solitary adventurers on an infinite voyage. Register within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. Yeah. Hashtag these time jokes are killing me. What do you mean? They're totally cool. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but so doesn't explain hashtag. how I can do what no scientist ever has. That's not a real ta that's not a real hashtag. The wormhole. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole, a term lazily overexploited in science and science fiction. For neophytes, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity posits that this is within the realm of theory, while a new generation of physicists hopes to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside wormhole are links and articles relating to the most rel recent developments of this fluid theory. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Hashtag all hashtags are real if you believe. Well, do you believe? Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. 
For example, Australian researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory first predicted in 1991, it has caught fire within the scientific community, who eliminated ethics and morality from their dangerous experiments. Thank you for the alert, Komodo. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. Gotta take Spartan's hashtag badge away. What do you mean? He's doing so good. I keep smelling cinnamon rolls, but I have no cinnamon rolls. I, am I dying? No. Is your is someone in your house or is a neighbor making cinnamon rolls? Yes, ma'am. Here it is, ma'am. Please take care of it. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Ghoul's Day Halloween party. Bring it, Blackwell bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and big football. My favorite time of the year is the annual Ghoul's Day Black Halloween party. Picture me busting a thriller zombie. Principal Wells is giving us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym within taste and safety, so I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know y'all have tons of homework as I do, but let's make this a Halloween that Blackwell will never forget. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. And if you don't show up to help, to haunt, help haunt the halls, the boogeyman will get you. Let's show Blackwell our ghoul power. Pleasant screams, Dana of the Dead. All right, that was a lot. That was so much. Okay, what else? Okay, so I have to water my plant, but I also can't drown it. Did I water my plant in the first episode? I'm going to water it every other episode. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I'm not going to water it I today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? And why did that sound so suggestive? Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Whoa, green finger. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're like, what the fuck does that mean? I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Go Thunderbirds. All right, uh, I'm going to look, but I'm not going to play. Meanwhile, my guitar gently <laughs> sleeps. Hey, yo. No, wait, that's a child? Will yeah, that's a child. Them selfie portraits? No, she's 18. She just turned 18 at the beginning of this. Still Good weird. morning, clothes. It's I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? It's eco-friendly. It is eco-friendly. Okay, I'm going to open the drawer. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. It's a little frog. That's cute. Okay, so I've got my shower. So, so they want me to go to the shower, but I think I should also read my journal really quick. Yeah, we're going to do that really quick. All right. Uh, this does not exist. You're supposed to tell me you totally blew the answer. Oh my god. Okay. What are those? Yep. 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 Where's all the new shit? Waving the gun for the uh, faster to the physica. Go fuck your selfie. Where did we leave off? Okay. Uh, once they gave Julia the proof of the competency test. Mine. Yes, Kate was not having a drink. Okay. Okay, this day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. and I can't do a, even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. Uh, he got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Wouldn't a watch be helpful with time powers? True. That's a good question, Spartan. Why wouldn't it? Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Next thing I knew, I was in her car, I was in her truck as Warren entered his, earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock, I was almost paralyzed. Especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know any know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I, I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else going on but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. 
Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. I'm an other one. What? I'm an other one? That's utterly outrageous. Fuck off. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel, and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe all alone all those years when she needed me, when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe's obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. <laughs> Online people are weird. It's me. Uh, Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed when she realized that I, I had saved her life. Even though it would, could have gone the other way. She was so happy like we were kids. Like when we were kids. And it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's old, uh, awesome old Instamatic as Instamatic, sorry, as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty. Just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up. And it was David Madden. Whoa. Hi, online people. I'm dad. Online people are weird. Hi, I'm online people. Hi, I'm dad. You guys are batting a thousand today. I had to hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have, his, have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joints and flipped out on her. I couldn't take it considering she almost died that morning and I stepped out and said it was my weed. David tried to threaten me, but Chloe was awesome and threatened him. He backed out of there quick. Chloe was so touched, I took the blame. Of course, she did steal one of David's guns and waved it around like an idiot. Too much firepower for this girl to encounter in one day. Or one life. Fortunately, Chloe and I decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring. Like best friends. Hi, uh, oh. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, Jennifer Coolidge's toes. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. And welcome in to Light the Stream. Uh, you did it to, that, not the dad joke, that's my job. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him and pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare. Or duskmare? I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of a cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again, I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling, and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream, and I told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on an another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once. Especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I've officially earned a great sleep uh so she's we're just recapping what happened like at the end of last chapter so for anyone who didn't get to see it that's what happened so we're gonna keep it at page 22 the drift on this controller is annoying okay so we've got a couple new characters we've got warren i knew if i gave warren my phone he would blow it up for science he wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week he told me to watch everything because they, he has tons of cool tv shows and films on there thank god it wasn't porn and i am thankful for warren He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can tell if he is. I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally the same age here. And he makes me smile. Ah, oh, he makes her smile. Boys, boys are great. Uh, Chloe. The drift on my controller is disgusting. I hate that. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. 
For one thing, she looks so similar, but so different. She's all grown up now, but it, it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her hair, her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out, no matter what. And then last but not least, where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality like missing person posters literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty, like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so, for her sake. It's so depressing, and I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. Sigh. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. No, you cannot. All right. Uh, and then I think we're good because we've got the episodes. We're just slowly unlocking locations, apparently. And then we went through all our text messages. All right, we're good. We're all caught up. So now we can go shower. Let me get my shower supplies. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So summer camp. Uh, that's a pretty fucked up prank, though. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. I am not a prank. I think we've discussed this before. I am not a prank person. Portal, like, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Sorry, I'm just lurking to see what happens. Uh, missing persons poster. Brooks room. We've looked at all the posters and stuff. We're just gonna knock on everyone's doors for funsies. Uh, pranks no here. Pranks suck unless an old person's doing them because then they're just a little silly. My thing is like, I'm fine with harmless pranks. Like pranks that make people laugh and they aren't at someone's expense. Like I'm okay with like, but like when people, I just not, fuck it. Let's talk to Victoria. Never mind. Fine, I won't disturb you. Like my thing is like pranks that like hurt or harm someone are terrible. Or like have the ability to like, will bang for God, no, stop it. The marks of Satan. Erase it. I'm just gonna, every time someone says something terrible to Kate, I'm just erasing it. Uh, pranks, it depends. If it's something harmless, then I think it's okay. But if it's actually harming someone or messing with someone else's property, then not. Yes, exactly, Spartan. Like, there's like a line that you can't cross. Like me, like me running up to someone and being like, oh no, uh, there's a cat in a tree, right? Come quick, I need your help. Come help me get my cat out of a tree. And then everyone runs around the corner and Spartan's dressed like a cat in the tree going, help, help. Like that, I'm down with. Like that would be funny as fuck. But like if you're literally just bullying someone or or trying to make someone feel terrible, that's a terrible prank. Like I don't I don't do that. Like all of like the prank videos on YouTube, I hate those people. Like literally, and I know hate is a strong word, but like someone who literally goes out of their way to make someone else feel bad and miserable is just a terrible human. I saw a prank where they pretended to attack women at night going to their cars and then wanted to call assault because the woman attacked him. Nah, fuck that. I hope she fucked his day up, Nikki. I'll be back later. I actually have to work. Papaya. Bye, Kai. I appreciate you. Enjoy work. Can we get some love and hype in, in the chat for Kai as we send him back to work? Thank you. Yeah, it's just a prank, bro. Yeah, I hate that it's just a prank, bro, bros. Like, I hate that it's just a prank, bro, bros. It's just a prank, hand. Uh, but yeah, bullies. Yeah, bullies. Help, help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be right back and go throw out. Yeah, that's stupid. Same. Yes, exactly, Joe. Oh, she did. Good, Nikki. I'm glad. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a certified hater of anyone who fucking... It's just a prank hand. I can't wait. I gotta I gotta try and find a way that I can play until dawn on stream. Uh maybe I can borrow someone's PlayStation. Alright, uh, but yeah, no, I, I hate pranks like that. Uh if I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Okay, hold on, my back itches. So I'm grabbing a pen to itch my back. Does anyone else do that? Okay. Speak. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. 
Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. What happened? What happened? What do you mean, immature assholes? What happened? What happened? No balls allowed? That's weird. Okay. It's a... Bold move. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, there was a TP attack? Where? Was it like all over your room? Okay. Uh. Oh, she got nailed with a TP. Okay, with TP. Okay, hold on. Who tossed the toilet paper at her? I have questions. Oh. The boy who's not supposed to be in the hallway, maybe? I don't know. Hold on. What did I miss? Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to figure out... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max. I'm if always that makes you happy. Oh, okay, see? Wow. Yeah, I called it. Yeah. Thank you, Max. I just know things. I'm smart. See? Yeah. Uh, girl, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm going to get same. Peyton, welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and thanks, thanks for stopping in. Uh, we're, we're, we're slowly playing through it. I'm, I'm sick, so we're doing our best. Oh, wait, I gotta go erase the, uh, will bang for God thing. How do I run? Hello? White girl running. No. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Bad! Bad! Bad Max! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. I hate this. Prank's supposed wow. to be funny, no, preferably for all the parties. Thank but yeah, you, if the person afterwards is not like, like, I don't like someone like being a target of of a prank. If you if that makes sense, I don't like it when someone's targeted for a prank. But if it's a prank that's made to just like be silly, goofy, quirky, I'm down with that. And in fact, I love those. Like that's like ninety percent of like my wheelhouse of humor. All right, what does this dude write? Poster. Uh, there we go. Uh, I think Until Dawn is coming to PC soon. Fuck yes, I'm so excited. I'm, I'll, I'll play it. Wake I'll literally Max. play it when it's. Juliet amazing. is next to me in the hall, not her room. Shut up, Max. I'm vibing. An enhanced version of Until Dawn comes to PC this year. Return. Wait, this year? Return to Blackwood Mountain with the new third-person mode, <gasps> plus improved visuals, audio, and more. We're playing it. I need. I need to know day one when that's released. I need y'all, I need y'all to like fucking keep on top of that for me because I will play that like day one. I will, I will play until dawn if it's like, if it's released the day it's like, like not, maybe not the day, but you know, like the week it's released on, um, uh, on PC for real though. Uh, hate this drift. Uh, what a homie. Yeah, smart. I never noticed you could do that. Well, there you go. I'm smart. Oh my God. We all sick. With yeah. Everyone's sick right now. I don't know what's going on. Like half my throat is swollen and I'm at Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Did they have I didn't sex? Think Kate was like this. Macking I think they haven't sex. We shouldn't have you never played it this. before? I have played Life is Strange. I have played Life is Strange. By now. Seriously, who cares? Okay, let's uh what are y'all doing? Whatever um, they're watching must be hot stuff. There's Brooke looking smarter than everybody. I haven't Get a life and move on, bitch. Damn, what the hell? Uh, I think we've evolved from pranks no and memes, or most of us have anyways. Some some of us. Uh, Lord. Okay, we read all that last time. Map. Did I ever look at, like, the full map? Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Stella! Uh, it was just announced a few days ago. I'll let you know. Thanks. Oh, okay. Clearly not a morning person. Red rum. Board, anything new? I I'd like love to make a fuck man. People here are merciless. Yeah, we already saw that. Okay, stomp big first. Love you, T. Do we go in and fuck it? Can I go? Oh, Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Yeah, hopefully, don't get busted. 
I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Yeah, we've looked at most of the shit in her room. I'm gonna try and look at her laptop. Curiosity killed the max. Yeah, do it. Go through her shit again. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Relationship status. Don't say that out loud, dork. Relationship status, not single. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay, so she's got a new boyfriend now. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Okay, that's the same. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Gothic burlesque woman's outfit. Hey, yo, I'm... Damn, not mad getting roasted by you and the NPC. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, stupid cedar season for me. I know, Nikki. Everyone just buckle down. We're Everyone will be good again soon. Hopefully everyone will be uh, right in front of her. Dang. Yeah. Oh, she's got contraceptives now. Hmm. She on the pill. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just got laid. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. She got laid. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Oh, really? Okay. Because you seemed like you were mad. Uh, me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. Mm -hmm. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. <gasps> That's no awesome, way. Dana. Girl, no At way. least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Um, uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Do we go to the party? Do we want to go to the party? What do we want to do here? I don't know why my phone keeps autocorrecting Max to mad because she mad, yo. Yes, Shay wants to party. If Shay wants to party, I think we have a party, right? Why not? Fuck it. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back yes. to my room. Yes. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does mm -hmm. sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Sorry, I forgot to drink the rest of my vitamins. Bless this meth. I will bless the meth. Max, watch your link. I know she dropped an F-bomb. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck writing, but I thought you should know. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought you should I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. Not the kind of man you deserve. I saw how, you saw how I pussed out. If you need money. Okay, yeah, we saw that. What a dick. She's got a new boyfriend who's a cute skater boy. We love the cute skater boys. As you guys know, Max is a big fan of the cute skater boys. All right, let's take a shower. Time to take a shower. Hey, it's Kate. We love Kate. Look at how cute she is. I want to be BFFs with Kate. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. What? Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. You made that decision, Hamley, it's not, not true. me. I wanted to help, but. But. Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? You made that. Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What could we have done? You could have inter you could have intervened. You could have stopped this. You could have done anything. She sounds like Luann from King of the Hill. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Um, what I tried, KK's like, I tried. KK's like, I was the only one, Kim. And you know what's funny, too? KK normally doesn't get, like, super, like, um, uh, passionate about, about things with games. 
And I've never seen KK get riled up more. I can't. <laughs> uh, it would have showed. I would have shown anyone would stand up for her. I know. Big scary man, small young. I know. Like re like that's the hardest decision about, or that's the hardest part about the decisions in this game, Nikki. Is like when you think about them logically, it's like yeah, what logically, what could Max have done there? Nothing. Like legitimately nothing. Uh, so I'm like. Yeah, you know, but yeah, true. Yeah, she says I tried. I can't. <laughs> anyway, uh, back into the game. Sorry, I'm like, I have the Ochda today. All I want to do, you guys, I got this new skin on Valorant, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. All right, am I just supposed to shower now? Okay, hold on. Look at this. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Not safe for work. Why do we have like a half naked poster of a woman in here? Oh, yo. Otter power? I'm so not there. Otter swim, uh, swim teacher, as we saw this before. Also true, there's also evidence of standpoint of the picture, but yeah, there's also evidence standpoint with the picture, which is nice. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Isn't that true, though? Like, every time I get, like, a shot for an immunization, Rachel is a whore. Well, that's nice. That's really sweet. Out of order. Who cares? Sorry, you bitch. Why are teenage girls the worst? Can we have a discussion about how teenage girls are the worst? I would know. Source, I was one at one point in my life. Teenage girls are literally actually the worst creatures. Like, seriously, the worst creatures. You can't really see me in cinematic with this shower scene here. saying what's that about what's up kate I just fucking hate her. school that's it that video of you clubbing didn't look like homework victoria that wasn't me oh my god right don't be shy i think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. I hate her. Oh no, not the bullies. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. I mean, I'm pretty cool, so like, you can hang out with me, it's fine. It's cool. Yo, what the fuck, this is how women talk about each She's other? She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. This is how teenage girls that. talk about I'm each so other. I hate so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I love that she has the fucking hyperlink <laughs> memorized. I don't love it, but like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is very high school. Yeah, this is very much like, this is very much, they did a very good job of capturing what it was like to be a girl in high school. No joke, like legitimately. I'm triggered, I know. Oh, great, sweet baby. Yeah, I would have come out of the shower and just stood there, titties out, and stared. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. You know why? You know why I'm laughing? Because I know that's true. You would have. I would have peeked around the curtain and been like, "Hey!" Like it's. I always think like, how different would my life be? And tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. Any other, any other person out there who who was a uh, a girly in high school? Uh, you know, if you know, you know. Uh. If you could go back to high school with who you are today, how different would your high school experience be? How different would your high school experience be if you could go back, like knowing who you are now with like who you are now, like, like with the confidence you have now, the knowledge you have now, like how different would your high school experience be? I feel like I would be a vigilante. I feel like I would be a high school girl vigilante.
just running around, just fucking ripping into bullies every time they tried to say anything to anyone. And then by by proxy, I would kind of be the bully, but like, but with justice on my side, okay? It would be vindicated. It would be allowed, all right? <laughs> Assert your dominance. I would have started singing. <laughs> oh, sing what, Nikki? Got a bucket and a mop for that wet ass. What? Uh, I wish I had the courage to get my titties out and stare at my voice. Shay, you called after a long pause. Yes. High school would have been way better. Exactly. My high school and college experience would have been so much fucking better. It's really sad how... And I don't know why, because you're all so wonderful. Like, like I don't know why it happens like this, but like how some women are just determined to ruin another woman's experience in other things. And like, I don't know why that's so fucking prevalent, especially in like high school and middle school. I don't know why girls are like the amount of shit that like my friends said and did to me in high school and middle school. I'm like sitting there now and I'm like, girl, why would you ever accept that? Why would you ever accept that from anyone? Like, let alone someone you call a friend. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I feel like mine would mostly be the same, but I probably would have hit a few more people. <laughs> okay, Justina would have been more physically violent. Okay, yeah. I, uh, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, U, and your mom, and your girlfriend, and your dog. I hid in the art room like a little creature 90% of the time and I absolutely would not have had the energy to stare at barbecue sauce on my titties at a bully. Same. I would have never been able to barbecue sauce titties at my bullies. You say prevalent like my brother. A lot of people do actually. Prevalent or prevalent? Prevalent. Prevalent. Prevalent? 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 What way do I say it now? Now you got me all tongue twisted. It's prevalent. Yeah, prevalent. I swap between both. I will pronounce a word one way and then another way depending on context. Also, sometimes I will say words differently than I read words. Does anyone else do that? Uh, I had a couple downfalls with best friends in college because I didn't realize they were actually being cunts to me. Yeah. Also, I love how comfortable we are all are with the C word now. <laughs> just, just, just go. Barbecue sauce on our titty C words, baby. Uh, I changed in the toilet stalls and locker rooms and was late because I refused to change in the big... No, same. Justina, I could not get, like, undressed. It was the weirdest thing how much I hated my body growing up. And now looking back, I'm like, girl, you are a dime. If I had that body now, I would just be naked like 24 seven. I would walk outside and I'd be like, oh, great day for a jog. Take off my shirt and just go fucking jogging. Like, are you kidding me? Why did you hate your butt? You, this is what they mean when they say youth is wasted on the young. I sound like an 80 year old man right now. And I don't fucking care because it's true. Youth is wasted on the young. If I, if I had the body that, I mean, like, I love my body now too, though. Don't get me wrong. Like I, like if I had two very different, I was very like slim and boyish and now I'm very curvy. But if I had that body now, I'd be like naked all the time. Did I just end a 20 second coughing fit to hear barbecue sauce my titties? Yes. Yes, you did. It reminded me, it just reminded me of my brother. No worries. You're fine, Nikki. I maybe would have, uh, I would have maybe snorted less Adderall if I had to go back to high school. Oh, maybe. Or more. Who knows? Who knows? I thought I was fat and ugly. I was not, I was in fact not fat and ugly back then. Right? Right? It's wild how fat I thought I was back then. It's society, Kepi. That's how they condition us to feel. Also, hi, welcome into our rant. We're just, we're getting out like, ugh, life is strange is like triggering me because it's reminding me of how horrible people were in high school and middle school. Anyway, sorry, but welcome in everyone. How are we doing? Yeah, no, I feel that like, it's like, I spent so much time thinking I was ugly and fat and I wasn't. I wasn't. Like, why? Why do I, why did I spend so much time of my life hating myself when I could have just loved myself? And I really hate that that like, it was reinforced by everyone. It was reinforced by society. It was reinforced by my friends. It was reinforced by my family. And we all do it to each other. Humans ruin the human experience of living. Can I just say that? Humans are the worst things to happen to the planet. We just, we ruin life for one another and it's not even okay. 
Oh my god, yeah, the, I wish I was as fat as I thought I was when I was thought, I, or I wish I was as fat as when I thought I was fat. Yes, because if I looked like I used to, I would be so flaying. Same. The high school I went to was only forcefully de desegregated in 1976, so it still had those issues. Holy shit, Nikki. God damn. 90,000s culture made you think you needed neck bones showing, and if not, you're fat. Yes! Exactly. Joe gets it. So true. Yes, humans are the worst thing to happen to women. It doesn't make Humans are the worst things that happen to humans. Like, we're the worst things to happen to ourselves. We are ruining our own experience on this planet. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, back to the bullying. Uh, sink. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to look. Actually, Water no. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. I'm just going to use every sink in this game. For those who are Hello? new to the... Water! Shut up! Sorry. I forgot. For those who don't know uh, in the Hamley, when I get presented with the option to use a sink or flush a toilet in a game, I have to do it. I don't know why. It's my thing. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Yes, sink trophy, baby. All right, let's look at the message. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. HTTP slash Kate'sVid.com. We're going to erase it because we hate her. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Because we're a good person. Uh, trust no one. Also, fuck Victoria. Literally, I'm, look, I'm going to let you guys make all the big decisions. But as far as it goes, I will never do anything to let any. Who is screaming? I will not let anything bad happen to Kate. And I will do anything to thwart Victoria because fuck a bitch. Okay, are these two friends again? Are you two friends again? Stuff? There's stuff in this box. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Uh, using every sink, like how you use that one sink five times back to back in Indigo Prophecy. Okay, Spartan. Okay, Spartan. I get it. I didn't... <laughs> also, how I pissed in every toilet. Hey! Vibe with sunshine! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hamley. We're happy to have you. I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday. And thank you for being here and joining us here in the Hamley. Uh, you said who is screaming right after my boyfriend starts screaming at his video game. <laughs> Shay, that's awesome. My Kate trauma is still palpable. Same. I have so much trauma around Kate. Hey! Happy Saturday. And if nobody told you, you're important and loved. Aww! Vibe with sunshine, you're so sweet. You're important and love. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome in. It was so funny. I kind of, I low key, I just kind of want to rewatch my Indigo Prophecy uh, VOD just because it that that game was such a shit show. Okay, let's talk later, Max. Okay, okay. I literally said it's Frank out loud and realized <laughs> it's Frank. He yelled. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. There was a lot of pissing. There was so much pissing. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? No. That's not cool. I'm going to stand up for her. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe Thank everything you, the hydrate. you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Snap! Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Snap! Yo! Can we get three <laughs> claps for Max's clap back there? Okay, sorry. Um, what about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Obviously to not. Back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Damn. The Thanks, right. Juliet. Sure. Stand Talk to you later. Up to the bullies. Max got that clap back. Wait, nah, she got she got a long back. Look. <laughs> she got a long back like Lexi. You guys, Lexi's booty is not popping and it really upsets me. Uh all right. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm texting Zach. Mm -hmm. Girls supporting girls. You know what? We're a girls girl in this household circumstantially it depends okay look i'm not not that i would never have a girl's back but some women like we talked about are destructive like don't get me wrong i would never let anything happen to victoria but if i had a chance i'd call her a bitch 
you know, I'd, I'd tell her. I'd fucking, maybe I'd sneeze in her face. That's cute. I'd sneeze in her face. Just saying. Uh, Gorals, I'm back. Is this the first heavy episode? I don't know. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Uh, no fucking way. Who's this is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Yo, that's the threat! That's a fucking threat! Turn that into the- Put it away. Just put it away. Just get rid of it. Just, what is this? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Yo, like teenagers are the worst. Teenagers are the worst. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Here's my thing. Here is my thing. Here is my thing. I, as an adult, get mad at people or get irritated with people, but I don't think like, hey, you know what's an appropriate response? Let's send them a picture with their head cut off and put onto a fucking plate. Why, why, why are teenagers the worst? Like what the actual literal fuck? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. What the literal actual and nothing here. What did I just walk in on? Johnny, we are, we're in a mood today. I started stream crying because I'm a so sobby, sappy little bitch today. Uh, and we're just discussing how terrible high school girls are. So join us. Also, welcome in. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Oh. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. There we go. Uh, but yeah, hi Johnny. We're sad. We are sappy boys today. We really are. In high school, someone photoshopped a teacher's face on someone flying on the magic carpet and hung copies all over the hallways. What do you? Be gone, foul soft drink. What do you mean, Joe? Now I have questions. Like, this like is Aladdin. Such a wise, wistful book. I have. Aha, you sneaky book. And then place, right. and then place the paper on the soda. I know she's fucking wild. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Uh, cool. Just left Madame Web, which also has teenage girls. Nice. We love teenage girls. Just kidding. They're the worst. They're literally actually the worst. Uh, timetable. I have a schedule. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Oh, poor thing. Wait, they let their teach they let their teachers have mental health. Yo. Okay, but for real, Nikki, you need a new job. Get a job at Blackwell. They let they let their teachers have mental health breaks. Uh, yeah, I think so. It was someone on the magic carpet. Okay. Was it meant to be weird or was it just meant to be like Mimi cuz like that's kind of funny. That that would be like a fun senior prank. <laughs> I, f I feel like, I feel like that would I be need like to get a fun dressed before senior. I go there. Oh uh, yeah, clothes are a good point. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. I played hey, this one. I had the same exact suit for every day of the week, True. and he couldn't even rewind time. I played this once, and I don't think I can replay the emotions. It's really hard to go through the emotional now I can journey finally again. Finally, take this back to Kate before I'm late. I'm only doing it for you guys. I don't have to worry about being late anymore. That's a lie. Every I once in a while, all the time in the world now. Every once in a while, I do like to be emotionally damaged. Person, a private number. Are you threatening me? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay. See, as a teenage girl, I'd be like, oh no. But me, if I were to respond to this today, I'd go, hey yo, winky face. Anyway. Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Oh my god. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. That's what it I'm was. Already. It was a senior prank. Yes. They also let their teachers have well spoilers. <laughs> Shut up, Johnny. 
That's also they're also the best though. Girlhood has its moments. Teenage girls can be really cute and sincere too, but they also are just the worst. Uh, it was the religion teacher and he was weird as fuck. So you guys put him on a magic carpet. That is fucking what is this? Teenage Mutant uh t-m-n-h-g teenage mutant ninja high school girls brain stuck teenage mutant ninja high school girls Kate, leaves door unlocked i know right yes, i can't i'm here come in Mom. i can't have anyone fucking with my stuff let me leave my door unlocked hi kate this is this is a depression room if i ever saw one this is a fucking depression room okay first and foremost we got the cloth on the mirror why did she cover up the mirror Okay. If she can't look at herself. We got... Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and... positive. Excuse me. I know. Look how cute that is. Where's the fridge? I don't know, Johnny. There's no depression fridge in this room. Why well, have mirror in the room? Uh, I love mirrors. I used to not like mirrors, but now I've got like two full-length mirrors. Actually, I have three full-length mirrors in my house. I have one in my bathroom. I have one in my bedroom and the, the one that I got for my birthday, you guys know. If you know, you know the one with all the RGB. It just, I'm living for it. It's just, it's helping me live my best life. And then I also have one that I turned sideways and then mounted onto my wall inside my entry. So that way when I like, I'm about to leave for the day, I can just be like, and then go, you know, mirrors, baby. A depression room has more empty beer cans. Not that I know. Well, they're under age, Joe. They can't buy beer. What is this? Prayer candles. Nice. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. Aww. Imagine having a parent that loves you. <laughs> well, I avoided looking at the mirror for ages. I get that, Camilla. It, it, life was probably different for you. But I also avoided looking at a mirror for a very long time. So I, I, can't, I can relate, but not to the degree that you did. Not after what caused this depression room. Yeah. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, she did get really like wasted at the party. So she probably doesn't drink. Our senior prank was going to be a beach day because we had a creek in, in front of our school and creek, 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 creek uh, in front of our school and wet. And we were going to put a bunch of sand along one side of it and bring food out, chairs, umbrellas, coolers, and get one of the teachers to say they'd grill if we uh, and got one of the teachers to say they'd grill if we brought one. And then there was a paper sent out a week before that said if we did any prank at all, our entire graduation would be canceled. So we just skipped school. That's so dumb. Our funny story about pranks. My mom and her friends have a fun boss and they play pranks on him. One year they photoshopped their boss riding a unicorn and then they printed it out and stuck it to their boss's car. Their boss only found out because people kept honking at him on the road to get his attention. And they would put their finger up to the head resembling a horn like a unicorn. Uh, after you finish this episode, if I'm not asleep, I will ask how your first playthrough of this episode went. Yeah, uh, definitely, Camilla. Definitely. I haven't looked in a mirror since 2006. Joe, come on. What? We got to build that confidence up. Oh, God. Sorry. Shay and I are writing the same wave and just wrote you short stories. I love your short stories. That's why I paused to read them. Uh, so I like harmless pranks. So like the last big prank that I pulled was when I was working at a cell phone retailer uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a laugh, but holy shit, that was hilarious. What? Is it they put a finger to her? Like, I would do that. No, Shay, sorry. The only reason that your, I didn't laugh at your story is because it reminded me of the last prank that I pulled. Uh, so I was hyper fixating on that. It was funny. Their boss thought it was hilarious. Good. Uh, so my boss at a phone, cell phone retailer that rhymes with shmee, shmee, and shmee, uh, he was kind of a dick. He was younger than the rest of us. Uh, so we'd like to like kind of like gently bully him, especially when he would try too hard to like flex his authority on us. Uh, he, <laughs> for some reason, we got it in our head that it would be really funny, like at the end of April one year, um, to print out a bunch of like the Justin Timber, like it's gonna be May, like memes. <laughs> and <laughs> while he was at a business meeting, we went outside and, and literally taped <laughs> it's gonna be my memes to every inch of his car <laughs> so and then, and then when he came 
back. He was like so mad. He was like, oh, ha ha. Okay. And then, like, cause he went out for like lunch with like our, like our regional manager and he came back. So he started, he's like, okay, you guys have to take those off. And we're like, nope. So he went and started pulling them off. But then as he started pulling them off, it revealed, <laughs> it revealed that we had printed out like a full size, like, printed copy of him like we like made this meme of him justina you, you forgot you remember that stupid picture that we photoshopped to make him look like really really short we put that underneath all the justin timberlakes justina and i used to be by the way for those who don't know justina is like my friend my former roommate my former former co-worker at several different businesses and tomorrow we're gonna have a girl sleepover. She can come sleepover. We're gonna drink wine and do puzzles. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cuddle. Uh, every inch sounds harsh. He was a dick, but it was again, it didn't do anything to his car, and it was a harmless prank because it was just fucking Justin Timberlake. Thought you were gonna talk about when you and I pretend fought in the back room to make Devin uncomfortable as revenge for him trying to get people fired in trouble. Yo, that was. Justina and I used to do all sorts of ratchet shit. Best kind of night. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Do you remember when we swapped mine and Devin's faces on the fucking employee of the month picture that I forced him to let me be in with him? Yeah, you know who had the print out of it? Me. I literally threw it away just the other day because I like no offense. I just couldn't look at it. It was terrifying. And I was like, I don't want to remember this. <laughs> I have the memory. I don't need to see it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So she's got a photo. Uh, I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. That's fair. It was cursed. It was so cursed. I had like, for some reason, I had like all of these old employee of the month pictures. I had like Tabitha's. I had like Christian's. I had Joey's. I was like, why do I have all this shit? Like none of this is me. I never got employee of the month because I had a bad attitude. <laughs> And I was too busy fucking doing all of the stuff except for sales, you know, like inventory and shit. Gasp, my government. No, not you, a different Christian. Spartan. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Let her cook. Oh, hi, baby. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. Me either, because they hated me. They hated me because... They're like, your, sa your sales numbers aren't good. And I was like, okay, how about you let someone else do inventory for once then? How about you let someone else do all of like the fucking advertisements? How about you let someone else do all the, all of the, you know, advert, like uh, what, was, what was the shit where we had to change all the stuff around in the store? The resets or whatever. Maybe if you stopped making me doing all of the little stupid shit that you're supposed to do, I could do more sales. So we did have inventory down to a fucking science, though. My favorite was when we would get McDonald's. I mean, what? Oh, the resets. Yeah. Like, I bet I bet I would have had more sales if I didn't have to be the person standing in front of the store cleaning the windows. So that bunny looks absolutely oh, terrifying. It's scary. She left out damnation. Auntie Marge. Okay. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marge. This is what we call toxic. Wait, are we in someone's room? Yes, we're in Kate's room. We're just going through all her shit. Because, you know, we like to go through everyone's shit when we go into their room. It's my favorite thing is to Good go through Lord. everyone's shit. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Uh, yeah, it's Linda. Often, I have the best sale. Uh, I had the best sales often. Yeah. Oh, she's there. Yeah. Imagine finding someone with a fucking picture of your rabbit. Oh, no, she's there. I was just like, hey, Kate. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of your rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Reason, uh, re uh, reply call us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Bitch. Bitch. 
Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. My bad, I'm also video gaming. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your Saturday, Shay. So no bads. You didn't do anything wrong. You're just asking clarifying questions. Shut it. Usually I'm against Maybe it, but Kate go through her shit. Split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. No, it's not how that works. That's not how, I mean, it does sometimes, but like I just, she was tricked. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. I know these things. I'm smart. Bible? Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Hmm. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Fair enough. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Proverbs. Uh, when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers, and it's crossed out. So she doesn't believe that the evildoers. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. God damn, Max. Don't judge them. Aw, Kate and her family. Her dad looks a little judgy as is her mom as is her sister but look her and her sister both have like all they all have like little matching necklaces they're so cute it's way too emo in here that's what i'm Kate saying isn't that gloomy until lately damn uh, evangelicals yeah i will go uh kate's crazy hair kate's hair is crazy as fuck Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Maybe she just really likes, like, the... Maybe, the, like, it was, like, a Jersey Shore-inspired thing. Can you look at the family photo over time, please? Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. She, like, maybe she likes, like, the... Like, the big poof. Like, the Jersey Shore. Her hair is so 1980s first lady. Let her cook, you guys. Let Kate do what she wants. Okay, looking. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Oh, that's her and her sisters. Look how cute they all are. She has Peggy Hill hair. So she has Luann's voice and Peggy Hill's uh, hair. Okay, that makes sense. Stop roasting Kate, everyone. She's a nice lady. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Okay, let's talk to her. Hi, Kate. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything? When David harassed me yesterday. Well, Hamley, what do you have to fucking say for yourselves? Why didn't you help Kate when... Why didn't you help Kate when David harassed her yesterday? Can we talk about it? Hmm? Hmm? Hamley? Hamley? It's giving Southern, the higher the hair, the closer to God. They're so cute. It really is, yeah. I've been watching King of, I've been watching King of the Hill. Nice. Now I just want to watch King of the Hill. Welcome back, Alex. <laughs> no, she's cute. They just gave her a crazy mop. Yeah. Did we film it or anything? We took a picture. As someone who voted otherwise, I asked the same question. Johnny, and I just imagine Johnny and KK standing next to each other, crossing their arms and their chest on top of their soapbox going, Ha! <laughs> That's, ha! That's them right now. Give side eye. Oh my God, I wasn't here for the last one. Okay, true. Bagel sounding like a disappointed mom with that well, Hamley. I am a disappointed mom. Uh, gives side eye. Her hair is crazy. Don't talk bad about her. Max, she looks bad. Bagel, silence. I can't criticize Max. I can't change her thinking. She just, she just, she just be doing what she be doing. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> can you all explain to KK and Johnny? That was such an anime sound just now. You know, see, I could do voice acting. Ha! Then maybe, then maybe we tell her we wanted proof. I would have beat ass, but I wasn't here, so my hands are clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're doing, Hamley? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll go back. I guess we're just going to tell her we wanted proof. 
I'm thinking I just kind of want like coffee. I just keep thinking, do I want to make more coffee? Oh, and nobody else? Just me? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I wanted proof, Kate. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. I do Kate, care. I, do. I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. I wasn't even class that day, y'all. Uh, did you party with them? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. Mm -hmm. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this yeah. sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Mm -hmm. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. People? And I have no memory of it. People. Uh, that doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Uh, I'm not gonna be like, are you sure? Because that's like, that's gaslighty. We're gonna say that's not enough to get wasted. I agree, that's definitely not. One sip of wine, although for me, one sip of wine, I'm like, woo! Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Mm -hmm. Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Mm -hmm. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. I don't like that. Uh, and now you have to answer for your peers. Yeah, I wish I were you. I, you could have saved us. Uh, or wish you were, you could have saved us. Yes, tell me about the video, Kate, in great detail. Joe, are you good? Making out those guys didn't consent. Shh. Give me one sip of wine. She's going to open her leg. Johnny. Johnny. All right. Uh, did you go? Did you go? I don't want to alert her Definitely to Nathan not. Prescott being a creeper. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... This is creepy. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Yeah, sweetheart. So who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Aww. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? This poor girl. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Poor Kate. Uh, it's a meme. Johnny's cultured. Oh, Johnny is cultured. I'm not cultured. Uh, a sharp sting on her neck. What? Yeah, Kate, Kate don't look at this. Icky Vicky. She very much Icky Vicky. Okay, um... Here you go. Enjoy your book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? All right, Hamley. It is time to do your civic duty and vote because for those who are new to this playthrough i have played life is strange ad nauseum in this playthrough you the hamley get to make all of the big decisions so i need to know do we go to the police yes or no you all have five minutes to vote the poll is up at the top of the chat if you do not see it do me a flavor and refresh 
your browser or your chat so that you can see the poll. Uh, KK has already warned you. Don't mess this up, Hamley. I don't know what the police are going to do. Get proof. See? Okay, you guys have five minutes to debate it. You guys have five minutes to talk about the merits. Do we go to the police with what we have and what we know? Or do we not? So, And you have to keep in mind, Nathan's family basically owns Arcadia Bay. He is basically Arcadia Bay royalty. So would the police even believe you? But at the same time, you can't have this motherfucker going around doing weird shit to people. And he almost killed Chloe. So what's the play here? Hmm? Hmm? What is the play, Hamley? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tells me not to say anything. Yeah, no spoilers in the chat, but vote with your heart. You are free to vote. Even if you know what's going to happen, you are you are allowed to vote. I'm not I'm not gonna take that away from you. I'm not taking that away from you. Or do mess it up and tie the poll. If you guys tie the poll, I flip a coin and it's going to turn out terribly. We probably need to get more proof, Hamley. Okay. Shay's saying we probably need to get more proof. You guys have a chance. I too say nothing, but just remember chat. AJ will remember. Stop. My AJ, didn't my AJ turn out fairly well adjusted? No, that's right. My AJ turned into a little psychopath, didn't he? I forgot. My AJ turned into a little fucking psychopath. It all just came screaming back to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my AJ turned into like a little fucker. I doubt the police will do anything. See, Shadow. Speaking up for the let's not go crew, uh, you have about two and a half minutes. Actually, you know what? While the poll is going, I'm going to go make a cup of coffee. So you guys debate amongst yourselves. If people pop into the chat, tell them to vote. Let them know. I'm going to put us on a quick BRB and I'm also going to pee. Justice for Abby. Joe, you can go fuck yourself. No, I'm kidding. I'll be right back. Everyone behave. Why is blue in the void? Okay, babies, don't run into these traps, okay? Okay. Ah, fuck you! I am the puzzle queen! Eat my ass! I, okay, not like that. Just listen to Mommy Bagel and you'll be good at the game. Halen is PG. She's going to watch the VOD. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize, Halen. I'm keeping it PG. Do we read Numa's diary knowing that she's probably in love with uh, Kyung Soon? Don't do it. Oh, God. Pardon me wants to just violate her trust. Oh, respect the boundaries. Oh, but I could also violate her trust. <laughs> I see. I see what you're saying, Wilbur, about respecting boundaries. But also, I could just crush those and betray her trust. Okay. You put the notebook down. All right. Lots and lots of tally marks. <laughs> Bagel heel turn. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is why I play games. Because I don't get the real life repercussions. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, she comes out of nowhere. Bagel? 
You stop short as you run to new. Please break up with me. I regret dating you. It's embarrassing to tell everyone you don't have the money or the brain. You can't teach sports, right? <laughs> I don't need you in my life. My mom says she should also break up with you. <laughs> Why did she come storming in like that? Fuck me. I like almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> Why are you in my room? I don't know, bitch. Running low on ammo. It's fine. We're fine. This is fine. One, nothing's wrong with me. Two, nothing's wrong with me. Three, can't hit my shots. Four, can't hit my shots. Five. Let the puppets hit the floor! Let the puppets hit the floor! Okay, we're good. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Would you like to get some Chinese food? Because I think you're my soy mate. Soy mate. Sup, baby. Sup, sup, suck it, sup, baby, suck it. Anyway, the amount of people I've seen die from falling, including myself, is way too many. It catches you by surprise. That's why. Go. Can I jump that gap there? When I die, cremate me into a sandwich. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to put this in a different... Oh. <laughs> so, wait. Hold on. This is harder than you think it is. Hold on. Okay. Return address. Uh, uh. Wait. <laughs> Just shift the desk. What is the no, wait? Hold on. This is Nux on his face. God damn it, Duck. I look. This is harder than it looks, guys. Why do I? Why am I stamping the desk? Wait. Stop. Stop. John, have you ever? Have you ever seen how things work? Just fucking <laughs> stop. What? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, I actually, I actually fucking got one on there. Follow the shadow. Thank you, AP. Yeah, I click around too much. Let me catch up on chat. <clears throat> do 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 do. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Sorry, we're doing a no alert stream today because I'm sick. Actually, I should put a message in. There we go. Uh, if I have a mod in the chat, can someone pin that? Thank you. 
Uh, get rated, nerd. Thanks. Hi, Takusin. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us here in the chaos of the Hamley. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic freaking day. Uh, welcome in, Raiders. For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Baby Bagel Ham. I am a variety streamer here on the Twitch. I play a little bit of everything from first person shooters to action adventures. My favorite genre of games are horror and emotionally damaging indies that make you cry yourself to sleep at night. And my current favorite games are gta 5 that's grand theft auto 5 in a 5m roleplay server setting and valorant so if any of that sounds like your vibe please feel free to stick around get to know us a little bit and smash that follow button if you want to stay uh takusin how was your stream what did you do what did you play can i get a couple shout outs for takusin please and thanks how was pal world what did you do what did you play and welcome in how we doing yeah, sorry. Welcome in. We're having a very low-key uh, stream today because I feel like ass, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, we're, we're just doing a chill Saturday and we're playing a uh, we're playing a, a little uh, a little emotionally damaging tale called um, uh, Life is Strange. So if that sounds like your vibe, please feel free to stick around. We appreciate you. Made the first guns and we took on some raid bosses. Oh, all right. Cool. That sounds awesome. I've never played Pal World and I haven't watched anyone play. Uh, it just it looks like it would be overwhelming simulator for me. But if you are enjoying your time, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hamley, if you're interested in Pal World or you want to go check out Takusin content, do me a favor, go smash the follow button. Check them out next time they're live, please. And thanks, I appreciate it. And welcome in Raiders. We appreciate having you here. Uh, Raiders, for those who are just coming in, let me know what's your favorite color, what's your favorite video game, and what is your favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher? And yes, you will be judged if you say the wrong flavor of Jolly Rancher because there is one supreme flavor and it's not what you think it is, most likely. Most people wouldn't expect this. But welcome in to Life is Strange. Raiders, if you also need to raid and run, I completely understand. Please feel free to leave a lurk or uh, dip out. I completely understand. Uh, but thank you so much for coming in. And if you plan on sticking around, fuck yes. Welcome to Life is Strange. And welcome, I'm about to lecture my chat. <clears throat> I'm catching up on chat. I just went and made more coffee and I came back and they've made a terrible decision on this day. Kels may not say anything. We'll probably get more, we probably need to get more proof, maybe. I too will say nothing, but just remember chat, AG will remember this. Uh, justice for Abby. Please typically don't do anything for this kind of stuff, but they do. They might suggest she go to the hospital, get kit testing, which would give evidence, or she could look for more evidence, maybe find more footage of her, or hear him bragging about what he did. Could maybe find someone else who knows something. All true, uh, Justina. Maybe the police can review the video and see she was drunk. Also true, Shay. Poss drunk, possibly drugged. Also true, Shadow. Can they test for drugs? How long has it been again? I thought it only a day or two, but if she got a letter from her parents, probably longer, possibly. Uh, and then I saw y'all fucking tied the pole. Revote. Nikki, you know that's not how, you know how Not the coin flip. Your girl went and grabbed a quarter because she saw y'all tied the fucking pole. Can we get lots of side eye in the chat? Well, be so for real now, chat. I voted no. More evidence is needed if we're going to take down someone in a well-off family. Shadow, I like that logic. Be so for real. Did we not learn from the previous big decision? Girl needs support. I will not say which way I voted, voted because I played this with Bagel the first time she played it. Yes, Justina was one of the people I played this with for the very first time. Uh, and she remembers how upset I got at every junction of this game. She was there for all of the IRL tears and pleading and begging. It's all cursed. If the coin flip goes wrong, I'm blaming you, Spartan. Writing the knives in the event of a bad flip. What's the bad flip in this case, though? Did it tie? My poll wasn't updating. Yes, the tie, the poll tied. And Raiders, thank you again so much for coming in. I'm sorry. Can I get an exclamation point chat in the chat? I am catching up. I apologize. I'm very sick today. My throat is very swollen. So talking is very hard for me. So I'm going a little bit slower than I normally do. Can it still be reported without naming names so we can gather evidence? Possibly, Shadow. We'll find out. Nikki is 17% sassy today. Sheesh. We saw an OG clip. Which OG? Oh, what? The one where I, when I sat back down, I saw the clip where like my stream like literally crashed. Like my, like my ring light fell on me and took down my monitors. That was a weird day. That was a really weird day. I'm going to reset infinite craft. I start with four elements, fire, water, wind, earth. What should I go for? As in what should I try to craft? Water. It's the source. It's the source of all life. Water. Always tied. They're sick. It's a sickness. Yeah, get right in there. Yes, welcome in, everyone. It's good to see you all, Raiders. I'm doing good. Good to hear it. If only I could pin on mobile. Cough, cough, fix it, Twitch. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that, Spartan. Spartan, let them know. You let them know. 
Thank you for the shout outs. Uh, took on some rebosses. That's awesome. Blue raspberry is a good secondary flavor, but it is not the correct answer. Black cherry, get out. Shout out. No, I'm kidding. Purple, one of my favorite car uh, colors as well. Uh, Shinoska, did I say your name correctly? Welcome in. Uh, Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is such a good game. What class do you normally play? I don't normally play games like of that genre, but Diablo 3 had a fucking hold on me for like years. Uh, I normally, uh, I, I normally like doing a little bit of everything. I did really enjoy doing like a crusader run. Uh, Witch Doctor was very hard for me. Um, but Demon Hunter was my favorite class above all, especially like the woman, uh, uh, the woman Demon Hunter, like her, like her, uh, model was gorgeous and either grape or watermelon. Watermelon is the correct answer. Here's all the good songs. Where were they the other day? Gold, crimson. Ooh, I do like a good gold, crimson combo. And Warframe, nice. Sunflower seeds. Uh, Kaylee, I actually had a shit ton of sunflower seeds the other day. I was craving them. That's wild. They said that. Revote. No, I only say revote because my life is on the line. Nope. I honor the coin flip. Side eye. It wasn't me. I voted honestly. Thank you. It was good knowing you all. Revote or we sacrifice Spartan. Rip. Be ready. Yes, let's revote with the raid. <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hamley. Close up. Okay, well, how do you pronounce it then? Because names are important. I'm very much a names are important type of a person and I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Or do you have a nickname you'd rather go by? You let me know. Because I, I don't like I don't like butchering people's names. Bagel and I were stressed, bro. I think Harry wanted to call us. We were. We were so stressed. I meant I confused them and tried to craft something specific. I already got some things I didn't get before. Water and fire. What? Diablo 3 just hits. It really does. It really does. Shown is fine. That's what most people say. Okay. Did I at least say that correctly? Shown. Shown. I can do that. Uh, welcome in. Thank you so much for following and welcome to the All right. Since y'all fucked up. Hold on. Wait, where am I going? Hello? Hi? I don't know how to run my stream. Disclaimer. There are no circumstances answers as each answer is opinionated. We here at Bagel Co. believe in your opinion. Hey, go to the police or look for proof. Heads, we go to the police. B, we look for proof. All right, ready? Heads, go to the police. That doesn't count. B, look for proof. Here we go. It landed in my lap. I'm going to do that one more time. That was terrible. Unless your opinions tie the pole. Shay's like really mad right now. Okay, ready? Are you ready? You ready? Ahoy! What had happened? I fell asleep waiting for streams to start. Hi, Voodoo. Welcome in. Uh, chat tied the poll, so we're going to find out what big decisions made here. And it is Tails. We're going to look for more proof. Just to show you guys. Tails. If you guys can even tell. Tails. I'm going to keep this coin here because I'm feeling y'all are going to troll us. I'm going to look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. And you guys know, I don't, for those who are just coming in, we do not rewind the big decisions. And I let Good you job, all. Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. We need to make sure we have enough to bring his ass down unless this leads to an awful story plot. <laughs> it could never lead to an awful plot line. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, Voodoo's like, ah, I see what happened here on this day. If you know, you know. No spoilers, because there are people in here who have not played the game yet. Believe it or not. So she needs support, guys. She needs to know someone's in her corner. KK's dying. KK is just dying inside. Oh, look. 
Max. Food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting, Chloe. Jesus. Yay, breakfast. No emoji! Not KK and I silently mad. KK and Justina are literally in the corner whispering awful things about the rest of you right now. So we should have gone to the police. I don't know, Shay. Here's the thing. That's the thing. There is, and I will explain this to you guys, it is all just a matter of opinion in this game. Does this affect the outcome of the game? Yes. But every option could be both the good and bad option. It just depends on how you weigh it. Going to the police could be a good thing because it gets Kate's story out there. It helps stop the narrative that, and, and stop the bullying that she's going through. However, she's now going up against the son of the richest family in town who basically owns the school and the city. However, going for more proof is a solid idea if you're trying to nail his ass and make sure that the police can't sweep it under the rug. However, in the meantime, Kate is now suffering under the weight of more bullying and obviously she's not doing well. So there is no good or bad decision. It's just a decision. And we have to live with it because you tied the pole, you motherfuckers. <laughs> true, true, yes. Exactly. They would have just swept it under the rug. We need to cancel the guy. We're gonna cancel him. All right. So we got to go get some food with our girl Chloe now. Our BFF. There is one good. <laughs> Nikki's like, there is one good decision. We can still save this. We can, we can still save this, guys. Don't worry. Gonna melt that coin down. It's not the coin. It's you guys for tied pole. A tied pole. I'm so proud of. No, Chibi. It was a bad tied pole. That <laughs> it was, it was, it was bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. There's Brooke looking smarter than everybody. This is a bad circumstance. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you she talk to him yet? She is such a dick rider for Warren. Uh, no. I'm not interested. Are we interested in Warren, guys? Like, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. Are we interested in Warren? Like, are we, like, are we trying to, like... Tap that. I need I need to know in advance so I know how to play this. Do you guys want to pursue Warren? Do you guys want to like unfriend zone him? I thought it we decided no, we are sassy, not down. Okay, we are sassy, not down bad. Okay, that's a good point. I mean, then that just means the universe decided it was gonna be bad. The Hamley decided. The Hamley. Um, no, I'm good. What has he done for us? I mean, he gave us like a bunch of movies on time travel. It's up to you, chat. Pursue everyone. Nikki, you just need me to play a dating sim is what you need. You just need a good dating sim run through where I just like try to bang everything. Uh, no, nah, it's fine. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me since I'm one of the few who can talk back. This bitch is so... Talk to you later, Max. Okay, you know what? I kind of want to go back in time and just be like, yeah, Warren and I are hanging out later. In fact, I was going to invite him to the Halloween party. Just because of her attitude, she is so haunted by me. She is just such a bitch for no reason. What did I ever do to her? Also, yeah, she's down bad. Don't Okay, there's... Okay, hear me out. There is being down bad for someone. Trust me, it me. Hi, certified simp. And then there's being so down bad for someone that you're literally just turning into a massive C word to everyone else who even tries to talk to the person. Okay? Okay? Hello? You do it? Okay. A couch? What? A C word? I'm leaving. Don't... Don't be that. Yeah, don't be so down bad that you turn into a cut. <laughs> don't. Okay. There's down bad and then there's down bad. Uh, okay. There's like down like you are a bad person down bad. Okay. Oh, look, it's Samuel. Awkward segue. All right, scaffolding. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Oh, bear! 
burbs. <laughs> you guys, my burbs. The birds are flocking around Samuel. I don't know if anyone remembers my Valorant stream, but like my birds were not burning at all this week. When I was playing Sky, my burbs were not burbing. It was so bad. Oh, don't be so dumb about that you're draining everyone or also draining everyone around you. Exactly. You want to uplift. You want to uplift. Love Samuel. This is me as a janitor. You give... <laughs> I don't know if this is a nice thing, but yeah, you give Samuel vibes just yeah. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? It's a little frightening. Is that a picture of her in a swimsuit? This is why you always look around. This is why you always look around before you talk to people. You explore. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Textual clues, bitches. An axe? Can Samuel I take it? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. I'll take it. We'll accept that. That part is not me coding. You're like, nah. I, I relinquish having pictures of teenage girls. Uh, Make art, not war. Aww. Make love, not war. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What? Who said that? Not me. Food waste. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Yeah, okay. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Has everyone ever noticed that sometimes Max is just a certified fucking weirdo? I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Can I crouch? Because this is where I, as Lexi, would crouch and go, ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. We did it! Squirrels are low-key adorable, though. I know a lot of people hate squirrels, but I think they're adorable. <laughs> Uh, let's see if she says the same thing. Warren told me that yep. totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Uh, I love squirrels. So do I. She's 100% a dork, but that's the charm of her, I think. Yeah, same. But, like, I think I think I don't... I think the reason I think... The reason I think Max is a dork is because I'm also a dork. And I, like, hate acknowledging that part of myself. I am very much a dork. I am very dorky. Uh, as much as I'd like to be, like, the cool girl, I'm definitely not. Welcome to Sluts Are Us. Oh! Uh, wait! What if instead of becoming a hill slut, I start a website for hill sluts called Sluts Are Us? Any girls out there want to make some money with me? Any girlies want to make some money? Any gamer girls want to make money with me? Anyway, what? Oh, the window? Shit, the window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. True. True. They're fancy rats. Yes, they're fancy rats. Yes? Have you ever seen a video of a squirrel growl? No. Tell me more. Tell me more. What about men? Yeah, okay, fine. Get in here, Spartan. No, like, uh, Bagel, are you trying to pimp the Hamley? No, uh, I'm not trying to pimp the Hamley. I'm just saying, if there's a service that needs to be provided, I think that we could, in theory, provide that service for people and, and make some money as a Hamley. And I will take a small, nominal, minuscule cut off the top. I'm trying to pimp the family. Oh god. <laughs> I, I, my content used to be so good and every day it just gets a little worse. Um anyway, <clears throat> I mean what yeah, exactly, Spartan. 2024, the year of self-love for bagel. I'm trying. I'm trying to love myself. I think I think my hair is really pretty today because of all the curls. You guys like all the curls? You guys love all the curls? I did it. I did all the curls today. 
Uh, it was so serene early in the morning. Did I tell you to inter interrupt me, bitch? Thank you. They have a deep, angry growl and it's adorable. Shout out. Pop a video in the Discord so I can see it. I would love to. If you have time. If you're at work, then don't. And also, are you at work? And I'm, if you are, I'm so sorry. And also, when you leave work, do me a flavor and turn your fucking phone off so they don't call you back in because you deserve rest. Okay? Don't make me yell at you. My friend's grandparents used to have an army of squirrels outside and they'd feed and growl at dogs and people walking by. That is adorable. But I mean, does the family Hamley want to be pimped? Question mark? Oh my god, let us love you. Let us love you till you learn to love yourself. Thanks, Abby. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How is life? How is everything? Uh, I saw you playing a little bit of Owo the other day. How are you doing? Uh, oh wait, yeah, you did. Did you do? Did you love the curl thingy? It worked. I was surprised, but it worked. It wor okay. Like my curls are starting to fall out a little bit, but like, like it worked. I ha I had zero faith. I had zero faith. And this is just, this was just like, I did a light curl. So it could have been curlier. So like, goddamn. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Good. Thank you, John. Yeah, I'm learning to love myself. I, for those who missed it at the beginning of the stream, I had a meltdown about how I'm trying to like make positive decisions and stuff like that and do better for myself. But also I'm, you know, I'm stupid and uh, past me. I'm not stupid. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not stupid. I'm learning. Past me made some decisions that maybe in hindsight she shouldn't have made. Just a little. And now I have to like deal with the consequences of that, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just hoping that everything will work out. But I'm looking at six apartments this upcoming week. So I'm going to finally get out of the space. This place is, uh, is just sinking money uh i've burnt through like all of my savings i have like no money because between trying to pay for everything here and then like giving money to you guys know uh i have nothing so i'm i'm just i'm hoping like i'm gonna i'm gonna downsize a little bit and i'm going to um like just like find like a nice cozy little place for me uh and kitties and and just we're gonna just start over not that I want to be starting over in my 30s, but YOLO. Here we are. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, did you? Do, yeah, I did love the curl thing. I am at work. Shadow. Uh, <laughs> you better turn your phone off when you leave. God damn it. Life is so busy. I love that you love Omen. Emmy, I fuck so hard with Omen. I don't know what it is. My entire play style just changes when I play Omen. I'm the daddy now. I'm daddy now. I am daddy. I am daddy. Uh, past me is a jerk. I feel that, Nikki. Yes. You cannot hold yourself to standards you, uh, you had not met then. Yeah, I do love I do love whenever you say that, Chibi. That is like one of my favorite sayings that you've ever said. Yeah, you cannot hold yourself to standards that you had not met or knew about. So, because when you know better, you do better. Yes. If you need to get rid of things, selling on Facebook Marketplace is good. Yes, I mean, you are like the fourth friend I've had suggest that to me. And I'm 100% taking that advice. Like a million percent. Like a friend of mine mentioned it the other week. They were like, yo, just try and like sell all your shit on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, yeah, but I don't want to be on Facebook. And he was like, you don't have to be on Facebook again to have Facebook Marketplace. You can just like create a Marketplace account. And I was like, hey, yo, fuck yeah. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to do that. I have like a lot of stuff I got to get rid of. I'm also on like OfferUp and Mercari. I'm trying to get rid of stuff on there. So I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff and clearing it out. I'm so happy you're going to have the kitties. I'm going to have half the kitties. Never to hashtag never too late to start over. True. True, Johnny. And I and I like I'm like, God, you know, like if this were like any of my friends, I'd be like, no, girl, you got this. But for some reason, we always seem to judge ourselves more like harshly. I don't know why it is what it is. I don't know. Oh, my God. Omen is dead. <laughs> Omen could look. Y'all know my feelings on Omen. Omen could choke me the fuck out and I'd be OK with it. That is the hard part, but once you've settled, you'll thank yourself for it. Yes, Nymphette. And hi, welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How have you been? I popped in on your D&D &D the other day. I I'm always wa I'm always watching, Wazowski. <laughs> New Squirrel Growls dropped in the general chat and Discord. Hey, yo, I'm going to remix a song with Squirrel Growling. Hey, yo, let's do it. Red Squirrel specifically. Red Squirrels are adorable. I don't know why animals are cuter in red. 
red squirrels, red pandas, red lobster. That's a restaurant. Never mind. I was there two years ago. Had to downsize, downsize massively when I left a 15-year-old relationship with a 15-year-old relationship with nothing. Oh, nymphette. You get me. You understand me. Let's talk. <laughs> I'll give you advice about work. You can give me advice about this. <laughs> I appreciate you. How are you doing? And hopefully things are looking better at work. I know you were a little, last time we talked, you were a little like, a little unsettled. So hopefully things are going well. Uh, I literally smoke off places so my team won't push. I'm the captain now. Yes, exactly, Emmy. Like I own this shit. I'm the daddy now. I love, that's the energy we need to bring 2024. I'm the daddy now. <laughs> I'm failing, but I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wave 4. What? Huh? Huh? Mella, I believe in you. I uh, saw it from someone else, but life literally changed when I heard it. I like that too. Yeah, you can also sell on Nextdoor or OfferUp. Yes, OfferUp. I've been using Nikki. OfferUp is clutch. Uh, that's how I feel about Astra. Yeah, I'm doing good. Yay! If you want talking time, DAs are open. I'm gonna take your time. Uh, it's a YouTube short too, so it's not that super long. Long. Obviously, the point. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Oh my god. 20 yes, this is the 2024. We are own daddies. No, I like it. 2024 is now uh at symbol uh right parenthesis at symbol dollar sign because we making that money <laughs> guys i should not have got more coffee i'm a fucking dork. okay anyway back to the game i'm a fucking dork for those who are just coming in welcome we're playing life is strange i have played life uh, is strange before a lot of the chat has but there are some people who haven't so no spoilers if you're coming in uh but i am letting chat make all of the major game changing decisions all of like the normal dialogue and stuff i am the captain of this i am the daddy now uh but all of the major decisions are made by you the hamley so if you want to help shape the outcome of this game stick around hang out we're, we're just vibing we're talking about nonsensical stuff We've covered every topic under the sun from like school pranks to why teenage girls are the worst. Uh, and and now we're talking about 2024 being the year of the daddy. So get in here. What's up? Obviously the point, yes. Infinite Craft trying to get to YouTube. I got Mario Kart, what I said. Oh, okay, same page now, Camilla. Your brain is so beautiful, Camilla. You're like too big brain for me half the time. Yes, exactly. More caffeine. I made a pot of coffee at five. I'm going to be dead tomorrow, Justina. Just FYI. Anyway, we're going to talk to Taylor now. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Shh. I need to get to the main campus and catch the bus. Chloe's waiting at the diner. Shut up, Max. This is my game. I'm the daddy now. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone <coughs> without Team Victoria. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi Taylor. Mommy. Daddy? Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. This bitch! I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Okay, so we need to talk about Kate's video and you not being such a bitch. Uh, letting chat, aka the menaces, and what do we do with menaces? Get photos. <laughs> Got it. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. Oh God, we're preaching about sex. <laughs> that is not, <laughs> that is not the way I wanted to greet you Raiders. Raiders, welcome, welcome in. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. We're. I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't mean for that to happen. Tactical Vixen, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hamley. I apologize. Uh the raid we normally have like a big boop 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 boo thing for the raid, but since we're playing Life is Strange, if you know you know, it's more of an emotionally damaging game, so we took out a lot of the alerts because we didn't want to cut away from the underlying message about mental health in the game. But welcome in raiders. Beefy, how are you doing? Long time no see. How is life? How are you? How was gaming? I st I popped in earlier when you were playing a little bit of Dead by Daylight before I started my stream. How was it? Did you get any Ws? Welcome in. How are we doing? It's so good to see you and welcome in Raviolis. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Demon Karis, nice to see you again. How are you doing? Tactical Vixen, again, welcome in. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, com uh competitor, competitor? Is that your name? Welcome in. Nice to meet you. Uh, Mikoshi. Mikoshi. 
that's an adorable name and I hope I'm saying it right. Welcome and nice to meet you. Death Creek, nice to meet you as well. Almakov, nice to meet you as well. Uh, Shalbu, nice to meet you. Welcome in. How is everyone doing? Preach. I'm sorry. We're not preaching. Us. I'm so sorry. Tiny toasty marshmallow. Oh, I want a marshmallow. Welcome in. Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, hi, I'm here for the, for the sermon. I brought snacks. You brought snacks for me to uh, talk about uh, this, the day of our sex. For those who know, we're playing uh, Life is Strange, so this game covers a lot of stuff. Someone clip that shit. No, no. We're good. We don't need that clip. Uh, tell us the good word. <laughs> I don't know what the good word would be. Um, if anyone's familiar with the song, it's been a while. Uh, so I don't know if I should be the one to be preaching about the sex. Uh, but yes, we love that. I'm doing good. You're a sweetie. I got some wins, but not a lot. Hell yeah. You know what? Someone's are better than no wins. And honestly, sometimes it's just fun to play the game, win or no win. Uh, but thank you so much for thinking of me and bringing a community in. For those who don't know me, hello, I am Baby Bagelham. I am a variety streamer here on the Twitch. I play a little bit of everything from first person shooters to action adventures. My favorite genre of games are horror and emotionally damaging indies, like Life is Strange, uh, that make you cry yourself to sleep at night. My current favorite games that I'm stuck on are Valorant and GTA 5, that's Grand Theft Auto 5, in a role play server setting. So if any of that sounds like your vibe, please feel free to smash the follow button, stick around, get to know us. And if you are hanging around, let me know. Raiders, what is your favorite color, your favorite video game, and your favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher? And yes, you will be judged if you say the wrong answer because there is one supreme Jolly Rancher flavor that reigns above all the rest. And if you don't pick that flavor, you're dead to me. No, I'm kidding. I'm not like that. But welcome in. What an engaging in nighttime sermon. At what point are we to say amen once it's over? Ah, amen. This the day of our uh, sex. Maybe we take two on that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very bad with words. I have to run because I have to drive to a restaurant for dinner, but I'm happy to bring the cuties. Have so much fun, cuties. BV, have a fantastic dinner. I hope you have fun with your friends, family, whoever you're celebrating with or hanging out with and enjoy your dinner. And thank you so much for bringing your uh, community in to hang out with us. Can I get a couple of shout outs for BV? Please and thank you. Hamley, if you're not following BV already, you're doing it wrong. Beefy plays a lot of the games that we play here, Plays a, has a lot of similar game taste as ours, but mains Dead by Daylight through Thick and Thin. Also, they have really fire TikToks, so go follow them on all of the platforms, please and thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the meal. I don't think I've ever had a Jolly Rancher. Okay, I've noticed it's more of like an American thing. Uh, let me get Beefy some shout outs. You guys, smash those links. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, you guys already did that. You guys are the, oh my God, I have the best mods. I have the best mods. They already know everything. So everyone go smash that link. Make sure you guys follow Beefy and check them out next time they're live. It would mean so much to me, please. And thank you. And if not, uh, but welcome in Raiders. Again, if you're sticking around, we are currently playing Life is Strange and we're going to have a sermon on sex. Uh, if you need to raid and run, I completely understand. Please grab something to eat, grab something to drink, do what you need to do to have the best possible Saturday or Sunday, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, we always believe that self-care is best care here. So if you need to go do what you need to do, do it. I will always encourage you. If you want to lurk, awesome. If you want to hang out with us, even more awesome because we're just all over the place right now. Uh, but again, if you're just coming in, let me know. Favorite color, favorite video game, favorite Jolly Rancher flavor. Because if not, I need, I need to know. There's, there's only one superior flavor. Uh, but welcome in. We are playing Life is Strange. I have played this game before. <laughs> Disclaimer again, this is a no judgment zone attorney agent. Yes, we don't judge people here. Except if you have the wrong favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher. Johnny, you got to get the disclaimer right. Uh, but welcome in. For those who don't know, we are playing Life is Strange. I have played this game before. But I am letting all of chat make the decisions via poll for all of the game changing, game breaking, story bending decisions. So if you want to stick around and help shape the story, we would love to have you. And thank you for being here. Bagel, no, no, you're bagel. No, I'm bagel. Wait, what? I don't know. My favorite color right now is like a royal blue velvet that shifts as it crinkles. Okay, see, you think I wouldn't get that, but I would also like to point out that for those who don't know me, hi, I'm bagel. My day job, I'm a fashion stylist, so I spend extensive amounts of time researching colors and fabrications and all sorts of stuff like that. So I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like the royal blue velvet that slowly shifts into like a slightly lighter and slightly darker blue as it moves. 
Yes. My favorite Jolly Rancher flavor is watermelon. Yes! The supreme answer! Watermelon! Everyone's all about the blue raspberry, but it's not. It's watermelon. It's always watermelon. My favorite game is any pen and paper RPG with close friends. Ooh, that's exciting. Video game? I'll have to think. Of, yeah, it's a hard question to answer. I, if, if I had a gun to my head, I don't think I could give an answer as to what my favorite video game is. I'd end up saying Valorant and then people would be like, ew, and then shoot me anyway, which is, you know, what it is. So you knew what I mean? Yes. Excellent. Yes. That is fantastic. That is a fantastic favorite color. Uh, but welcome in. We're about to get lectured. Um, we're about to have a sermon on sex. I'm going to, I'm going to rewind that a little bit. Uh, why so you do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. Mm. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Okay. Bossy best friends are the best kind of friend, right? I, mean, I guess I've had mean bossy best friends too. Better than oh. having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh, we've learned something. Excuse me. We know her mom. Okay, we're going to rewind. We're rewinding. We're rewinding. We're rewinding. If you're asked about a favorite game with a gun to your head, say some gibberish and say it's a game that no one knows about. I could. But then what if they ask me to describe it? And then I have to like improv the entire thing. You know? So you want us to answer the question you can't? It's like, we're supposed to be the priests now. That's a big turnabout. It's not like I've spent time in seminary. Yeah. Uh, I'm very unfair the way I hold you all to a much different standard. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right. Now Hi, we Taylor. have information. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Okay. Again, I would like to point out that teenage girls are so mean for no reason about your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. That's nice. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. See? Commonality. Glad we, glad we did. There we go! So maybe... Hi again, Taylor. Hey. That wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. See, this is what we call manipulating social outcomes. By finding out personal information, we can then be a more empathetic human, which finding out information to manipulate people, bad. Using it for good, good. <laughs> Moral quandary, I guess. Uh, no idea, Terraria maybe? Yeah, I'm sorry your mom is sick. How do you know you stalker? That's what I'm saying. And that, kids, is how... I met your mother. Say it, Johnny. Ah, there's Samuel, Samuel. Up early. Already communing with the critters. <laughs> hey, just, Samuel. Just you're up early. You've ruined oh, Samuel for me. Hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Alamakov, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hamley. We're so happy to have you and I'm glad you're enjoying the vibes here. I need to go deal with some work things, but I really need life lessons and also like bagels, so I'll be back someday. I'm here for it. Anytime you need a life lesson, especially on sex, apparently, feel free to come back. I hope you have fun at work, if that's possible. Uh, and I appreciate you for coming in with the raid and for the follow. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Alamakov as we send them off to their next adventure? <gasps> Papaya, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, and that, kids, is how I annihilated all my future social life. <laughs> I need everyone to emotionally manipulate me into doing laundry in one hour. Justina, if you don't do your laundry, when you come over tomorrow, you're going to smell. And then I'm going to feel sad because I'll think, wow, she doesn't think I'm worthy of smelling her at her best. So now I'm going to be depressed. And then it's going to be your, is this, is this how you emotionally manipulate people? I'm not good at it. Does, did that work? Uh, that's what I was going to say. But yeah, meet people in the middle. Middle, Baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? I'm losing my mind just a little. Okay. I mean, if you don't do the laundry, no girls night. Yeah, exactly. One hour. Yeah, I said one hour, guys. One oh, okay. Sorry. Let me set a time. Okay, Google. Set a timer for one hour. Sure. One hour. And we're starting now. Hey, it's coming for you. It's coming for you. There you go. 
Oh crap, I have laundry to do. It's still in the wash. It needs to be moved. Thanks for the reminder. <gasps> Justina, look at that. You talking about laundry has prevented a disaster. There you go. And you're welcome for the reminder. I did nothing. One hour. When I did my laundry, the washing machine took longer than one hour. Exactly. Double O. Uh, yeah. But I always knew it's working. And as soon as it's done, I hang it. Yeah, that's smart. I need to get better at that. <laughs> that's such a cute little emote. I love it. Thank you all for the Hamley body, bodily doubling with me on this fine day. You're welcome. We appreciate it. This is a super cute emote and I need it. It's a little raccoon and there's a dancing one. Yo, hold on. I need to like get in on those. Okay, sorry. I saw raccoons. I got excited. I think raccoons are my spirit animal. Don't ask me how. All right, tell me about the animals. That's but one also, thing I, I want to know about, love Rachel. about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. Mm -hmm. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Mm -hmm. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> Samuel, you're fucking wild. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Oh. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. He said it. Uh, tell me more about Rachel. I got gifted a uh, sub to a channel that I don't know if I'll sleep one stream slept through po raid, possibly. It's possible. Oh, that's a cute little emote, Camilla. Bagel. Hi, friend. Hi, Allie. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday. What are you doing? He, him, honestly. Justina, is this your mans? Come get your mans. Uh, sorry you're not feeling well. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you. We're just doing a chill, no alert stream. I'm sick. I'm probably expending more energy than I should, but YOLO, we're just taking it easy today and playing some emotional damage. Life is strange. So thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. How's your day going? He seems like he'd give you a riddle three. He really does. He's, he, I like his head shape. Justina! Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? Yeah, pervert. I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. No. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Okay, I'm going to rewind that. I'm going to rewind that because now I feel like Samuel's not going to give me the tea when I ask for it. He seemed a little sassy there. Sorry you're sick, though. Thank you, man. That's fire and welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Su su Sunday? Sunday. Time zones are hard. Welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, day is good. Relaxing today and enjoying some mental rest. As you should. Ali, you've been grinding the fuck out of streaming lately. Uh, I've been lurking. Hey, Samuel. I'm always watching. You're up though. early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything is so calm and quiet. I wish I could skip dialogue. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Uh-huh. Tell me about the That's animals. That's one thing I truly love about our YOLO, Kingdom shouldn't Bay. that be all the more reason all to take better cool care of yourself? That is true. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. True. I can hear them whisper. You only live once, so maybe you what should take better care of yourself. You but anything? also, YOLO. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except mm -hmm. you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Nice. All right. Uh, grinding stream and work too. Taking time so I don't get burned out. That's smart. Do not burn yourself out, Allie, because I did that. Yo, it's rough. I'm like still trying to recover. Like I burnt myself out like a mad woman 2022 and I'm still like making up for it. So what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? 
Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. For real, for real. On God. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. We're gonna talk about Rachel. Uh, I played through this once when it came out. The graphics were different. In my memory, shows how far it's come. Nymphet, I am playing the remastered version. I should put that that I am playing the remastered version. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, the graphics look a lot better because they look a lot better. They were a lot worse. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. I'm playing. I'm playing the remastered version. Like, hey everyone, disclaimer. I'm playing the remastered version. Uh, J.K. J.K. Unless uh, Samuel saying his spirit animal is a scroll is important and will be on the test later. <laughs> Are you sure? We'll find out. Uh, yeah, no, I might be hearing a cat outside my door and I'm out of tea. I really do not want to walk to deal with those two things. Tea and cat? Wait, is the cat bothering you? I thought you and the cat were friends now, Sorry Camilla. to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? You pervert! I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, you know her? So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Oh, he just doesn't Keep like me asking next. about Rachel at all. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Okay, so he's I just... I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Hi, Kevin. See you later. Of course you will. Hi, Kevin. So it doesn't matter what I do. It sounds like he gets touchy when I ask him about Rachel. Hi, Kevin. Can I help you? Kevin says hi, everyone. Cats in heat. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is just his way of talking. That is true. Oh, 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 little man. Sorry, Kevin just needed some scratches. Oh, no, don't rewind. Okay, how do I run? There we go. Now I remember how to run. And we're running, running. Oh, no, it's fucking Warren. Oh, God, wait, hold on. More threats. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. I feel like this is not his dad because I feel this is giving like Nathan's trying to flex his authority and power by pretending his dad is texting a teenage girl because I feel like his dad, if his dad was super savvy with legal ramif legal ramifications, he would know better than to send a young girl a threatening text. <laughs> I feel like this is Nathan with a burner phone just trying to like intimidate her into not saying anything. Is that just me or what? Like, am I the only one picking up those vibes? I just, I feel like you just, if you're a litigious person, you know not to give people, like, that kind of ammunition. All right. Oh, no, it's Warren. Max, check it out. Oh, my God. I was just, I was just able to find the same scroll video, you, but you posted it first. Yes! Although I like the way, although, also like the way to give yourself a lawsuit by harassing a teenage girl with thinly veiled threats. Yeah, like you're going to get, like, lawsuited, suited back. Max. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. He's gonna get suited back. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Mm hmm Uh, yeah. Thank you, by the way. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh. oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal hey, yo. Hero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? I feel like that's going to be my new statement of the year. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. If you know what I mean. Oh, she's just a pirate. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock Cho star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Uh, you know, she's pretty punk rock. Oh, so many people. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome in. How's it going? Raiders. Double raid. Hello. Welcome in. How are we all doing? It's good to see you. Bad Bear Giggles, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. And Sprite and Nicotine, hello, welcome in. Bad Bear Giggles, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hamley. Get double raided. I'm okay, I will. Thank you. Did you guys plan that? You guys said that at the exact same time. Hello, welcome in. 
Raiders, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday or Sunday, depending where you're at in the world. And welcome to the Hamley's playthrough of Life is Strange. Uh, Bad Bear Giggles, nice to meet you. Sprite Nicotine, good to see you. Brookside, welcome in. It's good to see you again. Kevin Maker, hello. How are you doing? Uh, Killa be killing it. I bet you are. Welcome in. Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Just Fanta, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Good to see you. The Double Raid, yeah. Uh, Co-stream some Lethal Company. Is Lethal Company good? I haven't played it yet. I haven't played that yet, but my friends keep begging me to play it. Is it good? Tell me all about it. How was Lethal Company? Can I get a couple shout outs for Sprite and Nicotine and Bad Bear Giggles? And welcome in everyone. Welcome in Raiders. For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Baby Bagel Ham. Uh, I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I'm so sorry. I'm super sick today and I'm having a really bad ear day. I'll explain that in a second. I just A lot of people are like, what does bad ear day mean? I'll explain that in a second because I haven't explained that on stream in, hot, in a hot minute, uh, which means we're doing a very like low key, no alert stream. We're just keeping things very simple. Uh, so I appreciate you all coming in with those raids. And I hope you had a fantastic time watching some Lethal Company. Uh, which I imagine being raided into hearing I got knocked on my ass by that dick. Stop it. It's good, but modded is probably more fun. I kept dying. I've heard that dying is basically just like the spirit of that game. Uh, but Hamley, if you guys would like to check out some really cool streamers, please make sure to go smash the follow button on both Bad Bear Giggles and Sprite and Nicotine. Uh, check them out next time they're live, please. And thanks. In fact, I got to double check and make sure that I, too, am following the homies. Uh, but thank you so much for bringing your communities in. Again, for those who don't know me, I'm Baby Bagel Ham. I'm a variety streamer. I play a little bit of everything from first-person shooters to action adventures. My favorite genre of games are horror and emotionally damaging indies that make you cry yourself to sleep at night, like Life is Strange, the game we're currently playing. But my favorite games are Valorant and uh, GTA V, that's Grand Theft Auto V, with a first uh, a first person, wow, role play uh, in a role play server. So if that sounds like your vibe, please feel free to smash the follow button and hang out with me and the Hamley. Like I said, we are playing some Life is Strange where we are letting the community, all of you, make the important decisions for our playthrough. I have played this game before. I love this game, but I want to do like a chaotic version where you, the Hamley, get to pick all of the, all of the plot points, good and bad. Geometry Gelato, welcome in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for joining us. Hamley, please, please, please do me a favor. Go smash the follow button on Sprite and Nicotine and Bear, Bad Bear Giggles and welcome in. Uh, normally I do like a big raid thing and we do like a whole dance and stuff like that, but I am super sick today. So my throat is half closed up. Talking is a son of a bitch. I do have coffee, please hold, which I'm using to keep my throat fairly functional because uh, warm liquid. Uh, but I'm also having a bad ear day, so I can't like uh, do too much like loud noises and stuff today. So what that means is, hi, I'm going to explain bad ear days. I think it's been a hot minute since I've explained bad ear days to anyone in the family. Self-care break, but lurking. Please, please, please. Before I get into my shit, Raiders, if you need to raid and run, I completely understand. Please go grab something to eat, something to drink, do what you need to do to have the best possible Saturday or Sunday. No matter where you're at in the world, we here in the Hamley believe that self-care is best care. So if you need to step away from your computer or your phone and go take care of yourself or do something that you enjoy, please do so. If you want to lurk, we'd love to have you here lurking in the background. If not, I completely understand. If you want to come back and hang out with us another time, feel free to smash the follow button uh, and come visit us whenever. Like I said, we play a variety of games here, so you'll catch us playing God knows what in the future. Probably more Life is Strange, Valorant, GTA, uh, lots of like indies and horror games. So I hope to see you again soon. If you plan on sticking around and want to hang out with us for a bit, feel free to get cozy, get comfy, get some snacks. We're going to be playing the entirety of episode two today on stream. Uh, so I'm not going to quit until we play it. Uh, and then we'll go from there and see how I'm feeling. We might parlay that into some Valorant later tonight. Uh, but if you are sticking around, let me know what's your favorite color, your favorite video game, and your favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher, and you will be judged. And I did not intentionally mean to pick up a pair of scissors to threaten you with, but you know what? Here we are. You will be judged if you say the wrong flavor of Jolly Rancher. That is all I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, so I am having a really bad ear day. For people who don't know what that is, uh, for those who don't know, I recently, and by recently, I've been like uh, summer of 2021, so it's been almost three years. Three years ago, I was having a lot of really, really bad problems with my ears and I didn't know what was going on. I was getting lots of ear infections. I was getting lots of like really like wild stuff um, happening and I was just getting sick over and over. Uh, and then like my ear would just, my ears would just stop working. Like I would lose hearing in my ears and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, and I was like having a lot of issues. So I ended up going to the doctor and they could never find anything wrong with my ears. Uh, so I kept pushing, I kept pushing. Eventually, 
I ended up in the emergency room because I could not hear out of my left ear for like a day, like a solid day. Like I could not hear out of my left ear. So I went to the doctor uh, and they were like, there might be something wrong. So they referred me to an ENT and I went and I found out that I am slowly losing my hearing. So I'm about 40% deaf uh, and I'm like, it's st it's steady. So I'm not like actively losing my hearing like at a rapid rate. They actually think that I've had hearing loss for like my the entirety of my life, uh, which is which is strange because uh, it's the first I've ever heard of it. But also I grew up in a family where my family didn't believe in taking me to the doctor ever. So, um, yeah, so I'm losing my hearing. I'm 40 percent deaf. De death. Wow. Deaf. But one of the things that comes with that is uh, in addition to being a super loud bitch, because I can't ever hear myself uh, in addition to uh not being able to hear what everyone is saying or comprehend what everyone is saying uh, and i've trust me i've had a lot of funny moments with my friends where i misunderstand things they say and it's always a laugh uh something that comes with that is with hearing loss as you're losing your hearing you get a lot of pain in your ears so some days i will wake up and i just my ears are hurting and today was one of those days uh where i woke up and my ears were hurting they started to hurt a little bit yesterday they were terrible today uh, so unfortunately a lot of noise or a lot of sound at the same time can like really fuck up my ears, uh, and like really just like mess with my equilibrium. So we're doing like a very laid back low key stream where we're trying not to have any noise, not like any noise, but like a lot of unnecessary extra noise so that I can focus on the game and focus on talking to chat. Uh, so yes, that's part of my adventure. So for those who don't know, that is me. Uh, but I am, th I'm actually in a weird way, thankful for the fact that I found out, um, that I had hearing loss because streaming is something that I wanted to do for a very, very long time. And I would never brave enough to do it. I always thought that I would be very terrible at it. I thought that I didn't know how to talk to people. I thought I wasn't entertaining enough. I didn't think anyone would be interested in hanging out with me. Um, but because I got the diagnosis for my hearing loss, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try it because I want to be able to play as many video games as I can while I can still hear them. Uh, so that is what we're here to do. My my entire mission, my entire thing uh, with streaming is I'm here to play as many video games and as much video games as I can uh, until the day that I probably got to get hearing aids, which uh, thankfully is not anytime soon. I'm still good. I'm still good for now. But yeah, so that's my adventure. Uh, but yeah, and so if you are having a lot of ear issues and you can't seem to find out where they're coming from, go see an ENT because it's possible that unfortunately it might not be anything other than you are just losing your hearing. Uh, and sometimes apparently uh, one of the things that your ears do and your brain does, and it's delightful, is when your ears know that they're supposed to, your ears and your brain know that they're supposed to be um, sound it'll fill in the sound for you, which is why you get the ringing in your ears or a lot of like extra buzzing and stuff like that. Like I have like really bad tinnitus all the time. Like I always have buzzing in my ears. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, it hurts. Your brain just is like, there's supposed to be something here and it's not here. So we're just going to make your ears hurt for no reason. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, oh Lord, that'd be a hard case to work with. True, Johnny. Blue raspberry or strawberry Jolly Ranchers, but I can't eat them until my braces are done. No, Brooke, that's so, no, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. I hope that when your braces come off, remind us, we'll, the Hamley will send you an entire bag of Jolly Ranchers for you to eat. Blue raspberry is a second fla second favorite flavor. I love watermelon though. I don't know what it is. The watermelon just gets me. That's awful. Yes, Nikki, that's part of, that's that's the, the baby bagel ham lore. For anyone who's newer to the Hamley or hasn't heard that, that is the baby bagel ham lore. Uh, I feel that with the, I feel you with the ear issues. I'm part deaf and loud talking. Yes, we loud bitches. We just own it. Ear infections are a bitch and dealt with them for a long time. Yes, you get it. Brooke, high five. Wow, you get it. Yeah, I always, um, <laughs> everyone's always like, why is bagel so fucking loud? It's literally because most of the time I can't hear how loud I'm being. I think I'm talking at a reasonable volume and I'm not. And then when I'm actually talking, like when I'm actually talking at a reasonable volume, which is probably down here, I think, I actually feel like I'm whispering. Like, I feel like I'm legitimately whispering. And then I'm like, no one can hear me. So I just go back up to like my normal tone, which is this, but it's like blowing everyone's eardrums out. So, and it's always hard too, because when new people come to the stream and they're like, you're so much louder than the rest of the stream. It's like, yeah, probably because I'm fucking yelling and I just can't tell. 
Uh, what's nice is hearing aid technology can only get, but that's true, Nikki. Like, there's, they've got some great hearing aids now. Like, they have great hearing aids, but I'm, like, I'm right on the cusp of, like, I don't need them quite yet, so. Mine are Bluetooth and heckin' glad. Yes, Brooke, uh, my ex-father-in-law had, uh, the ones with Bluetooth, and he says that it's cool because you can, like, hook them up to your phone and just, like, have the music, like, piped right into your, to your, uh, your earpieces. So he was like, yeah, when I just, when I don't want to listen to anyone, I can just pop on fucking music and not listen to anyone. And I was like, yo, that's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Watermelon. Yes. Watermelon is so good. Watermelon is superior rancher. It is. Oh, me too. All the time when I stream. It's just me all the time in general, Nympha. I just always feel like I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, like what tone I'm talking in 90% of the time. Anyway, hold on. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to go back this way. They tell us to shush, but then we're too quiet. And when we quiet, because we have, yes, I'm so glad there's someone who gets it. When people tell us to shut up or like calm down or like everyone's always like, you're always so loud. Why are you so overexcitable? And it's like, I don't know. I literally can't hear myself. So then we get too quiet and then they're mad at us. And then I feel like bad. Like, it's not my fault. Like, I just, I have no gauge. Like, I can't gauge where my tone and, like, I can't gauge where my volume is. Like, it's hard, okay? God. Oh, I listen to TikTok with them and music. Yo, TikTok would be sweet, though. I'm addicted to TikTok right now. And Jobs can't get mad about headphones. That is true. I can't tell what people are saying without headphones or in real life a lot, but context and the parts I hear, if there's extra background noise help. Kamala, you may be looking to hearing loss because that's a lot of it, like, just... Uh, sound getting jumbled is a big thing too. Oh, hiccup. No idea if my hearing is bad or Asperger's and my brain does not process sounds well. Could be both. Could be both. Then I get excited about someone and everyone is like quiet. To oh God. Yeah. God forbid I get excited about someone because I'm literally just screaming. Literally. My ACDC makes me scream. Yo. Same. I also have ACDC. So. Anyway, welcome in to everyone. Sorry, I don't have an excuse. I'm just loud. Some people are just loud bitches. It is, it be what it be. It be, it is what it is. Uh, but for those who are just coming in, I'm going to turn this light down because I feel like I'm being flashbanged a little bit right now. I can scream at Fort. Yes, you can scream at Fortnite. Uh, but for those who are just coming in, we are playing Some Life is Strange. Some of us have played it in the chat. Some of us haven't. So no spoilers, please. And thank you. Uh, and I'm letting you all make the big game shaping decisions here. And we are about to talk to Warren. The guy who has a thing for us that we as a chat have decided we are not pursuing him whatsoever because he's mid at best. So, there we go. I can't stand directional sound, especially prolonged in one ear and not the other. It's hard. You know, it's funny, Jasper. Like, I, I feel like I am terrible at hearing, but directional sound makes life so much easier for me because especially when like, like when I play Valorant, I feel like people don't believe me that I'm deaf, but the audio cues in that game are so good. I can literally tell you where someone is in any, in any situation. Okay. Like 95% of the time, I can tell you exactly where someone is because of the directional sound. So like, it doesn't bother me because it's like, it helps my hearing a little bit to just have that one like directed audio cue, if that makes sense. Sound in one side of headphones and nothing in the other side. That's something I can't stand too. Oh, I get bothered with that. It just, it depends. It's context, it's contextual. I'll say it's, it's circumstantial. I'll say vertigo did make some of my ears worse. I had vertigo and an ear infection at once and went blind and now it happens. Holy shit. Brooke, that's terrifying. I haven't ever experienced vertigo, at least not to my knowledge, at least it, not that I can think of, uh, but it always seems so scary. Cause like, I'm so unsteady as it is. I feel like I would just, fucking, it would just be a terrifying experience. Uh, directional sound is great when it's in depth like that, but say there's a video game where you can only hear something when you're not probably surround sound drives me nuts. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. 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 I know what you're saying. Yeah. No, that's, that's bad. Uh, I'm curious. Have you ever had an infection so bad the wax looked like claw flower? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't tend to like dig in my ears a lot because I'm terrified of digging in my ears. Cause I'm always afraid I'm going to make my ears worse. I'm always afraid I'm going to make my ears worse. So I try not to fuck with them. Um, I try to keep them dry as much as possible too. Like, I don't know if you do this, but like one thing that my, um, uh, my ENT told me is like, because I get so many, uh, ear infections, it's cause I have like an excess buildup of fluid in all my sinuses. So I take an allergy pill to help with like the excess fluid in my sinuses. 
and then what I also do is like I'll put um, earplugs or uh, cotton balls in my ears when I shower so that moisture can't get in there. And that's helped a lot with my, like, that's helped keep my ear infections down a lot. It doesn't prevent them entirely, but I don't have them as often since I've started doing that. Uh, the directional sound doesn't bother me, but, like, when it's one sound in one ear and another and it flips, it throws me off. Yeah, that's weird. Vertigo is so ass, my god. I couldn't imagine. I get dizzy or get vertigo from time to time. Also, what's the difference? I don't know. I Medically, I don't know. There's also something called, like, 8D audio, I think, where it's music that travels from side to side and no. See, I... I enjoy like binaural sounds. I think it's cool. Like when like sound will happen in like one ear and the other, like like music, like where like it goes back and forth. Like I like like it soothes my brain. But I also I also have the ashta, so I don't know. I woke up one Sunday and was like that. It was my first vertigo going blind. That's terrifying, Brooke. Did you have anyone at home to help you? I hope so, because if not, that's like a terrifying experience. I don't know how I would feel. That would that would be so terrifying. Also, I'm starting to get a headache, so I'm gonna pop a pill really quick. All right, give me two seconds. We'll jump back into the game. Sorry, we took like a massive detour. I like talking to you guys though, so like thanks for thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome in. Ah. I lost vision in one eye for a short moment, only once. Sorry for that squeak. Uh, that's still terrifying, Kayla. God damn. Gotta be dry, be back in my- Sounds good, Chibi. Be safe. I used to have that too, but I got a hole closed in my eardrum, so infections went down. I rarely get them. Now, that's awesome. Yes, 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 yes. That is smart. That, that is smart? Like, I don't know, man. I'm losing it. After going to bed and reading. That's terrifying, Camilla. Drugs! Yes, I took drugs, yes. Ham fam, misbehaving cause chaos. No! We're not gonna do that. We're gonna play More Life is Strange. Um... I'm going to tell him not to get involved because I don't want him to get involved because I feel like if I tell him to get involved, he's just going to be there all the time and annoy the fuck out of me. Right? Like, this is the vibe? Is this the vibe with Warren? Like, I feel like he's just always going to be there annoying the fuck out of me if I tell him to, like, any more details. And that's kind of why I didn't tell him about Chloe either. I was like, no. Okay, yeah, don't get involved. He's dangerous. Don't. I don't want you to get involved. Don't get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Mm -hmm. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. No. Let's go ape. How do I break his heart, Hamley? Tell me how to break his heart. Explain. How do I break this man's heart? Are we are we going? Brutally, Camilla, within reason. Yes, thank you. Within reason. My mom and aunt was home, so I went to the doctor after I got into positioning to get my sight back. Oh, okay, good. I'm so sad. Brutally? We just, we don't want to say yes and then ghost him. We just want to straight up be like, no, I'm not going anywhere with you. You are not fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. You're not fetch. What? Be honest. We're not going to the movie. Let's be honest, guys. I'm a rancid criminal. <laughs> We enjoy that here. We enjoy the rancid gremlins. You shove your fist into his chest and rip it out, Temple of Doom style. <gasps> Ooh, or Once Upon a Time style. You guys, I'm rewatching the hell out of Once Upon a Time and the evil queen, the way she just rips people's hearts out <sighs> ruthlessly. All right, we're just going to tell him no. We're just going to straight up tell him no. Okay, fuck it. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. Sorry. I just feel like escaping. Run. Fine. Goodbye. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. <laughs> I'll go I'll go eat myself doesn't sound <laughs> doesn't sound the way that he I don't I don't think that <laughs> that, that, that didn't that didn't come off the way he wanted that to. Yes, once upon a time. Yes, Brooke! Oh, it's such a good show. I'm rewatching it. I, I actually got a couple Hamley members rewatching it too. So uh feel free to jump in on that. We're rewatching. I'm on season two for those who are curious. Let's go take the bus, I guess. Kalima, Kalimasa. Oh, Kalima, Kalimasa. Kalima, Kalimasa. I get you, John. Peter Pan is a, I have a bad obsession with Once Upon a Time, Peter Pan. I have a bad obsession with Once Upon a Time, Hook. Because that man. David talking to what? Nathan cannot be a good thing. 
This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. I don't even want to know what's going on here. And do I want to get involved? Probably not. Am I? Yes, because I'm Max and I'm nosy. Hook is a masterpiece. He is a beautiful man. Allegedly. Hook is so hot, it should be illegal. So, oof. I like me a dark-haired man. Oh, here we go. Okay, someone tell me. Can I press the A button? We're finally on the type. I have been streaming for four hours and we're finally on like the fucking plot of episode two. You guys. I am terrible at this. I am terrible at this. I'm terrible at this. Fuck. But the music, oh no, it's afternoon already. Does that mean episode's ending or episode, one episode per stream sounds lonely after? It is, hold on, let me fix this. This is annoying me. There we go. Okay, so now that's annoying me the other direction. There's like no perfect like camera tilt. When I don't have snap cam, there's no perfect camera tilt for me. But like Rumpel, his story's so heartbreaking that at this point I made him uh, my OCS adoptive father along with David. Oh, I like that. I like Rumpel. I think he's an interesting character. Like his, like, I think if they gave like a lot of those characters really amazing backstories, and and did like the unpredictable thing which i love like i love clever writing in tv shows and i feel like they i feel like they gave a lot of people a lot of really like a lot of the characters really cool backstories that they didn't have to but like went above and beyond yeah, they did him and bell dirty they go leave us to think about what happened or will happen in the episode alone alone with our thoughts about it You're damn right i will <laughs> I mean, I make no, I make yep. no problem. I... I'm ready to cash my lot. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Bagel's trying to recreate how it was to play when it was coming out episodically. I really am, yeah. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Yep, what happens in small towns? Hi, woman. She looks busy and stressed. Being BRB. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Um, well, we just got off the school bus. I don't know. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Oh, well, damn. Good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I feel that for real, for real, lady. For real, for real, on God. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Just because he's old? No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Uh, oh boy, Chloe. Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. And then we did another emoji. So, there we go. By BRB, I mean I'll be taking my phone with me to chat. I have an interesting way on how my OCS fell into the Once Upon a Time universe. She travels to different universes as an angel of the multiverse. Ooh, that's a cool concept. Can I... What's the boundary here? How far can I go? Nope, I don't want to go way. there. I hope she gets the job and is working there by the end of the week. Oh, Camilla. Yeah, so she can't... Won't be here. No emoji, I tell ye! No emoji. Who's this man? Whoa! Hey, dick! Okay, hold on. We're just exploring. We're just exploring the boundaries of the world that I am allowed to explore. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're exploring. We're exploring. It's a puppy! Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Uh... There's that dirty RV from the other day. Can I talk to your dog? Okay, I'm not 
allowed to pet the dog. Dog is evil. Dog is mad. No, no dogs are evil. Can I, like, go this way? No. I just want to pet the puppy. Do you think I can get the puppy to love me? Scout the area just in case you need... Yeah, exactly. You always want to check your surroundings before you make any big decisions. Because then you'll know what way to escape should shit pop off. Save our city. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You don't know that. Also, this man's name is RJ McReady. McCready. Save our bay. End the man-made drought in the bay. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. He looked like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Uh, how has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Who nominated you? Uh, do you have your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Oh. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh, damn. Prescott family, tell me more about them. Her badass angel form looks like what they say biblical ones are with the eyes all over. Oh, so she's terrifying. <laughs> Biblically accurate angels, yes. Are those whales? Yes. I think orcas, maybe? I used to be the king of the harbor. I even had a crown a lifetime ago when I was six. Is that what a lifetime ago means? Yeah, probably, most likely. Tell me about the, the Prescott. Prescotts have a lot of power. Yeah, they, they might rename the town Prescott Bay. That tells you much. No, it doesn't. Sorry, I have to keep readjusting this chair, but I can't just readjust because, like, it's like it's a whole thing. You guys, this ch the way my hair just got caught in my fucking microphone, I almost panicked. Um, do you know them? Do you know them? Yep, don't Too mess good with for her. my working I kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Uh -huh. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. What? Fishermen never die, we just smell that way? I think I've talked my quota for the year. Oh, okay, sorry. I just thought, also, my chair keeps, like, rotating, and I keep, like, spinning this way against all my odds. Jeez, the Prescott sound horrible. We should burn, just burn them down. Yeah, bars, he's rapping. He's rapping? He's a rapper? He's doing rapping things. Okay, hold on, we're exploring the environment. I wonder if they explained that snow. Weather service. No. Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon this week. Cool, no one knows. No one knows what's going on. Hi, man. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> this guy's a hit at parties. I, I can tell already. Um, how long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. Okay. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Why are you so mad about Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? This fucking guy is a lot. Giggles Raid, welcome in, lollipops. That's me. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday or Sunday, depending on where you're at in the world. And welcome to the Hamley. I am your host, Baby Bagel Ham. Uh, and we are playing some Life is Strange. If, you have, if you're familiar with the game, feel free to stick around. I'm having chat make all of the decisions for everything. Uh, and I'm just here just vibing. I'm just vibing. Welcome in, right? Homeless. I like that they just call this person homeless. Just homeless. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. 
Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. Yeah. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, yeah. I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Oh. All right, well then tell me about Arcadia How Bay. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Uh, what changes? What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work, out of home, like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Okay. All right. Tell me about the Prescott family. Uh, go, tell me goes down a few years. Food for thought. I'm hungry. I need food. I don't want to order food because I don't have money, but also I'm a little lazy and want to finish this cup. Uh, season three, she falls into Neverland and Peter Pan uses her to get free but fails because when she tries to get away from Henry is trapped by him. She runs into the gang and helps them. She gives Peter a hard time. Ooh, I like that. That's good. Also, I love that he loves Peter. Love that little girl. He keeps talking like that. He's going to be a news headline. I agree, Justina. Yes. Knowing the story and what will happen creates so many ideas for jokes with so many small details people say or what's happening and I can't even say them. I know, Camilla. It's so clever. The writing in this is so clever. Me too, queen. Missed it is. Are we just going to I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack like anything in their way. God damn, I know somebody baby. who's being threatened by a Prescott. Yeah, it's me. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. What I'm saying, tell me about Joyce Price. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. Yeah. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. The T. Tell me more about David Madsen. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Is he like a Goodbye. massive dick? Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. If, if he, is he like a massive dick to like Joyce too? Because that would be sad. All right, look down this alley. Milk, milk gang. The cops are here. Hi, puppy. Oh. I didn't know I could do all these photo ops. I'm not going to lie. This, that is one thing I am nailing this playthrough, I feel like, uh, because I don't think I realized the first time I played this game that I could do all this. I didn't realize I could get so many photos. Oh, stuck on something. Great. Hello, how do you do? That's a nice, polite poster. Okay. Yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs, only $5.95. Bacon and eggs would slap right now. Both yes in service. Oh, Joyce, if even the homeless hate your man, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to kill him. <laughs> Johnny, you fucking imagine. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Now that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. 25th annual Happy Halloween Bazaar. Mayor Cochran leads the kitty costume parade. Saturday, October 27th, 9 a.m. 3 p.m. Main Street, Arcadia Bay. Great pumpkin carving contest. Local vendors and food trucks, tricks and treats. Oh, and happy Halloween. Love that bro. Another poster. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. Yeah, that does sound like a threat. That doesn't sound like that doesn't sound like a place I want to live. It sounds like a place I'm forced to live. We're gonna change the way you live, whether you want to or not. Hi, fishermen. 
These fishermen are so damn quiet. Cause they got nothing to say. They're they they fish all day. They're not social creatures. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you oh. catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Sassy. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh my back. Sassy motherfucker. Weird lady. You don't know her. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Yo, eating alone is hardcore. Like a great way to just like live in your own space and energy. I used to go get breakfast with myself at least once a week. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Is she supposed to be Midwestern? Is she telling you to have a super day? She wants you to talk, or she's supposed to be Canadian with the A? Come on, see Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Probably. Leaflets? This guy has serious cojones. Join the Cousteau All Day Sea Adventure. Now charter the legendary seamen for your own ocean voyage. Jacques Cousteau and his undersea worlds. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. A local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with 30 years of experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, but will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Daily and weekly excursion rates, $75 to $125. For further details, please visit our website, seacustofish.g. Eating alone, how else could you do that? A lot of people don't won't eat alone, Camilla, like out in public, you know what I mean? Why does that so not sound fun? Uh, that's me today. I've been out of the house all day just solo living. Solo living is a great way to live. Solo anything, man. Sometimes you just gotta spend time in your own space and energy. Moby Deck Tours. Explore Arcadia Bay the right way. Discover exciting history on the high sea. Journey in total safety and comfort. Fully equipped 40 to 50 foot vessels. Day and night trips available. Tuesday through Sunday hours 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Couples, groups, or families welcome. Visit us on the web to schedule your tour now. Sorry, I could do that better. <clears throat> Visit us on the web to schedule your tour now. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild woods of Arcadia Bay with respected cryptozoologist Chuck Pierce Jr., author of Bigfoot, Myth or Science, and Bigfoot, Monster or Sasquatch, narrator of the documentary Bigfoot, I Believe in You. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge of lore, legend, and fact, and you'll end the day casting your very own Bigfoot print based on an area known only to Chuck Pierce Jr. For more info, price, and detailed schedule, please contact SasquatchLives at wildtracks.gmail. There you go. I just got home from work. My feet hurt. My gay hurts. I want to sleep. I'm sorry, Ryan. Are you okay? Do you, what do you need? And also, welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope work was okay at least a little bit. Dude, my gay hurts all the time. Same. And welcome in, Dan. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday. Sprite Nicotine, thank you for the hydrator, hydrate. I do need that. My throat is throating right now. My mom's first husband was a Bigfoot hunter. Nikki, I need the lore. Please tell me everything. I need to know. Also, take care of yourself, friend. About to go grocery store, but hydration is important. Thank you for the hydrator, hydrate, and have fun at the grocery store. Sprite Nikki, you got this. I believe in you. Be safe, too. Drive safe. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Oh, it's global excellence in arts and science for over 100 years and counting. Free campus tours every third Saturday. Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Oregano. Kate Marsh, love you long time. All right. I hate kids. I just hate kids. Uh, I aim to misbehave. Flush before pissing on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. That's fun. Me too. Your gay hair's on time. Uh, Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Gross. Cute. Kids are cute. Fire walk with me. Okay. All right. Would we'll y'all do, do a fire walk? Ooh, there's a doe on the wall. Doe. A deer. A female deer. Ray. A drop of gold. Uh, Arcadia gay sucks back. Thank you, redneck poet. 
I was I don't know why, but I feel like this is this is the tone it needs to be ready. Arcadia guy sucks duck. A Twin Peaks reference part two? Really? They would go and camp in the woods and try to get a photo of Bigfoot. He didn't want kids, so when she got pregnant with another man's kid, she told him it was his. When she lost it, he left her and she met my dad and then came my brother and me. She couldn't get rid of him. Is, like, she couldn't get rid of Bigfoot guy? I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Best burgers, two whales diner. I, that is, Nikki, he chose Bigfoot over <laughs> Now nah, my dad wouldn't go away. She wanted kids, not a husband. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm dead over the he chose Bigfoot over kids. He chose Bigfoot over everything. He just, he, he, you know what? Look, I respect a person who fervently believes in and chases after their dreams. And I know on first blush, we want to be like, hey, the weird dude that wants to go after Bigfoot is probably a weirdo. But, you know, I'm sure everyone who has accomplished something amazing and great in their lifetime was at one time or another told that they too were insane for believing in whatever they believed in. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? He was like, I can't take kids with me to hunt big. <laughs> I can't, honey, we can't bring kids with us to hunt Bigfoot. You need to leave them at home. That's not how any of this works. That's not how any of this works. I am literally living for this. So I uh, couldn't get rid of him. I also want to ask if he's dad or my brother. Some sentences mean a lot. True. Very true. Oh my god, did he want to marry Bigfoot? Did he want to marry Bigfoot, maybe? Potentially? Is that what happened? Is that what happened? What happened? He wanted to marry Bigfoot? Maybe? He just wanted to be with Bigfoot? I don't know. That's Look, again, I'm not going to knock someone for pursuing their dreams. But also, anyway. You'd never know how weird this town is by these posts. Look at the kitty! I do love the kitty. Should I get a kitten? No, bad bagel. You can't have any more pets. No, that guy looks unpleasant. He might be nice. What do you want? I feel like shit. Never mind. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. <laughs> me after I drink. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Oh, also the dude she almost had a kid with was up near Mount St. Helens taking photos the day it went up. Never heard from again. What is this lore? Nikki, your mom's love life could be a fucking book. Yeah, yeah, Kiki's like, hello? <laughs> what do we, we need answers. Huh, right? This is serious. I need hello, sir. answers. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. Yo, grilled mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. How well Joyce. do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Why are they cutting this man's head off? This is such a weird zoom. Uh, she should have wrote a book. We all told her to. Yes, tell her I tell her to. I need the, I need the lore now. You probably would have loved that Bigfoot children. Well, shit, rip the men that couldn't stay. Yet. Yo, Nikki is life. Okay. Yeah, why not both of them? Why not both? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, 
Hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Um, I don't know. I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Uh, she can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Damn right. Sounds like you're a good friend. Yeah. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. You don't know her. Well, tell me about David. You could say. Thing is, every man she is, she was with, died in some bad way. Volcano, cancer, heart attack. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Mount St. Helens. Yeah, that's wild. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? No one wants to be friends with David. Uh, he has a reputation. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Damn. I have to go now. The way they just Enjoy put David on blast there. By the there. way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Justina, the timer has gone off. It has been an hour. Go do your laundry. Hi, I did an accidental nap. Hi, accidental nap. I'm Bagel. Welcome back. Welcome back, Nikkei. How was your nap? Do you feel uh, sufficiently well rested now? The lore is insane. I uh, don't want to ask, but is your mother a black widow? And that's why she didn't want a man. Maybe she knew something you don't, Nikki. Maybe she knew she's like a black widow witch or something. It's like she cursed them, I swear. They all had awful lives after meeting her. Yo, that's wild. Laundry time, Justina. Mm, I've been filling my basket for the last minute. I'm on it. Okay, I believe you. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. Me over here staying single. Nikki, you're, maybe you're doing the world a service. Uh, and by the world, I mean anyone you would potentially meet up with. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Okay. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. I don't you care sound for like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Suck it. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. Mm -hmm. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Why are people so fucking mean in this town? Jesus. Drool. Want everything. Yo, I want all of that. Yo, I'm hungry. I need to figure I might just order nuggies. Even though I shouldn't spend the money, I might just order, like, nuggies. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. White sturgeon caught by Dick Weber. Steelhead trout caught by Andy Berry. And Chinook salmon caught by Rich Conrad. Uh, someone's got to did my laundry yesterday. Nice, Nikkei. Me, uh, but what if we gave you a list of individuals who did us wrong? Nikki, you could do us all a service. I should do laundry, but I don't want to do it. I always put off my laundry because the spiders down in the basement whispered threats at me. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't do laundry. Whoa, yeah, can Keezy with Joyce? That's so perfect. To Joyce, best burgers from Dental Live in Oregon. Further, okay. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but okay, so. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Someone's got to, dude. I feel that. Uh, what's dating? I had a boyfriend that I don't consider one for reasons, so I've never really had one. Well, there you go. Boom. Done. Throw his hat in the deep fryer and make him eat it. I might make him fucking eat his own hat. Make him eat his hat! Uh, I think the only option here is banjo. I have a new man for your mom. He's in a diner. Well, she died of liver disease after telling everyone she was seeing banshees. 
She can't write a book now? Mickey, you need to do you need to do a service and you need to write that book for your mom and make lots of money with an international bestseller. I'm sorry about you. If you need help writing the world's greatest story that was never told, let me know. That's funny. Our family never went whale watching. It looks fun. Whale watching, huh? Alright, so I can take this booth if I want to, but I'm not going to just yet because I want to go talk to these young men. Hello. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Yeah, because he laid the pipe. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of- Dude, she did not just call him a bad boy like that, did she? Never dated, ne never anything, and now my foot is in pain. Coincidence? Whisper? The answer is yes. Oh, okay. Unrelated. Unrelated. Scrambled or soft-boiled egg? Scrambled. Always scrambled. But that's also because I'm a five-year-old. So I do want to write some books. Maybe I can get my feet wet with that one. It could be interesting. Just come up with an interesting plot. You could either, you could, you could tell it as like my mother was a banshee or you could tell it like from her point of view as a banshee. You could make it like fiction and like in like fantasy genre or you could do like maybe make it into some sort of interesting like suspense thriller mystery. So many directions you can go with it. Just saying. It was back in 2015. I'm still sorry. It's never easy to lose someone you love so kindly. Like, I'm sorry for your loss, but um, I know my sutural, supernatural lore and your mom is sounding like a man. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past her. I made my brother take her ashes because weird shit would happen. Nikki. Nikki. Yo, I need, I need to know everything about this, like, low-key. Jabron, welcome in. Thank you for the drown me. Almost time for more water. Uh, thank you for the drama. I appreciate it. Um, okay, hold on. I'm still like reeling over Max being like, you're being a bad boy in front of class. I need to get writing. I need to get writing again. Uh, I've written a lot of poetry. I've written a lot of poetry, but I haven't like done anything. Damn, throwing away your mother like that. Weird shit I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Okay, so let's talk to Trevor now. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know Holla. you saw me in the dorm. Yep, Dana's room. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and... I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Uh-huh. All right, so now I can think about it. Need to get back on Tumblr fan fiction? Yo, that's a whole lifetime ago. Uh, sitting. Okay, we're sitting. All right. It's fine. He has our dads and uncles too. Our, our niece, my niece told her teacher that her dad has dead people in his closet and the police showed up. Oh my god. That is wild, Nikki. Hi, Bagel and chat. Hi, Kiko. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome to Life is Strange Day. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. Yes. No, like, you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. Chloe and the entire city, smoke, by the way. Ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. 
I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. Me too. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Um, I, uh, I don't like speaking on behalf of Chloe because I feel like Chloe's the type to get really angry at me if I say the wrong thing and it could be anything. I, everything's the wrong thing. You know, Chloe, uh, Chloe's ch changed. You've changed. I'm going to go with that. Um, your niece inherited the banshee gene. Oh my gosh, she's just like my mom. There you go. Pot, you heard me, Shadow. Pot. Pot. Uh, Chloe's changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Um, well, to be fair, David scared me. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. Doobie. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. Doobie. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Uh, he care he cares about Kate Mark. Do I just start? Should, should I just start some shit? Hamley, do we just start some shit? Are we starting some shit? He cares about Kate Marsh. I'm starting shit. Give me that weed, young lady. I'll make sure I'll make sure it's disposed of properly. I have a device that helps burn it away. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can help. Chloe's future. Bus club, another club, another club, plane, next place, no sleep. Yo, okay. Uh he cares about start some drama. All right. He cares about Kate Marsh. David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. You shouldn't. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. Tell her. I thought you might know why. Tell her. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. Tell her. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Pancakes. A Belgian waffle! Belgian waffle! The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. I'm a child. So, I'm a child. bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I'm a child. I need my Belgian waffle and coffee. Cook at the diner? She's not even cooking? Yeah, well, I I mean, she's, you know, hovering Belgian over waffle a, for the hungry girl, pronto. a grill and telling the cook what One to cook. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Two Whales Diner, homestyle cooking. Welcome to Two Whales Diner. We got homestyle eggs and bacon, apple sausage, apple sausage omelet, starfish pancakes, breakfast cheeseburger, Bigfoot bacon omelet, gold potato omelet, good morning glory waffle. That sounds wild. Belgian waffle and fried fish, various cereal, fresh oatmeal, cereal for $1.25. Yo, what are these diner prices? Bigfoot bacon. Apple sausage, crab cakes, hash browns, bagel with cream cheese. I'm only worth $2. Just throwing that out there. Thank you very much. Two slices of toast, beverages, coffee, Arcadia Bay roast, fresh orange juice, milk, tea, various sodas, and mineral water. Ask about our daily set specials. The teeth are creaky. Yeah, the teeth. The, the one thing that they never really nailed in the games between like the, in like the early 2000s to go to like 2012 was they never quite nailed the teeth on the mouth. The mouth always looks weird. Big I love you so much. I'm looking making dinner. I fucking love this game more than anything. Allie, I want you to know that you're cooking dinner and you probably can't see this, but I want you to know that the photo of Max and Chloe, because you will always be my Chloe and I will always be your Max, literally sits on a board and hangs on the wall next to me. 
I love this game. I've wanted to replay it for so long, and I'm letting the Hamley make all the choices. You guys, Allie gave this to me when we met. So I'd always remember her. It's a picture of Max and Chloe on train tracks. Isn't that cute? I have it hanging on my door. I love you, Allie. I hope you're having a good dinner. And it'll be good to see you. Giving coffee to a 13-year-old. She's like 18. Be 18. She's 18. I love you, Allie. Uh, damn what times I know now finish your coffee but I don't drink you finish your coffee uh, wow this is the <laughs> was this in the 50s so cheap that's what I'm saying Kiko Bigfoot Bigfoot bacon is it bacon made out of Bigfoots over here you have to pay five sixty five for two toasts and a coffee yeah for real though Kiko like prices have changed we had a diner like this in my town for years it was delicious it's a Starbucks now no why diners are me I love diners so much I legitimately love diners like, just diner food hits different, especially when you, like, need, like, a comfort food, like, comfort food or comfort meal. Bagel, are you new to a new place or is the lighting just different? I'm in the same old place. Lighting's just different, maybe? Same place. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look at a bunch of uh, apartments next week, though. So, possibly new place within the next few weeks. Possibly. Cute. Thanks. Hello all, I'm back for a moment. Welcome back, Andy. How is life? All right. Oh, there's graffiti. Looking at the graffiti. X Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. X plus Y equals Z. This Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a Oh bar. yes, black coffee. You will be mine. It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Mm -hmm. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Fair enough. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. She drinks black coffee? Coming. What kind of sociopath? Oh, is this mine? Is this I mine? can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Big. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh. mm, speak of the devil. There she is. The spiders got the spiders. You can do it, Justine. I believe. Mom and Max together again. I believe. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Mm -hmm. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh, she said it! You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? Uh, what is this shit on the jukebox? Back from lunch, how is game? Game is going. How is lunch, Shay? What you eating? Now crumble, that that's out of the way. I buy the largest mocha cookie crumble at Starbucks for seven bucks, almost eight. That's wild. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. E and for all I can't explain one. why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bacon is overrated anyway. Okay, Max. Not maple bacon. Impress me. All right. Uh, you have a gun. It only takes a moment, true. My first job at 12 was in a diner and I saw that place go from top busiest to no clients in eight hours with mouse poop in the dry pasta and being told to serve it anyways until finally we got a female health inspector one boss couldn't give favors to in the bathroom and the place was finally shut down for weird four years. Holy shit. Kiko, you also need to, everyone needs to write a book. I will read all of your books. You just need to write them. I drink black coffee. I stand by what I said, Justina, you're a sociopath. Imagine waitressing in heels so dangerous for slipping and falling and just like uncomfortable factor, you know? I made a big fucking salad and struggling to get through it. Now you can do it, Nikkei, I believe in you. I ordered nuggies because I'm a child. And I, even though I don't have money, I'm ordering nuggies. And it'll be 
here soon. And when it gets here, I'm going to eat them. And you're going to watch me. Okay, you've got a gun! Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in okay, my pocket. Okay, hold on. we got to memorize this. Because we're going to be quizzed. All right, we got cigarettes. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Pocket change. Okay, it's Chloe's stuff. Okay, we gotta look at this. Go. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, key with panda bear keychain. Cigarettes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. Uh, what is that? 75, 86 cents and change. Uh, and a warning ticket for uh, being out of the parking bay on 9, 21, 13, 10, 34 a.m. Register Twin. There's another Twin Peaks reference. Johnny, there you go. My lore is my health being a roller coaster. Write it. Write a book. We need a book, a family lore book of tales. We really do, though. You maple bacon, meet us in the ice sweet. I mean, what? How did I say that? Like that? I'm so sorry. Um, My friend and I once wrote a 20 page document with all the dumb or rude quotes we got from McDonald's customers. I would read that. We started it one day, and within a week, we were at three pages. I would read it. Thank you for the lurk, Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Panda keychain, seven cigarettes, 86 cents, a warning ticket out of party, car, parking bay. There we go. Boom. All right, here we go. Time to rewind. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. All right, here we go. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay, you got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Uh, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 motherfucking cents. 86 cents. Look at That's me. right, living this. large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. And a parking a parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 9.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Wasn't it 9.34? No, it was 9.21, 10 10.34. Okay, we're good. 10.34 a.m. Knox Taren, what the crazy is Max can tell time. Okay, I'm about to blow her mind. Uh, that's the first reference to chapter one. You see your license plate and every Twins Peak fan was like, hey, yo. Really, Johnny? I gotta watch Wow, rewind and blow her mind. What a rhyme. I know. You know. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You're welcome. I'm feeling like Max right you now. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Your diary. Mood apathetic. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. I'm so hungry. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. So hungry. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Mm -hmm. All right. I will predict the future. No way. Imagine. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Imagine this resource being finite and her wasting it on bullshit, like proving it to Chloe. Amaze balls! Oh, the youth. I know. I'm so stoked. I thought I had Magic the Gathering game tonight, but it's not until next Saturday, so now I can watch you play longer. Yeah! Shay gets to hang out! All right, so mom goes Oops. and... Did you break another cup? Cup of really? Coffee. No refill for you. This motherfucker. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Oh, there he goes. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Hey, they get He no fight. started it. I'm finishing it. Okay. Cup, cop, fight. Cup, cop, fight. Weird lady goes to the bathroom. Uh, there was a roach on the jukebox. The best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Is that a cockroach? So what are you waiting for? 
Uh, well, I'm going to do a little thing called the rewind, and I'm going to tell you. Imagine getting a tumor, and every time you use it, your power grows. Yo, that'd be fucking wild, Kella. That would be very a teenager of her. I know. So teenager. And you use it for this. Shabby. Yeah. This is true. There's no proof we had infinite power, so Chloe is making us waste it. That's what I'm saying. But if you don't know about it until later that day, after you use it, have so much cucaracha. Okay. So that just reminds me of the time that Justina and I went to a laundromat together to do, like, I had to wash, like, big comforters or something that wouldn't fit into our laundry at home or something. And I set my laundry down on top of the washer. And as I'm about to put everything into the washer, a fucking cockroach comes skittering up to me and, like, looks at me and he's just staring at me. And I stare, I look to him. And he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and I just went, um, and I just picked up my laundry basket, and I said, we're leaving, and we just fucking, like, without another word, just left. But it was funny, but we called him La Cucaracha. We called him Cucu La Cucaracha for the rest of the day. We're like, yeah, we named him La Cucaracha. Mom drops cup, dork in mad hat, in hat mad, cop partner leaves, teens fighting, weird bathroom lady, jukebox roach, Davy garbage Davy Jones lock. Thank you. He was a cute little guy. He was kind of cute. Yeah, we were like, he literally just like locked eyes with me and we just stared at each other. I said, oh, wow, who's this? Yeah. Uh, Jane Foster, every time she needs to use Thor's hammer, it's only killed her because she had cancer. Oh, yeah, wasn't that, that was like canonical, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I believe so. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to bed. Need to let my foot rest. Good night, Camilla. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Camilla as we send her off to sleep? Please, please, please rest up. I hope your foot feels a lot better. And thank you for hanging out with us on this, the day of our daughter's teenager? Ah! Question, question mark? Thank you for hanging out with us. Good night, Camilla. Get some good rest. We'll see you soon. We'll probably see you next week for more games and stuff. Papaya, 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 papaya. Ah! Ah! There we go. All right. Here we going. Where we go? Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm old. Uh, good night, good night, Camilla. Sorry. I'm just, I'm like half paying attention because like food is arriving in like five minutes. Once it gets here, I'm going to eat. Okay. Are you ready, kids? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Watch me, nerd. Uh... The trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. Yep. So what happens next? And then the alert on the there's alert on the cop's radio, and his partner leaves him. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And then Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce stops them. She's like, take it outside, assholes, right? Justin and Trevor are fighting, and, and Joyce she, breaks it up. It says, and Joyce is getting them. good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Ugh! The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Imagine it didn't. Here we go. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where did really? you go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You See called it. Ya. But he's off to go bust some skaters. See ya. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Mm -hmm. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Yes! That? Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. <laughs> what? Ix fick fucking squeeze me? <laughs> what? Okay, sorry, that was... Joyce 2v1s those teens from the tightrope. All that happens when you have to predict the future no later or no earlier. Yeah, exactly. But no, Grow up. no banging. Maybe you made no a move on me out. and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. I mean, we have to point. play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. 
Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Okay, but she has hey, a good point. Okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. The Hamley you would definitely guide you. use oh. these powers for sex, is what I'm hearing. And shame on all of you. What if you got pregnant? How would you confirm whose it is? Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Or, here's a question. Would the pregnant pregnant not exist because it never happened? Just saying. Hook up again. All right, do I need to say anything to anyone? Truckers have such a romantic life. Oh, okay. no, Always on the road. Day. All right. I speak to y'all again. Let's talk later when I'm not so high. Okay. So what? Your partner left you. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Okay. All these people don't want to talk. That's fine. All right. You ready to go? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Hamley. It is time for another decision. I feel like this is very deal or no deal. Kate Marsh is on the phone. Kate is calling. What did she ask us? Kate Marsh is calling us. Do we answer or do we don't answer? Answer or don't answer? The poll is up. If you do not see the poll, make sure you refresh your chat so you can see it up at the top. You guys decide whether or not we are answering Kate's phone call. Chloe is mad that we are wasting her time. Do we go after Chloe and not answer the phone? Or do we take a moment to answer Kate's phone call and risk pissing off Chloe? If you're the one who got pregnant and rewinded, you're still the same, including what's inside of you. Possibly, but I feel like the... This is getting very, like, technical. I feel like the baby-making sauce would cease to exist so therefore it wouldn't right right getting to light switch is painful imagine going to the kitchen or taking five 15 minutes to walk to the doctor or 40 minutes because of it you know what please take care of yourself i would use those powers to say bagel from her biggest meme if you know you know ben are you talking about ben you would use your rewind powers to prevent me from bending hook up again and remember, if you guys tie the pole, we're flipping a coin. And you don't like you didn't like what happened last time. Isn't that the ending to the butterfly effect? Essentially. The butterfly effect was low-key a good movie. It slapped. Uh it wouldn't exist because we rewind a time earlier. We unwipe the boards. We wipe so our body also rewind. True. One does not speak of that film. Not again. Yeah. Shut up, Chloe. The board didn't unwipe itself. You know, what did she ask us? Yeah, just basically do we answer the phone or not? This shouldn't even have to be a discussion, but it's a major decision and you all get to choose. What kind of friend asks you not to answer the phone when another friend calls? A toxic one, right? That's what I'm saying. That's as toxic. Answer, answer. Yeah, I like that movie and heard there was a second movie, but also heard not to watch it. I never saw the second one, but I heard it was also terrible. That's my last one. I heard that uh, Butterfly Effect 2 was terrible. Okay, okay, we got it. Well, chat, I trust the Hamley this time. Okay, okay. Getting so many memories stuck in your brain after an instant, in an instant after time travel can't be healthy. Yeah, like, how do you keep track of what's going on? I feel like that's more complicated than me trying to keep track of what I learn in character and out of character in GTA RP. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes that shit get confusing. Sometimes, like, I go into the city and I accidentally call my friends by their real first name. And then I'm like, I mean, what, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> huh? Who did that? Yeah, it could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, so I'm just like, damn. I like flipping the coin. The, you would. I may have to rescind my trust, but would that mean you won't feel the pleasure after sex? I mean, I mean, you'd have the memory of the pleasure. Right? This is a wild conversation. This is wild as fuck, bros. 
All right. While y'all are doing that, I'm going to catch up on some things. Yeah, I voted don't answer. Good for me. Hi, everyone. I'm back in with new glasses. Strider, I need to get new glasses. I don't know if I can afford them, though. But I can't wait. I need to get new glasses so bad. What? Uh, I can get more feral. No, you can't. You don't. You you do you, goose. Um, but yeah, oh, so fun fact, at my university, someone I knew and his roommate got stabbed while doing a short film for class. While doing a short film? That's fucked up. I love Butterfly Effect tonight. Uh, the kind who truly needs therapy, but we don't even got time, even though we do. We do have, we don't, we do, but we don't. Hi, Strider with new glasses. Show them off in Discord if you're comfortable. Yeah, there you go. New glass height. Johnny, that's not fun. No, that's not fun at all. I'll do before and after tomorrow. Went from round to rectangle. Ooh, changing up the shape. But do you ever have a dream that in you that you could that you and when you and you ask and you and you do the thing that when you said you did the thing but that you do the thing that you do, didn't do? What? Why ask? The stabber said they were inspired by the butterfly effect, so now that movie has become a taboo meme. Oh, for real? Damn. They're both fine. One was critical though, but we had a dinner a few months back. God damn, that's terrible. I hope they redid the whole short form around short film around the stabbing. I I mean, I feel like either they just didn't redo the film and they just didn't submit it, and maybe they got a passing grade because you know they got stabbed. Also, what was the short film about? Like, how did I? There's so much lore in context. Like, okay, so did they get stabbed because of the film? Was it random? Where were they? Okay. Hamley did write, allegedly, this time and said answer. So we are going to answer Kate's phone call. All right. You all did great. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for the Hamley? Hamley, that was a little close for my tastes. Just throwing that out there. It's a little too close for my tastes. And to answer Kate's phone call. You all decided, and now we. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please Thanks. don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate, I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought Thanks, about Max. tying it. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. Yeah! I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Uh, thank God Hamley finally. KK, if we would have tied that poll, KK would have literally unfollowed. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Left the Discord and we would have never heard from them ever again. Like, KK can only take so much stress. And that would have been the final fucking straw. I'm sensing it. I just know it already. Yeah, Chloe's got a bad attitude. Chloe need Chloe's like very selfish. Y'all would never see me. Just we would never hear the legend of knockout, knockout ever again. Understandably. The real question here, folks. This was a phone call on our cell phone. Why did we have to stay here and not just walk and talk? That is true. Why couldn't we just walk and talk? Why could there not just have been a, a walk and talk? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Mm -hmm. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, yeah. do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that song, You'll Never See Me Again. Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. If that is your drink. Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. OK, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. 
you can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. This girl, this girl. Uh, but for all, you're all stuck with me. Yay, we love, we love KK. All right, I guess. My thing is I like to start in a corner and move around. I hate being directionally overwhelmed. Okay, we're just gonna start here. We're just gonna start here and we're gonna explore everything. Can I go up here? I can go up here. Oh no, this is just opening up more area for me to, oh, there's a plank. Can I walk it? Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Defeated my salad. Doesn't look too heavy. Proud of you. I knew you could. Imagine she just shoots you and tells you to rewind it as I'm laying there dying, like, <laughs> like in the neck going. <laughs> also, to answer the earlier question, that short film was not about stabbings. The man just decided to do it to see how it feels. I believe how it were his words. What in the fucking psychopath? No way, Johnny. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay, why do I? Why did I just pick that up for no reason? Okay. Uh. Oh, it's because there's a bottle over there. See, I'm a genius. I just fucking manipulate things in the environment and it works out for me. Oh, I think I remember this place. Do you? Football. The Bigfoots were here. It didn't stand a chance against you. McKay murbered that salad. Like, hardcore style. Mm, yeah. What? I'm losing my shit. I gotta bring that back. I used to go, do you? A lot when I used to ask, do you? I don't know why. Bottle! Cool. At least not everything is broken around here. We found a bottle. We found a bottle. We found a bottle and it. Oh, bottle number one. Four more to go. Oh, look, a place where we can sit. Let me guess. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. She's a It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. Your diary moment, yeah. Your monologue. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Is this another thing that I could definitely stand up from at any second, but I'm gonna sit here for five minutes and wonder why the game is not progressing? Yes. Perfect game moment to talk to chat. Chat, tell me about your day. We've been here for about five hours now. How y'all doing? Did everyone get something to eat? Did everyone drink? Is everyone drinking water? Y'all bundled up. It snowed here yesterday, and it's still snowing. It's actually freezing as fuck. Let's get cuddly. Let's talk about life. Let's look at this scenic, serene junkyard. Similar to laying on the ground and feeling like trash. Under joke, joke. Understandable. Or just real life joke, but not joke. Just laying on the floor and feeling like trash. Sometimes you just do it. Sometimes you just feel like trash. Alright, we're done. <laughs> I could have kept the meme going for a while, but I could. I, 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 yeah. Too much. We got more snow yesterday than all winter. Same! Kaylee, I was literally like, I love how we're about halfway through February and now we decide to get snow here in our area. We have not had snow like all the live long day. You heard me. All the live long day. Imagine having to lay on the ground to feel like trash. Oh yeah, I just feel like trash upright. Imagine. <laughs> That's my Chloe. That's my Chloe. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No, that just escalated so fucking quickly. No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. 
Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic, boom. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. True. Let's see what else you can do. Okay. Went from 40 degrees to negative bottles. six. Thank you. Maybe in an old refrigerator. No, thank you. Yeah, we had like really nice warm weather and then the temperature dropped out of nowhere and the next thing snow happened. I knew snow happened. I've been feeling like trash on fire. You're just on fire. You're just a little burning trash bag, Kaylee. You're just a little burning trash bag. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you're one of my cats. I'm so sorry. Oh, was there not a pump that just popped up there? Am I imagining it? It snowed here as well. Gonna be like fitty on Tuesday. I'm, you know, normally I really like- I don't want like... to go that way. Sorry. Normally I really like my seasons, but this is the first year that I'm I'm actually happy to get like an early spring. So I'm like, I'm low-key glad that the the uh, groundhog saw that spring was happening and all that shit, you know? The, the spring and the, the spring and the spring. It's hard to believe that was what? once on the road filled with dozens of students. Oops. Can we take a picture of it? Imagine it being uh, warm weather and then suddenly snow. We're just watching the end of the first episode stream. Yeah, that's what it felt like, Camilla. Just a little trash fire. It's just a little trash fire. Just a little trash fire. Okay, uh, can I have you? Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Hey, Bagel, any games similar to Lake? I haven't played Lake, but it seems like a cozy type game. I love Lake and I Stupid bottle. plan on replaying it at some point. Um, I don't know if there's necessarily a game like Lake, but I'm sure. Uh, so, okay, if you guys don't know, there's a website that I really like. It's called 50 Games. Uh, is it 50? Well, hold on. What is it? It's 50, 50. Uh, yeah, 50gameslike.com, like 50gameslike.com. And if you type in, here, I'll show you how it works. If you type in one of your favorite games, it'll give you 50 games that are similar in rating and description to that. So like search by, when did you open? Search by game name. So for instance, we're playing Life is Strange. So Life is Strange, boom. And then it'll give you 50 games like life is strange so you go down here life is strange true colors that makes sense tell me why oxen free twin mirror wayward strand pentiment so if you really get like a game and you really really get like addicted to it beacon pines i bet you beacon pines ends up being similar to lake too lake yeah lake's also in here so like this is like all within kind of like a similar genre so like if you really ooh. Rewinder is an adventure puzzle game based on Chinese mythology. You play as Yoon, the last known Rewinder, who can communicate with spirits and explore other people's memories to alter the pet. I'm going to add that to my... See? And then sometimes you hear about games that you've, like, you'd never heard of, and then they capture your attention like that. So, like, there you go. I just learned about a new game on stream that sounds interesting. That's how it works. That's how all of this works. That's how any of this works. So there you go. That's how it works. Oxenfree is so fun and free on mobile for people who have Netflix. Oh, interesting. I know I like got a DLC for, yes. So I was gonna play it around Christmas, but then I got really sick and got really behind on playing a lot of games. Uh, so I had I have to push it back, but I am, yes, we are making return as the Postmaster General Strider. Diner wine is coming back, baby. That's going to be so confusing for us non-US or non-East Coast people. What do you mean? What do you mean? Just a, uh, oh, we have weather predicting Groundhog. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's true. Uh, wait, does, do people not know what Groundhog Day is? I may be headed back to Arizona soon, so I'm not too excited. Yo, you're going to, you're going to be super hot. Tur than you already are, I will say. Ayo. Uh, but Arizona could be a fun change, right? Right? Hey. Uh, Ali, thank you for the 300 pitties. You didn't you need doing? to do that. I appreciate you. You're the best. Diner wine, baby. Yes. Oxenfree is so fun. And uh, yeah, I've heard great things about Oxenfree. It's on the list for eventually. You guys, like I said, I'm trying to stay streaming for as long as I can. I'm hoping that like I can figure out some things uh, for my financial situation because I don't. For those who weren't here at the top of the stream, I talked about how I might have to step away from streaming for a considerable amount of time. 
until I can figure some things out. I don't want to. I am doing my best to try and figure out how to not do that because there are a million games that I want to play with you guys. There are a million stories I want to experience with you all and I'm doing my best to try and hang on to this, but uh, it's... Uh, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. So I will I will do my best to try and uh, fit in games that you guys want me to play. I'm, I'm not ignoring your suggestions. It's literally just all comes down to will I have time to do it? So uh, this is amazing. Thank you. Book smart at light bookmarks at light speed. Yes. My kids have been sick this week too. I'm tired of cleaning, stepping in and being thrown up oh, on so yes, much laundry Daddy. this week. Straight. Um... I don't have potato. I don't have potato. Everyone in chat blow kisses that everyone in chat blow kisses that straighter. Thank you. Um I'm not gonna cry because I don't have potato. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that helps a lot. Thank you. Um Holy fuck, thank you. Thank you. Holy shit, thank you. Um uh, I honestly don't you know what to say. Yeah, Strider, you get out here right now. You're in trouble. I honestly don't know what to say other than thank you. I was doing that before you started talking, so now that was just super odd timing. And <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, oh god, I'm trying not to cry. Cause I don't have snap cam on today to cover up my face. Um, but thank you. I appreciate you. Already kissed Stri Strider. Everyone kissed Strider. Everyone kissed Strider. Lots of love and hype in the chat for Strider. Thank you. Uh that helps. A lot. I'm super fucking stressed and I was saying at the beginning of stream that that is really eerie timing. I was saying at the beginning of stream how because of like like I'm not trying to drag anyone. I'm not trying to call anyone out. I was a little feisty coming into stream. I'm trying to do my best to like not be that person but like I I put myself in a financially shitty position to help someone that I cared about who ended up doing who ended up doing wrong by me and I just want everyone to make sure that you always look out for yourself first because I'm in a situation now where I'm trying to move forward with my life and I don't know how to how to because I expended so much energy and financial um help to someone who ultimately in the end I'm never gonna regret what I did I'm not it's like I said earlier I'm never gonna regret trying to be a good person but like fuck, thank you Strider <laughs> thank you can we get more love and hype in the chat for Strider yeah yell at Strider but with love <laughs> already kissed Strider yeah S J fucking SJK SJKW and the W stands for win uh thank you Strider I appreciate you I'm sorry no sorry it's just it is what it is and I'm It just sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. You. <laughs> Let it out? No, I'm trying to stop this. I'm trying to stop this. SJK is Strider? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Since when? Um, no, I'm not gonna oh, let out. Yes, Daddy. Hey, no. not do this to me. KK, you can't go from almost leaving the fa the Hamily. <laughs> you can't go from almost leaving the Hamily to this. Thank you. Thank you. You guys stop making me cry. No more being lazy for No, it's not a lazy thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all. You guys have no idea. I've like been so fucking stressed. I have to try and 
like get my car fixed and like I'm just like and I'm going to look at like a bunch of apartments this week and I'm just trying to do my best and I'm just I'm like a little <laughs> I'm like a little potato and I try really hard <laughs> thank you <laughs> I just always. No, oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> why'd you do it? Oh, why'd you do? Oh no, I'm a mess. I um, uh, I've really been struggling a lot, and I feel terrible because I always want to give you guys more, and I've just felt so. <laughs> I've just felt so just drained, and and. <laughs> It's really hard when I like I feel like I'm fighting every day to move forward and I gave a lot to something uh, to someone who obviously you know wasn't didn't end up being worthy of my time and then it's even harder for me to do that when I'm trying to be very gracious because I understand that a lot of my community is their community and we have a shared community and it's really hard uh, but I've really been struggling. <laughs> Oh yes, Daddy. <laughs> I'm just like it's been really rough, and I am. Um, <laughs> I'm. I try. Like it's really hard for me to like. <laughs> I don't ever want to be a person who's petty, and I don't ever want to be a person who is like hateful or anything like that. But it's just it's really hard, and I've been struggling. I like. <laughs> I know that I've pulled a back a lot from the community and that's something that upsets me so much because I feel like I feel like I don't know how to exist in the same space as um someone Allie, thank you by the way. I appreciate the fuck out of you. Can we get love and hype in the chat for Allie? I just it's really hard for me to to like exist in a space where I feel like I don't know where I fit in and I know it like it's not like that and there is no such thing as sides and there shouldn't be sides but there is a lot of time when I feel like I feel like I lost so much of the community and then I feel like on top of it I've just been so drained and stressed that I can't give you guys the fun that I used to and it's been very hard for me to balance that and it's been very hard for me to show up to stream a lot because of that um and I've been trying and really struggling um so I just want you all to know that I'm extremely appreciative of to you guys to all of you for being here to the people who still have been here and hanging out and I I know I don't talk about a lot what I'm going through it just it is very hard sometimes it is very hard sometimes and I I'm a very I I know I'm very open with you guys but I also still keep a lot to myself uh, because I want to respect everyone's time and when we're here I always try to make it about fun and positivity but you guys also know that I'm very honest and I know that life is not always uh, rainbows and sunshine and, and all that stuff so I'm like <sighs> I don't know I've I'm I've been trying not to make myself feel or look vulnerable I guess and I've been trying very hard to like keep my head up and stuff but it's been really rough and so I really appreciate all of you for uh, being here first and foremost because time is your most precious resource and I appreciate the hell out of you and to uh, everyone else who is also gone above and beyond and uh, specifically Strider, KK, and Allie. Thank you so much. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make this about this emotional damage. I wanted to make it about Life is Strange emotional damage and I didn't want to do my emotional damage. But now here we are and maybe, maybe it's the game's fault because the background song is very like soothing and emotional and it's just making me cry and i adore you all and i'm sorry thank you all um i appreciate you all so fucking much uh <laughs> that'll help that'll help me fix my car or pay for the deposit on my apartment so i'm really excited because now i don't feel like as lost <laughs> Thank you. Mommy, I love you guys so much. Thank you. Oh, I promise I know how to be serious sometimes. Wait, what? We fit 
into your arms, essentially put on it. What is happening? Justina has gone feral. What is happening? I'm sorry. Can I go clean my face up really quick? Can I put a beer B? Because like I, I'm just all of all of this moisture. I just need to go like <laughs> I go my <laughs> I can fix my face, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose my shit. I didn't mean it. I'm proposing this because I feel it's super important for you to hear. I'll keep this brief. I gave so much and put myself in a rough financial position. I never thought I would get out of it. I'm finally getting out of it now and getting to a point I can take care of myself more. Point is, you're an amazing, thoughtful person. And I couldn't even help but we'll come back to you. I know this, I'm sure, is similar to the advice you always give us, but we're gonna reverse. Oh, Suck yes, Stop. Thank you. Be happy how much I'll stroke your hair when you're back. I don't think you can. There's too much curl. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Mommy. Sorry. Mommy. Sorry. Mommy. Sorry. No. Sorry. Mommy. Strider, thank you. Not Chipotle. I'm not gonna lie. I had like a free order on my Uber Eats, so I ordered nuggies, and they're sitting on my porch, probably getting cold while I'm crying on the internet. <laughs> Because, you know, that's what cool kids do. They cry on the internet. Can I go fix my face, you guys? I, like, I don't have anything here to even, like, begin to, like, sop up my face except my shirt. And the last thing I'm about to do is pull my shirt up on stream and let you see all the goodies. Oh, my God. Not cold nuggies. I know. Go get nuggies. Okay, can I have, like, five minutes to clean my face, get my food, and then we'll go back into the rest of the emotional damage of this fucking game? I gotta find bottles. I gotta... Fuck me. You guys ruined me. Thank you. I appreciate the hell out of you all. Okay, hold on. I want to do my due diligence. I want to catch up on chat. So can we get some love and hype in the chat for Strider and KK and Allie and Jay? Thank you all so much for all of your generosity. I appreciate the hell out of you all. Um, I love you guys. I'm sorry that I took like the most wild detour and decided to just start sobbing because you know what? No, I'm not sorry because sometimes it be like that. Okay. Uh, I adore you all. Thank you all so much for being here. I will be back in a few minutes. Please take this time to go grab some food. Grab something to eat, something to drink. Uh, I'm going to get more water because I need it. Ducks. Do we want ducks? I don't know if I can. So here's my thing. I'm going to do a BRB screen because I actually, yeah, Strider, do you want to stream ducks to the Discord and then I can just show it? Because I don't want to close the game because I don't know when the last checkpoint was. I'm assuming it was like when we got to the junkyard, but I never know. And I don't want to like erase any progress we had. So if you want to stream ducks to the Discord, I can just show your screen. I do it all the time. Yeah, get food. The nuggies came. Go get that shmeat as bullet and bake. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you like that shmeat? Yo, Johnny, that clip was fucking wild, by the way. <laughs> Probably felt good to get that out, though. I love crap. Well, okay. Well, here's the thing. I was just going to wait until tomorrow when you and I hung out. And then while you and I were running errands, I was just going to sob to you. I didn't want to do it on the internet. You know me. I like to do my sobbing in private. I do it all the time. I know. No, sorry. I do. I love this community dearly. You're also kind of welcoming, wonderful people. I adore you all so much. If anyone wants to join Strider's duck game, you heard me, duck game. If you would like to join the duck game, if you would like to join the Hamley Ducks, I should have permission. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do this on the pop out. Nope, can't do it on the pop out. Pop out. Yeah, I can. There we go. Okay, hold on. Yo, okay, hold on. Okay, you guys. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me mute myself on the Discord. I'm so sorry, Strider. I'm a nightmare today. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to stream Strider playing. Ducks! The placid plastic duck sim, baby! Uh, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me fix this. Uh, uh, go out. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me... Okay, Strider's got the pool going. I'm just going to turn on music. And then you guys can just hang out and watch. Look, there's Strider on my screen. Uh, anyone who decides to come into the channel, please meet me first. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to lock it. I'm just going to lock it. Okay. Okay, everyone behave, please. Here you go. Here's some ducks. Actually, you know what? 
I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put it on a BRB. I can't figure anything out. I'm a boomer. Uh, I'm gonna put it on BRB. Everyone, if you guys want to go see the ducks in the Discord, Strider's got ducks in the Discord. Go do that. I'm gonna be back in just like five minutes. Just give me like five minutes to fix my face and get water and pee and stuff. And then we're gonna finish more. Uh, what am I playing? Life is strange. I don't know why I almost said American Dad. What the fuck? Okay, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Everyone, please behave. Okay, please eat. I, I'll try. I'll try and do that. Ice cream? Wait, I want ice cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna shred. We're gonna shred paper. We're gonna shred paperwork together. I will be back. Yes. And if you're not in the Discord, there's a link there. Thank you, Johnny. I will be back. Everyone, please behave. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please hold, I gotta save myself. Okay, oh, oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So, okay. No, stop throwing flash! Oh. Waggle oh, ham, baby. Oh god. Don't judge me. I'm falling oh, out of whack. We're still actively sliding you. Oh god. <laughs> Oh no, Riley, are you okay? Come on. Uh, wait, are we playing games here? I'd like to. Yes, Camilla, thank you. Oh, okay, this girl A would like sup, baby. Hey, uh, A. Um. <sighs> fucking dicks. Shit. Um. Hey, you know, they call me Bagel, but I think you look like a muffin because I'm muffin without you. Sup, baby. Sup, baby. Suck it on a Wednesday, sup, baby. Okay, uh, speed, speed run. Uh. <laughs> That's how you get an S rank, baby. Kazam, what those spoons do, smash. Machop, two baby, pass. Machoke, machoke me, yes, please. Smash. Machamp, choke me with two sets of hands, yes. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a mishmash right now. So if you're confused, don't worry about it. We are too, I promise you. Um, but yeah, and I hope everyone else is having a great night and is ready to settle in and hang out. If you have to go, I completely understand. Feel free to smash. That follow button and come back another time. Voice, impose an unwelcome or unnecessary person or thing on. She had no desire to have an elderly relative foisted upon her. I have foisted a dance party upon you, Tempest. How? Listen to her. She's terrible. She's also might be, she also, she also might be trying to sabotage me. Don't listen to her. How do I shut you down? How do I shut you up? I change the file path. What if I just delete the video really quick and then it just stops playing and then I'll... This is not happening. I hope that was hilarious. This is hilarious? Right. Thank you. Chata, welcome back. How are you doing? Happy... <laughs> if you were a Transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. Ooh-woo. <laughs> Sup, baby! Sup, baby. Suck it on a Friday. Sup, baby. More than meets the eye. Carter is a robot in disguise. What? To be honest, I think chat's the one that's scarier and scares you more. Uh, fair. 
That was mean. Fair enough. That was so mean. Why are you trying to make a me pee the pants? Some... What, what accent is this? No, wait, what? No, no, no. Come back here. I'm pouring root beer. Root beer floats. Root beer floats right, for everyone. Where? Silver! I am in shock <laughs> and awe. But you know what? At least we're trying it together. And I would rather live a life full of oopsies and hospital visits than a life full of regret. So we're doing it. Okay. Here we go. All right. Yeah, we're going. We. Okay, that did oh, not. Oh, not far enough. I'm back with an orange boy, but he already hates it. It's Kevin! <gasps> Miss Cora, what do you see? Did you just try to bite my face? The cats are uwu kawaii and must not be harmed. Is that what you wanted? Hey! <laughs> Let's see if I can get the green marker working, baby. Oh god, I keep forgetting! Oh shit, my knees! Oh no, my knee! Oh god! Okay, hold on. Your girl's knee is really bad. I literally don't know where to go from here. No! Go! No! You're next in queue. The devil will be with you shortly. Ah! <laughs> what? I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> why, did, why was that so violent? <laughs> Straight Street during Pride Month. Say it again, Dexter. I'm a fucking taco. Fix. Anyway, there you go. You were so close. She won't say it. I'm just, look. Here's the thing. I said it. I just said it with zero enthusiasm. That's all. So if she's not coming out, we got to go in and get her. Beck flicked a large sheet of paper out of her pocket and slammed it on the floor. Maybe this will help. Mm -hmm. You have blueprints? Well, it's really just a wolf. You. Can I get a shout out for Saipa? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, motherfucker, I get it all the way up there? All right, well, here we go, I guess. Ooh. To press tab to. Toggle educational. Okay, ready? Go back. Bah! No, 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 no. You fucking sheep! A hole punch is not a toy. List paper, hole punch, staples, plunger. Alright, cool, cool. Glad we had this conversation. Boo! No, oh, motherfucker!
No, 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 fuck this, fuck this. I can't see through your ass, man! And then we have... I just want you all to know that I'm trying very hard to not piss my pants right now. Crispy. Crispy. Why, why is there a shrine to Colonel Sanders on your fucking island? Too. Do we need a clip? We don't need a clip. No, 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 there's no clip. There's no such thing. We don't take clips here. We're actually an anti-clip community. I think I've explained this before. Um, uh, just letting you all know that yeah, we're we're just an, we're an anti-clip community. We don't believe in them. <laughs> I did it! Oh, I have 54 out of 30 fame points. This day I'm shuffling. No. Raiders, I can explain. I can explain. Mom. Guys, I've gotten really good at driving. Okay, except for this landing. Yeah. Akuma goes really fast. Burbacucci? Okay. Burbacucci? <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> is that what they used to call you in college? Yeah, they did. Uh, no, I called a vampire. Oh. Mommy? I mean, <laughs> I mean burp <laughs> Did you solve the clock puzzle? How to make your own Cerberus meme. How to make your own Cerberus meme. You don't, apparently. Thank you for joining me on this humorous journey. This family is known as the Vagal Bitches and nothing else. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Friends are great. I would put them on a plate and then eat them. But in a kind way and maybe a little bit of a sexy way. But nothing weird. Too late I made it weird. Shit, I made it weird. I'm ending my stream. All right, well, thanks for showing up, everybody. Look around. Yeah, I will, I will, I don't promise. Take, don't take to violence, though. I make no promises. Happens, Lexi? <laughs> I make no promises. Lexi, no. I make no promises. But reach out to us. The, you know my number. Okay. You can reach out to us, and him. we can certainly come yeah. respond and try to help you get okay. that taken care of. Okay, thanks. Okay. What's that, Jake? Jake's the only one I trust that this matters. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, Sammy, then Sammy, then you. Okay. Wow, I'm good. Okay, thanks. I will do everything. I will say, <clears throat> Chetta 100% made that moment better. Uh, with the whole oh wow I'm third thing. Uh, <laughs> Chetta is fantastic to RP with. Cause Nick is such a like a like a no bullshit dude. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back. Okay, so I managed to fix my eyeliner because <clears throat> it was janky looking, right? And then I and now I'm fixing my my lips because you guys made me melt my face off, right?
My face is really red looking right now. I blame all of you. You did this, not me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, <clears throat> I'm back. I do have to clean my glasses though because there are tears all over them. Uh, can we get some love and hype in the chat once again for Strider and KK and Allie and Shay? Thank you all so much for your generosity and thank you for making me cry. For usual. Uh, let me catch up on chat. Uh, Ron, I saw you jumped in. I hope you feel better. I don't know if you're here or if you watch the VOD. I hope I hope you know. I hope you feel better. Your infections are the worst. That looks that sounds freaking miserable. Please take care of yourself. I'm sorry your face is swollen. Uh, please, 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 please. Sorry. Uh, welcome back, Bagel. Here you go for laughs. I'm scared. White <laughs> white girl running. Absolutely no chance. White girl running. Uh, I don't think we're talking about chick. Okay, <clears throat> fine. I'll play this just for Johnny, just for all of you. So basically, on Sundays, Spartan has started playing a game called Persona 3, and he invites co-hosts to come lightly toast slash roast the game with him. And I went and participated last, um, <clears throat> last week. I'm not going to be able to, I'm not able to, uh, I will not be able to participate this week, unfortunately, uh, because I'm going to be hanging out with Justina tomorrow. But uh, we did, um, we did do a co-hosting thing. That stream was ridiculously fun. It was so much fun. I can't wait. Like, I'm actually, I was actually genuinely upset. I was like, I was like, I can't, but I was like, please stretch the game out to like several weeks because I will, I am, I'm hardcore down to participate as long as you want me as a co-host but basically spartan was playing persona 3 uh if you're not following spartan follow spartan can i get a shout out to spartan and uh <clears throat> this is a really weird moment we just we ended up talking about like a bunch of random shit and somehow we brought up like fries and sandwiches and chicken sandwiches and stuff and i don't know you, when you get me basically when you get me spartan and bullet into a fucking voice chat together Things are just going to go off the rails within three seconds. And literally within like two minutes of Bullet being in the chat with me and Spartan, uh, we went off the rails because that's what we do. I think chicken is the superior. So I will play this for you all <clears throat> so you guys can see what happened on Spartan's stream <laughs> last Sunday. Uh, and he has other co-hosts too. So if you guys want to be there, uh, he's going to be streaming it again tomorrow. He's going to have, I think Jamie might be there. I think Bullet might be there. Uh, if, if. I have time. Maybe I'll pop in there for a second and say hi. Uh, but basically, he just invites like some of his homies to come co-host. Uh, but this is from last week. I think chicken is the superior meat in this uh, combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the there superior it is. meat. What the? Yeah, you heard yeah, me. Superior, <laughs> meat. <laughs> superior meat. Bro, can you guys like stop the uh, sexy talking to me about the superior <laughs> meat? <laughs> superior meat. Oh my god, tell me about the superior meat. Oh Is it god. chicken? Superior oh my god. Tell me more. <laughs> oh my you lost me. Uh, so basically, uh, it's just us. Uh, is Spartan blushing? Probably. Uh, we're I think chicken is the superior meat in this uh, combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the there superior it is. meat? What the? Yeah, you heard yeah, me. Superior meat. <laughs> superior meat. Bro, can you guys like stop the uh, sexy talking to me about the superior <laughs> meat? <laughs> superior <laughs> meat. <laughs> oh my god, tell me about the superior meat. Oh my is it god. chicken? Oh my god, tell me You lost me. Uh, it was so funny. Like, literally, we just had so many weird fucking degenerate conversations on... But, like, that's the thing, too, and here's why I loved it. I don't think Spartan or Bullet are here, uh, but, like, that's how... That's the kind of... Those are the kind of conversations my friends and I have when we're not on stream. So it was kind of funny that we like fucking ended up doing it on his stream, but that's legitimately how we all just like, that's the kind of shit we talk about. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, 1 p.m. Justina, you can come over at one. Or, or just fuck it, come up tonight. And just come hold me while I'm sleep. I'm crying myself to sleep tonight. Uh, anyway, no, don't do that. Don't. You've got shit to do. Uh, 
But anyway, uh, is Spartan Blade, yes, chicken is the best meat. That's what I'm saying. Well, we were talking about like with fries. Like what is, in your opinion, what is the best thing to eat with fries? Welcome back. I'm lurking. We'll be rest of the stream. I appreciate you, Allie. I appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you again. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Allie? Uh, I know Shay also lurked at one point. Well, it's lurk. Excuse me? What? No, I just, I played the clip. I played the clip, Spartan. So we were based, how dare with the shout out. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, so that's what we're saying. So like, what is the best thing to eat with fries? Usually it's like, what's the best thing to eat with a burger? What's the best? No. What do you think that fries are the best side dish to? And I said chicken sandwich. I think I think fries with a chicken sandwich, perfection. Like I know burgers and fries like are the combo like that we normally get, but I think fries taste better with like a chicken sandwich. Personally. Call me call me wild, call me whatever, but like that's my personal opinion and I'm sticking to it. So <laughs> here we are. Uh, but yeah, so then that's how that conversation goes. Bitch, that's what you get. Yeah, suck it, bitch. Yeah, go follow Spartan if you guys want to see more of that madness. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pop into his stream tomorrow, but I'll definitely be there if he's still playing it like every Sunday after. Also, Chibi, thank you for the pin message. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah. And that question came after naming your favorite. Yeah, that came after naming your favorite type of fries. What are your favorite type of fries, chat? I'm just going to, I'm just going to steal all Spartan's content. Hey guys, what's your favorite type of fry? I want a quarter pounder now. I'm sorry. Let me get you one. I get you. Chicken sandwich gang gang along with waffle or curly fries. Chicken sandwich with waffle fries. Name a more iconic duo. For real though. That's what I'm saying. Also, I think everyone should be proud of me. I had Chick-fil-A the other day and I didn't accidentally almost die from spice because I didn't order the salsa on it. Okay. It's kind of hard because I'm sure I've had fries paired with a non sandwich and loved it, but I just keep thinking about how the big ass veggie burger with those fried onion strips on it. Ooh, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that got really weird. <laughs> fries with a spicy, unless you're allergic, thank you. Chicken sandwich, unless you are allergic. And a milkshake, unless you're allergic, is 100% amazing. <laughs> I like that you did the, unless you're allergic to compensate for my, for my spice allergy. And then you're like, wait, what if everyone's fucking addicted to everything? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, waffle is superior shape followed by curly always season. Yes. Or garlic fries, garlic fries for me. Situation, situation, steak fries, steak fries. Nikkei, what do you dip your steak fries into though? That's the real question. Cause there's like, I do steak fries and a certain sauce and I'm, I want to know. Life is Strange is such a pleasure to play and experience. Envious, yes, Kelsey. I've played it a million times, but I wanted to experience it with the Hamley. So we're doing it together as a Hamley. So we're, we're having a lot of fun together playing it. I'm letting the chat, I'm letting chat make all the big decisions. Same brain. Strider, I said something similar. I said my favorite three cuts of fries are waffle, curly, and steak fry. Like those are my top three. Waffle, steak, and curly. Waffle, curly, then steak. Okay, yeah. See, Spartan and I had the same top three, just in a different order. Yes, I highly rec recommend Wendy's fries dipped in a Frosty. Yes. Iconic duo, Strider. Another iconic duo that you have named on this day. With a side of beer. Jeez, yes. Oh my God, how are you? Hi, Duck. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm okay. I'm uh, I'm vibing. I'm really sick today. And we're having emotional damage day in every capacity, apparently. So uh, feel free to vibe with us. If you're looking for something to do and you want to do some uh, hang out with the ham fam, we're just doing emotional damage Saturday. Because what's a Saturday night? without just a plethora of tears, right? Just all the tears of all the times. Steak fries only get red robin seasoning, only, but you know what? Red robin seasoning and then hear me out, okay? Dip that shit in a ranch. It's gonna change your fucking life. Change your life. Change your life. Dip that shit in a ranch. <laughs> I don't know why I just got really sensual about that. Uh, been good. My new job has been keeping me busy. Yes. Glad I'm getting to stop by and visit with all of you. We're so happy you're here, Doug. And I'm glad that your new job's going well. I'm assuming your new job's going well. Yeah, we're just talking. We're, uh, we're getting ready. I'm trying to, uh, stream as long as I can today because, um, I might be moving within the next couple weeks. Like everything's happening. So I'm going to be, uh, we're going to, we're going to, things are, things are happening. Okay. 
things are happening at a rapid pace and I'm doing my best. Okay, so we're, we're gonna, we're doing like a little bit of a longer stream today so that way I can hang out with you guys as much as possible. Uh, because girl's gonna be moving soon. So we're glad that you're here. Um, KFC has good ass fries. They've been perfectly crispy on the outside and soft on the inside lately. Ooh, KFC, huh? Did you say ranch? Yes, we love ranch. Yes, I fucking love ranch. Put your steak fries in the ranch. <laughs> Get them bottomless steak fries and cheesy bacon fondue burger, then dip your fries in the cheesy bacon fondue or that. That's what I always do at Red Ramen. I just do ranch, man. It's all about the ranch. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chetta. It's like I summoned you. I just mentioned you less than like two minutes ago. How are you doing? Welcome in. Happy Saturday. How's life? How's everything going? What? 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 It's always good beer. Uh, it's always going to be beer cheese for me. No, hold on. I got it. I can do one more before my my throat closes completely. <clears throat> Get that ranch. Uh. <laughs> I'm so close. I mean, what? <laughs> Get that ranch. Uh. <laughs> we fucking weird today, guys. I can't with us. What is happening? I mean, what? Yeah, beer cheese ranch double dip combo if you have more than one sauce. I don't know. Beer cheese and ranch? Sounds wild. I know I was summoned. You're good. Yeah. Well, because you were in one of my clips. And I was like, Chetta made that clip 100%. I was bragging about your RP prowess. Bruh. Beer cheese is pretty great. It is great. But is it better than ranch? Ugh. I'll stop grunting now. I'm so sorry, everyone. But cranch is hands- Cranch is- KK, KK is like, I'm fucking done with all of you. KK is about ready to revoke their fucking status to the Hamley for the third time tonight. All right, we're, we're, we're moving on. We're moving on. I can't lose KK, okay? All right, so how do I do this without knocking the beer bottle over? Uh, oh. Oh? I'm being jailed. I was like, what is happening? Why is my game not working? Hello. Due to the suggestive nature, <laughs> due to the suggestive nature of this content, viewer discretion is advised. Ranch. <clears throat> I can I just say I love but also hate the whiplash of the Hamley. I was literally sobbing my eyes out like 20 minutes ago and now I'm grunting ranch into the <laughs> microphone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I literally, <laughs> I literally can't <laughs> with, with like all of us sometimes. I legitimately fucking cannot. Teddy, hello, welcome in Raiders. How are you doing? Welcome in, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the chaos of the Hamley. I apologize for how I look. I just got done sobbing my eyeballs out. And now we're talking about <laughs> how good ranch is. <clears throat> ranch. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi, sexy. Hello. How are you? Welcome in. It's so good to see you. I apologize for the lack of fanfare. I normally have a big, loud raid alert, but I'm having a bad ear day. I'm very sick and I'm very emotional. So we are... We are just doing a low key stream today, but thank you so much for bringing your community in. I missed you, I missed you, how are you? I was lurking in one of your streams the other day because I never see you stream anymore and I got so excited. Uh, I cried, then I remembered I can buy myself, I can buy myself flowers. I don't need a fucking man. I like one. Ooh woo. Um, but yes, oh no, I hope you feel better. Thank you, thank you. How was your stream? What did you do? How was We Happy Few, by the way? That's been on my list for a hot minute. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you, Strider, for premeditating that fucking clip. <laughs> I appreciate you. Can I get a couple more shout outs for Teddy? Welcome in. It's so good to see you. And welcome in, Raiders. For those who don't know me, hello. I am Baby Bagel Ham. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a little bit of everything from first person shooters to action adventures. My favorite genre of games are horror and emotionally damaging indies that make you cry yourself to sleep at night. My current favorite games are Valorant, if you know, you know, uh, and GTA 5, that's Grand Theft Auto 5, in a 5M server roleplay setting, uh, which we will be getting back to a lot of GTA very shortly, you guys. We have some exciting news about GTA coming up very soon. Um, but, but, <clears throat> welcome in. We're happy to have you. If any of that sounds like your vibe, please feel free to stick around. Smash the follow button if you feel tempted to. 
Uh, and uh, while you're here, if you're planning on joining us, tell us what your favorite color is, your favorite video game, and your favorite fa flavor of Jolly Rancher. And yes, there is one true answer. You will be judged if you give the wrong one. So tread carefully. Welcome to my la my labyrinth of, of terror. Wah! What? I don't know who I am today. Wallet, I don't need a man, but like a certain part would be welcome. Yeah. Wallet? Cheddar? God damn it. No, I just sometimes I just... Sometimes I just like the cuddle. Uh, anyway. Okay, ma'am. Coming back now, ma'am. But yes, Teddy, how was we happy for you? I hope you had... It's a tearjerker. No, I'm loving it. I know you will too. I'm excited. Don't tell me it's a... I thought it was like spoopy. How is it a tearjerker? It's blue... Okay, blue... Blue raspberry is a close second. But the the only true answer is watermelon. I hate to say it. Uh, and Chetta, to answer your question earlier, it was the Humphrey cl clip. The missing Humphrey clip. So what, how did you know it's a guy thing? What's a guy thing? Wallets? You guys, I got a cute new wallet. It's all the way over there and I'm too lazy to get it, but it's cute. I promise. It's really cute. Oh, now I kind of want to show you. Fuck me, man. It's 20% spoopy, 80% sad, emotional, great characters. Yo, you know I love a good character. Fuck me. <laughs> Look how cute my wallet is. My wallet is cute and pink, so is mine now. I've noticed that the more I just, the more I live my life, the more I'm becoming Lexi. Oh, I was going to show you guys the inside, but then I realized like my driver's license and like all my personal info's in there. So, but like, <clears throat> oh, look how cute. You guys didn't see my credit card number, right? You didn't see my address, right? I didn't talk to myself, right? Also, I want to talk about how dirty they did me in my license photo. Please hold. How is Lexi? She's good. She is on a vacation right now. Uh, there's been some, um, there, the server hasn't been super active yet because we're waiting for an update to happen, but there's going to be so, a lot of Lexi action very soon. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay. Also, they did me fucking dirty. Look at this. Who is she? Who is that? That's not me. This, this photo was like six months ago. Who is she? How? She's so excited to be driving. No, I was so mad that I had to go renew my license. I was so fucking mad. Like I remember because I was like, no, what do you mean? Redeemed, who is she? Thank you. Hey, you, I'm back. Welcome back, Shay. How is that me? How is that me? Literally, I don't even look like the same. Like, you pull that out and you look at me, I don't. I don't look like the same fucking person. How do, How has this proved my identity to anyone? Hello? What? I have like 20 fucking chins in this picture. <laughs> I mean, what? Who said that? Like, who, who, who allowed that to be a thing? Hello? Oh my God. Anyway, my new wallet's really super cute, right? You like it? And it fits my phone. Look, I can put my phone in it. I have to show off all the cool, like, features. Please hold. Look, I can put my phone in. Okay, well, I could put my phone if my phone weren't a fucking garbage can today. Who are you calling? Nobody, thank God. Okay, because I'm not in the mood to talk to you right now. So. Okay. Um, I went to the DMV at 8 a.m. today and they had a sign on the door that says, sorry, we're closed. No, Justina, that's right. You were supposed to go to the DMV today. Fuck. Oh my God, I don't know her. Oh, that's not you. That's what I'm saying. I don't know her. Mine is bad too. I went ready to redeem myself in my new photos, you guys. And like, the thing is like, I didn't try in that picture. I didn't, I, fuck my wallet just fell. Uh, I didn't dress up. I didn't like do any of that shit. Like, I didn't care. I just wanted to get it done. Cause I was so fucking mad. It was making me so sick. It was in the middle of COVID. Like, you know, like, picture taken. Doesn't matter that people are dying. Come fucking do it. Fuck you ass. So like, I just went in and I just like, it was what it was. But like, it's not like I didn't not try. Like I at least made an attempt. There was an attempt there. 
and then I looked like that. So what's what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point? Oh my god. Do you plan on playing GTA 6? Yes. I don't know why I said yes. I plan on playing GTA 6. I don't know why I said it like that. Mine is too bad I went to ready to redeem myself. Oh god, I can't. Uh is that my high school teacher? Maybe? Is it? Do I look like your high school teacher? Am I old enough to be your high school teacher? God damn. Mine sucks too. I have like three chins in it and IRL, I only have two. Yes, that's what I'm saying, Nikkei. Like I only have two chins. Where did the other 18 come from in that photo? Okay, hello? Hello? Uh, my last license pick, I had the flu that day. No, straight I'm so sorry. <laughs> did you just look like you were death warmed over with glasses on? <laughs> For my permit, I just had terrible, painful ortho appointment. They didn't let me, they didn't tell me when to smile. Legit looks like a <laughs> mugshot. Jesus Christ, KK. No, I'm so sorry. I got a haircut for my picture so it would come out good for a change. And I had a cow like no one told me. Oh, shadow, no. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm glad that everyone else has like the license photo like trauma too though it makes me feel so much better oh raiders by the way i'm so sorry we got lost in the license photo talk if you need to raid and run i completely understand please 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 take care of yourselves grab something to eat something to drink do what you need to do to have the best possible saturday or sunday depending on where you're at in the world please 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 self-care comes first here in the hamley we believe that self-care is best care if you will uh, if you want to vibe with us, we are playing through the rest of this episode, uh, episode two for Life is Strange. We'd love to have you vibe with us. Uh, but if you need to rate and run, I completely understand. Just smash that follow button on your way out so you can come back and hang out with us anytime you'd like. We'd appreciate it. Uh, do any licensed photos, pics do anyone justice? I don't know, Kate. Yes, yes. Because some people look like certified hotties in their licensed photos. And I'm like, how did you make that happen? Did you bribe the photographer? Did you airbrush yourself? How did you, how? Like some people like literally hand over their license and I'm like, that's not you, but in a, in like the opposite direction, you know? Just want to make sure subs aren't triggering alerts right now, correct? Subs are, I think, but nothing like huge is right now, Cheddar. So we're, we're good. Yeah. Well, 22 year olds can be teachers. Shadow, how old are you? Am I old enough to be your, te your teacher? <laughs> When I hand my ID over, I look away. I can't bear. Yeah, I just, I just, my thing is I used to do when I was younger, I used to hand over my license. I was so, um, like, annoyed, like, I was so, like, worried and anxious that people wouldn't think my ID was me for some reason. So I would try to make, like, the exact same expression. So, like, I'd hand you a photo and then, like, they'd move it and I'd be, like, right behind it kind of thing. I was like so paranoid. <laughs> Cheddar! Thank you for the five. <laughs> warning, warning, warning. Thank you. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Cheddar? Thank you for the five gifted to Halen, Bad Wolf, Dapper Fox, The Big Hammer, and Jamie. If any of you guys are here, please say thank you. Enjoy the ad reviewing and the emotes on Cheddar. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Cheddar, who is indeed better? Like, vel like a fine Velveeta cheese spread across steak fries. What? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You're old enough to be my teacher? Ooh, ooh, wait, what? If I had a Zoom cam right now, Strider, you would be getting the full Zoom. You would be getting the full what? Right now. Right, but I don't, because we turned it off today. Uh <laughs> Ayo. Uh chat blow kisses. Blow kisses to chat up. Mwah. Thank you for the thank you for the gifties. I appreciate you. Um mm. Oh, I thought you said ma'am at first, and I was like, I stand by what I said. Imagine the Zoom. It would be so, I would do like one of these and then I'd one of those, those back up with the head tilted down and then what? That's, that would be the full zoom. But unfortunately we don't have zoom cams, so you don't get that to know. What? Anyway, you guys want to play Life is Strange? <laughs> we have been streaming for six hours and we're barely into chat episode two. Oh look, there's a crate! Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. Thank you again for the gifted chat. I appreciate the hell out of you. Oh yeah, your girl's having a rough day. <clears throat> the clothes have been transferred to my dryer. She's adulting. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for the one and only Justina, or as I call her, Guina Bean? Gu Guina Bean? 
My license photo looks like a mugshot, but I look good. Oh, like a sexy mug. Okay, so Alex is lucky. He has like a sexy mugshot. How's that fair? Okay. Well, I warned prior to it, so I'm in the... Yes, you did. You did, you did warn me prior. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, my ID has like a floating version of my face. Like what? So mine has that too. Okay, now I can take this. We did it. Uh, mine has like a weird like... Boom. Only three bottles left weird like holograph so pennsylvania uh to tell if a license so i actually had to learn all about licenses from different states and stuff like that because uh beyond repair rest in peace back in the day your girl used to work at a bank and she worked in loss prevention for a hot minute so i had to be able to look at a glance and see whether or not a license was real or not so i learned a lot about licenses but uh oh shit we're playing a game yeah we play games here did you did you not know that Oh, Nikkei. I'm so sorry. Man, the game is right. Life is strange. With all the topics we keep going, life is- life be fucking life in today, guys. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. 500. 500 fashions. Just for you and me, my friends. Um, no, yeah, we play games here by VT Dubs. Uh, I have no idea what I was saying before this. What is that? What does that mean? Is that like a zombie warning thing? Y'all got any bottles? Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. What were we talking about? License photos? I don't know. Either way, I love you all. Thank you all for all of your love today. I appreciate you. Uh, that dough is the perfect photo op. I don't think it's real. I think it's... I think it's not real. Because it looked like it was made out of, like... Vaporwave. Piece of clothing. Can I? This was an old school punk shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, licenses. There we go. I worked front door security at a bar once and had to check IDs. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. So uh so Pennsylvania's license has like a holographic version of your face in the background, and it just makes me feel fucking weird because ain't nobody wanna see the 20 chin fucking face in like holographic. No. License photos and you learning all about licenses from different states since you were at uh, LP and Vague. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the, the license that I just showed you guys, it has like a holographic version of my face uh, in the background. <laughs> I've only been here for like a year and a half. Give me a break. What do you mean you've only been here? No, stop. Stop it. You've been following for one year, seven months, and six days. Nah, you've been here over a year and a half. You should know better now. You should. A year and a half is the age when you should definitely know better. Done. I too have a holographic duplicate of my mu Yes, but is your does yours have 20 chins, Cheddar? That's the real question. Mine does. Are you jealous? So, a deer, a female She's deer. She's staring at me as if we have a connection. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Very. Okay, you can be jealous of me. I'm a slow learner. Okay, Nikkei, you get a one-time pass. You get an extra extended three-month period, but at one year, nine months, you should know better. So you got two months to figure that shit out. <laughs> what, are, what, is what is today? What is happening? All right, should I check my text message from Warren? Uh, <clears throat> oh, wow. He Okay. No worries about not going ape with me. Thought it would be cool to take a road trip to the new wheels. I'll just drive circles around town. Are you trying to gaslight and manipulate me, Warren? Because I'm not about that. Bitch. I'm sorry, Warren. Hard week. I still owe you. Yes, you do. <gasps> Let me know if you change your mind. Well, with that attitude, I definitely will not be. So suck it. <laughs> I like that she just sends back the sassiest fucking emote. <laughs> oh shit, it's been a year. <gasps> Chetta's been following for one year and 13 days. Okay, Chetta, you only have six months left to know better. So do with that what you will. Okay. There you go. It's been a fucking year. Holy shit. Would you rather have a pass or a piece of ass? A pass to what? Mayor, because that's the real question. A pass to what? Disneyland? Yes. Hall pass? 
Wait, no better than what? I'm screwed. You have you have six months to figure it out. You have six months to figure it out, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what today is. I don't know what you all have done to me. The vibe of this stream has been very, like... To Canada, Avi. Oh, yes. Oh, to Canada. Yes, because the mayor of Canada. Uh, then yes, I would like a pass to Canada. Thank you. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Did you just interrupt your own thought? I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. That's like ADHD on a whole new level. She just interrupted her own stream of consciousness. Ooh, bottle. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, bottle hunter. Can I use a lifeline, phone a friend? Yes. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. But for every lifeline you use, Chetta, you lose a month. So do with that information what you will. Thank you, Strider, for the hundred. Th thank you nope, for the gifted, Strider. Nikkei is so thankful. Nikkei mentions it every fucking stream. That's how you know Nikkei, like a real one, and super thankful to you, Strider. So thank you. Okay, I'll phone Bagel, please. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call from Chetta. <clears throat> Hello, this is Bagel. Lose a month of what? He has to figure that out. He loses a month of Canada. Is that the answer to everything now? Canada, obvi. <laughs> wow, Chetta, you're really terrible at talking on the phone. This man hasn't even said anything yet. What is this? I. What is it I'm supposed to figure out? You're supposed to figure out how to uh, act and assimilate into the Hamley. Is, is that, do you understand? Uh, I took three shots back to back. So EP now, I'm so sorry. Wait, I haven't yet. I don't know. You tell me. You have, you have six, you have five months. I'm hanging up. There you go. Chad is terrible on the phone, you guys. I'm just letting you know. Uh, <laughs> Strider deserves a one million thanks. Yeah, Strider deserves, Strider deserves a medal. <gasps> Hold on, someone put that in Discord for me. Three, yeah, three shots of what? And should I also take a shot? You will be assimilated. I will be assimilated into what? Wow, Chetta's like, what? Chetta's like, why do I, <laughs> he's like, wow, a year of being randomly attacked by a streamer on the internet. Great. Love it. Eat shit and live. Thanks okay. for the tip. Absorb him? Absorb who? Should I take a shot? Should I just get drunk and weepy for the rest of the stream? Is that what you guys want? Bro, if I knew I'd tell you some sort of alcohol, some family over and we all took shots and it wasn't no baby. I took multiple. I have no clue what it was. Rip. Rip Spartan, we hardly knew ye. About to meet. What is this? This is the scariest thing here. What is it? It's just a shirt? What is it? Is it a baby onesie? I can't tell what it is when it's all like... Stop it. Stop it. I don't know what it is. It's fine. No, no, one is good. No, that's code for have three more. There you go. Are you feeling up to drinking? If the answer is yes, then a shot is a good idea. If not, then I'll say it's a bad idea, so I'll go grab a shot myself. Okay, Chetta's having a shot, but I... Okay, so it just... It depends, because um, I... F yes, I'm, score. I could do, like, a little shot. Yes, score. Maybe a few without dying. Can I take it? Hello? Um, but one also... But also, I'm also a little weepy today, so I just... I could end up being very weepy. I could just end up crying for the rest of the stream. And I need to know if that's what you guys want. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Both. Neither? Just a psychopath. So I don't want to go that way. Okay. God damn, Max. I'll take a shot later if y'all are drinking. We drinking? Family? We drinking? The Hamley that drinks together stays together. Juliet plus Zachary equals love I know forever. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Not anymore. She's banging the other Trevor. There's 
No motto. Okay. Certainly not goth. Yeah. Certainly not goth. Or on the side of caution. Hmm. Maybe. Not gonna lie. I Irished my cold away. Rum is the best medicine. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna Irish my cold away. Even though I'm Swedish and Spanish. I'm gonna Swedish and Spanish my cold away. I'm gonna drink horchata and then fucking build flat packing furniture about it. All right. I'm gonna go get a shot. You're like, just started, she's like, here we go. <laughs> Joining to watch friends have a good time while I hang upside down like a bat. Wait, what? All right, you're Spanish. Yeah. Sw sw Spanish. Ole. I'm technically like, I'm like 30 something percent Spanish, 30 something percent Swedish, 30 something percent German, and then like a little bit of Irish and French. I'm just a little bit of everything. Horchata and meatballs. Some might call it speedish. <laughs> ole. Ole! Um, yeah, do I want to... I want to go do that? Spang it. Yeah, that's why I have the round Norwegian girl face, but also all of the dark hair and... Like, dark eyes, dark hair. I'm, I'm speedish. I'm speedish. I'm too many things. I feel that. Spankish. Oh. It's been the only thing that's helped my throat. It's really working. Okay. All right. Fuck me. Okay, we're gonna go get shots. Hold on. Over. I turn around and Maisie's just sitting there watching me get stumble shots. Oh, damn, I gotta watch this. What are you doing? Uh, anyway, hi. Can you freak you guys down? I'm gonna drink one cup. Can you guys hear me? Did you guys hear me at all? Did you? Nora Bagel left while I was gone. What do you mean? Did she go? I did go get some drinks. I went and got two shots of tequila. I want to do a 23 me just for it to tell me I'm the whitest person alive. Same. Let's do it. Okay. We would it. <clears throat> All right. Tom Petty is the whitest person alive. How do we know that for sure, though? For real, for real. On God. Yes, I did go get drinks. You're being petty. Tom Petty. Yes, that's me. I agree on the method, but I'll trade rum for whiskey. I like to think the burning is a cold melting. Is the cold melting? Well, we're going to find out. I'm just putting some sort of alcohol in my body, and I'm hoping that it's going to kill all of the germs in there. Um... And if not, well, then I guess I'm just getting drunk and I'll have regrets tomorrow. But thankfully, I will have Justina to drive me around tomorrow while I have a hangover. Thank you in advance, Justina. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Justina? Hmm? 
Uh, why why are you shouting? Go find more boots. Spraider, please. Spraider, you ask a valid question. Spartan, why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Valo is mean, though. Ain't nobody got time for that. We love Valo, though. We play. Are we, are we gonna go play Valo? Why are you quitting the fam family like five times? What did I miss today? Yeah. I could, but life is strange. Oh, my God. Oh, life is strange, but also chaotic. Hashtag let's go ape. No. Just the family making the wrong poll choices. God damn. Why do people in Alabama love PB&J? Because it's inbred. Oh, I know. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. KK, I'm with you on these polls. Yes, girl, I went to go eat and you're still streaming. Yeah, Peyton. We got we to gotta get our emotional damage in. How else are we going to get emotionally damaged? And welcome back. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, prescriptions may vary from person to person. I had no idea rum was gluten-free. I'm glad that was an option for you. Wait, gluten-free rum? <gasps> What? It's literally science. I did 23 and me and people have insisted I look Italian. It turns out I'm only 3% Italian. <gasps> Hungarian. I don't know. I just felt like shout Are you Hungarian? Uh, Justina, you mean my twin? Yes. I yell because I care. I have 17 places listed in my DNA and two of those places are abroad. So more countries to come. Nice. This drink was brought to you by Justina. Thank you, Justina. Everyone, Justina, thank you. Welcome in advance. Thank you. Slovak. Ah, okay. There we go. We got emotional damage without the game. Yeah, I just started crying. Wasn't that fun? You guys want me to cry some more? Was that good for you? Because it wasn't good for me. Going to the gym. Bye, Hamley. Bye, Shay. I love that Shay's like, hey, guys, I see you're all making terrible choices and taking shots. I'm going to go to the gym and live my best life. Bye, Shay. We love you. Thank you for the lurking. Lurk. Be back later. Hopefully you're still on. Oh, I'll be here till at least the end of the episode. Anyway. At least. Two out of three bad choices. One of which because the poll was tied and the coin flip was bad. Sacrifice Spartan for that one. Yes. I'll be back to drink. Sounds good. All right. Who's shooting with me? And by that, I mean taking a shot. All right. <clears throat> I have two shots of tequila. I added a little bit of lime juice in there. Spice it up a little bit. Try and uh, make sure that we're not dying. Uh, what episode are we on now? Oh, uh, still on episode two. It's just taking us forever because that's how we do. Tequila is not vodka. I don't have vodka, Alex. Vodka kills me. I also cried. It's okay. It's okay. If we'll do a shot with you later. Yeah, I'll do another shot when you get back. How's that sound? Lime. I put the lime in my tequila shot and mix it all up. Okay, who's ready? One. That is tequila. And two. Uh-huh. Oh, the first one went down smooth. The second one, not so much. Hello, Raiders. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Welcome in, Komodo. How are you doing? Welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing? I hope you had a fantastic stream. What did you do? What did you play? Tell me all about it. And welcome in. Hi. For those who don't know me, I'm Baby Bagel Ham. <clears throat> I just took two shots of tequila. So I apologize. I'm a little out of sorts. We're having an emotional damage day. I'm a, I'm a little all over the place. I apologize. Uh, hello, Polya. How is Polya? I've never played. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. I mixed tequila with some sparkling blackberry water. Would mix again. Ooh, that sounds good. Actually, that sounds low key. That sounds like a low key slap straighter. Uh, but welcome in, Raiders. I hope you had a fantastic time hanging out with Komodo Bone. For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Baby Bagelham. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a little bit of everything from first person shooters to action adventures. My favorite genre of games are horror and emotionally damaging indies that make you cry yourself to sleep at night. So if that sounds like your vibe, please feel free to smash the follow button. You can hang out with me and my amazing community, the Ham Fam, anytime you'd like. We'd love to have you. Uh, can I get a couple shout outs for Komodo if I have any mods available? Please and thank you, Hamley, if you would like someone who plays a variety of games, including Palia. I've also seen them play. Uh, a little bit of everything all over. Uh, make sure you go check out Komodo next time they're live. Please, Ian. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the alert, KK. I appreciate you. Enjoy your food? Dinner? Dinner time? Is it dinner time for you? I'm assuming. I'm just making assumptions. I'm an ass, though. Y'all didn't tell me we drank in tonight. Crimson, go get a shot. Also, welcome in. How you doing? It's good to see you. I just took two shots of tequila. They will kick in shortly. And then I will be, as my friends like to call me, two tequila Lexi, and you're all going to hate it. They don't call me to Tequila Lexi for nothing. 
Have you ever fried your vodka? What? I spilt my lemonade? No, Miss Mary, no. Uh, but welcome in. Raiders, if you're planning on sticking around, let me know. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite video game? And what's your favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher? You will be judged on that final answer. Trust me, I am in a mood. But if you need to raid and run, I completely understand. Please grab something to eat, something to drink, do what you need to do to have the best possible Saturday or Sunday, depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, and we thank you so much for coming in with that raid. Thank you. Thank you. Going to grab some pizza. I knew it. It's like I knew your soul. What? Red on Jolly Rancher? Which red, though? It's important to know, Komodo. I tried lemonade on my titties for no reason. Ugh, I don't have a Zoom cam. Are you sure about that? Uh, anyway, yep. Anyway, enjoy your pizza. Cherry? Okay, cherry's okay. It's no watermelon. I'm kidding. I'm drunk now, guys. Welcome to me being belligerent while playing Life is Strange. Who's ready? Life, life is strange, isn't it? Oh no, the controller drift is back. The controller drift is back. The drift is back. Look at this. So you are to drink Amy status right now? Possibly. Look, you guys, the controller's drifting. You guys, the controller's drifting. I'm, I'm definitely not the one doing this. This is the controller drift. Oh my God, am I already drunk? Did I miss the raid song dance? Uh, no, you did not. AZ Girl Gaming, welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, the raid dance is not happening today because I am currently... Stop it. The case. She's gonna exorcist vomit. <laughs> uh, no, we are not doing... This is a... Uh, we're doing a no alert stream uh, because I am very, very sick today. Uh, and I am having kind of an emotionally damaging day, so we are doing no alert stream. But I appreciate you bringing in the entire community, and there will be lots of raid da uh, dances hopefully next week if I'm feeling a little bit better. Knock knock. Hello all. Welcome back, Andy. Chloe was here, and Rachel was here. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. No, just don't, Max. Don't insert yourself. Look, just because your best friend has a another friend. Does not mean you need to insert yourself into everything, okay? Calm your titties, Max. Oh, you don't have any. That's why. You can't calm them. That was mean. You've got nice tits, Max. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Vortex Club this block party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. <gasps> Shakus. Block party. 328.13 Arcady Bay. DJ Irish Bacon. So true, so true. For real, for real. I think she enjoyed her tequila shots. Me? No. Should I do another one? How about this? How about this? How about this? I'll do two more. Tequila shots. But I'll wait a little bit. So that I don't die. Right? Got it. Oh, knock the- Oh. <clears throat> Who's there? Wait it out. Wait what out? I want to die. Oh. Jeez. Who wrote this? Do, do, yes. Hike. Hiccups. Hike who? Unsuspecting bagel. Andy waiting with bated breath sets the perfect trap. <laughs> Did you, did you just write a fucking haiku? <laughs> that genuinely just fucking got me. I can't, I can't. That literally just fucking ended me. Oh, Rachel kicked Chloe's ass. I already wrote two haikus in one of Bagel Streams. That's right, you did. Everyone write a haiku right now. I want haikus. That kind of hurts. Bring to me... Okay, Max, simmer your fucking tea kettle. Simmer your soup. Settle your tea kettle. Just because they had friendship bracelets doesn't mean you're not a valued friend. And also, you left. Okay, hold on. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. So it's probably Rachel's. I wrote it. You wrote it. Nice. How do we go from another one to two more? You know, I like to uh, do what the kids call gaslight myself. I like to girl boss myself and I like to gatekeep myself. So we're going to have three more shots. We can still put in our dancing emotes. Yes, we can. Ready, Kiko? Dance. We're dancing. 
no, I only passed high school English because the because the teacher liked me. Nice. That's awesome. Yes, yes. Wait till those ones make it into your body. I think they're already in my body. Paper ball. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it. Maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. Oh? Tea? Uh, nope. What do you mean, Kaylee? What do you mean? What? A dung beetle walked into a bar and asked, is this stool taken? Is that actually like a haiku? I like how we used to think that a friend having another friend meant we weren't friends anymore. So silly. It, it It's it's like it is very much an immaturity thing, because like as much as I want to be like, I was never like that. Middle school bagel definitely did have those moments where it was like, oh, we're not friends anymore because you have a new friend. And it's just like it's very sad because like like you can tell when people haven't grown up a little bit because they get very threatened by other friendships. Uh, shots, tequila shot. Bagel drinks with the ham fam shots. Tequila sh <laughs> Did she write a haiku about tequila shots? Shots. Tequila shots. Bagel drinks with the ham fam. Shots. Tequila shots. Beautiful. Love it. This is a haiku, duh. The ham fam is the best peeps. I love them also. Aww. The stool as in like a stool sample? What? Who said that? Oh, poop. <laughs> poop. I get it. Yes, okay. C, I'm assuming that's Chloe. You can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to find it when I'm not around so we never have to talk about it. And I don't want you to hate me. Where to start? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame vortex club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. Kind of scary, not in a bad boy way. He's just experienced some serious shit. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking. Maybe I know you're right and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you'd give me that stink eye and grill me for every stupid detail. If I even told you that last night we hooked up near campus. <gasps> oh no. Hooked up. I failed statistics by three points and the teacher did not pass me, so I dropped out of school. Kiko, no. But look at you now! You're doing so good. Photos? They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Oh, are you having FOMO because you decided to be a bad friend? Uh-uh. Sounds like the consequences of your actions. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Why are you so jealous? Rachel song. Why are you so obsessed with Rachel? Uh, graffiti. Fuck you. Ouch. Yes, you. Me? Fuck me? All right. I'm obsessed. All right. Uh, did I look at this already? I want to die. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, bottle. Gee. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek. I did it. I got the fifth bottle. That's horrible. Yes. God, I love this game, but Max gets on my nerves. This bottle booty to Captain Chloe. She's uh she's very dorky. Oh, I got a message from Kate. Please hold. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything, but no, what is happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is not, that is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XO, talk to you later. Baby Kate. Our beautiful baby Kate. Okay, eventually we're going to have to go through like all the journal and shit too. Okay, where, actually we're going to do that now before I forget about it. Okay, so next page. October 8th. I woke up this morning a different person, even if nobody knows yet. After yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray cray, as Victoria might say, events at Blackwell, I might, I have to assume everything is different now. And I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. Well, Kate still feels bad about certain chat decisions, possibly. 
I was such a shit student. I couldn't have, I couldn't have had normal half day senior life. I had to make up everything at the end. I kind of was the same way, Nikkei. I had to retake a lot of classes like my senior year. Uh, I ended up going from like, like a very like, like, like a CD student when I was like in early high school. I had a lot of sh like terrible shit happen to me like early in my high school years too. Uh, but like by my senior year, I ended up pulling a 4.0 all year long. It was like, f like I did like a complete 180. And now I'll be starting a new job next week with my first bachelor's degree. See, Kiko, you can always turn it around. You're the best around. But, well, I technically dropped out because of burnout from having to work full-time with school at full-time, but not have passing statistics kept me on the academic probation list and got me having a bunch of letters telling me if I didn't do this or that, I would be kicked out of school, so I burnt out. But yeah, dropping out has been a big rest for me. I'm proud of you, though. And now I'll be starting a new job next week with my first bachelor's degree. You're doing so good. Uh, protect Kate. We will always protect Oh my god, Kiko, that's too much. My GPA was like 1.3. Yeah. Mine, uh, mine was very low. I had a lot of shit going on. Uh, your, your, your bagel has been through it her entire life. Which is why, objectively, when I told you guys earlier that it's like I have two people living inside my body, how there's like a higher plane of consciousness that knows everything is going to be okay, it's because I've been through shit and I've survived everything this world has thrown at me so far. So I know everything's gonna be okay, but then there's also the little bagel inside of me who's like, <laughs> who just wants to like cry and uh, not have to do anything ever. ADHD took me from being a 4.0 high honors AP kid to graduating with like a 1.7 GPA by senior year. You did so good, Justina. You graduated though. What's a GPA even? Exactly. In high school, I was a good student because I love being at school because I didn't have to be babysitting and cleaning. So that's why I got only got an ADHD diagnosis now. I feel that. <gasps> oh no, guys, the tequila shots are working their way through my body. <sighs> I woke up this morning a different person. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, after Chloe dropped me back off at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local media lot made a lot of large. Oh my God, I'm drunk already. But the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Not being Warren, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point, I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need my, to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. Sass. I graduated and that meant enough my parents didn't. Yeah, there you go, Nikkei. That's all that matters. You did better. You did You did best by yourself, ma'ams. Oh my God, which was stupid because I had higher than average SAT scores and superior state test scores. Yeah, but I was happy. Yeah, I was just happy to graduate. I know, it's, People don't understand. Whoa, did Max draw that image of her and Chloe? I'm going to assume so. She may be like a talented uh, artiste. Haunted artiste. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give back Kate's book or I had still had to give Kate's book back. So I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed like some emo goth den. She's so young emo. And Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was just crying in the dark and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist mystery. I think, can we look at this game from like, the viewpoint that maybe Max is a little bit of like a narcissist. Like the way her journal reads sometimes. And like the way, like, yeah, we're supposed to be adults, whines about her friend having another friend. That's what I'm saying. Like, like she's like very like her centric. 
Like it see it feels like every like even like the sympathy she gives to like Kate feels almost false. If that makes sense. She's an artist, of course she's a narcissist. Justina. Justina. But like, but like, hey, my friend's in misery. And the first thing I thought was, wow, I really wish I could take a photo of this because it would suit me. Like if, if my friend, like if I saw Kate and Kate is my friend, if like, if I swapped in one of my friends for Kate in that scene, the last thing I would do is one, be going through all her shit. And I know I controlled that, but still, like, she, look, Max is a nosy bitch. Like I wouldn't be like, oh, I wish I could take a photo of her and I wouldn't have left her. Like, I wouldn't have been like, hey, Kate, I'm going to give you like a two minute pep talk and then go have breakfast with another friend. I would have seen the state she was in. I would have called Chloe and been like, reschedule breakfast. I don't have time for this. My friend is in a bad place. I'm going to stay with her. I would have stayed. I would have cleaned up her room because it was disgusting in there. And then I would have talked to her. I would have gone with her to the police or the or the academic board or the principal or whoever. But I wouldn't have fucking left her. Like, that's not what friends do. Also, this owl sticker behind my camera is so fucking cute. Can I show it to you guys really quick? Look how cute that is. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, but like, I just, I feel like she's not genuinely like a good or likable person. And maybe I don't have the authority to judge her. And yes, I understand people are flawed. But like, has anyone ever really like like thought of this game in the in like like from the perspective that like Max doesn't really give a fuck cuz it feels like it it feels like Max only gives a fuck about the things that's like affect her directly Max is definitely a narcissist and that's why I love the end of this game it clocks it yeah I had Taco Bell for dinner are you proud of me D I'm so proud of you Taco Bell for the win I had nuggies but now I kind of wish I had Taco and welcome in. I just took two shots of tequila, so we're, things are about to get lit. Also, my desk is sticky because I accidentally spelled tequila all over it. Cool. Yeah, you're living moss. Yeah, it depends. What did you eat? Yes. Bitch, her photo for Everyday Heroes contest is literally pick up. I know. I know. Yay for eating. Yes. <gasps> Hiccups. I'm so sorry. Bagel cleaned my house when I was down and out once. Y'all, she means to hurt that shit for real. Shh, ma'am. You were, you were in a bad place and you needed help. So I was there for you. At least I tried to be. So shove it. Shove it. Um, I had their new chicken crispinata thingy and cheese quesadilla and Baja Blast Free. Oh, Blast Blast Freeze. Yes. So a teenager. Yeah, but like, uh, that's true, Johnny. I guess are all teenagers narcissists? Bagel let me scream cry under her ear for like an hour. She does mean that shit for it. No, stop. I'm just me. Get out of here. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, I'm saying hypothetically, not me, but I'm just saying hypothetically, I feel like if someone were like a decent friend, like, this, this isn't the real, like, I, she shouldn't have gone to like hang out with Chloe. I think this game does a great job of showing selfishness and how narrow sighted humans can be, especially in our youth, regardless of character. That is true. Cause I don't think Matt, objectively, I don't think Max is a bad person. I just think she makes decisions that suit her and what her she wants in at that time as opposed to what others may need if that makes sense uh and i'm sure if we didn't live on the opposite side of the country i bet the same but look your girl likes to help very teen it's very teen brain it makes me sad anyway sorry we're going back into this um anyway after wanting to take a picture of her depressed friend kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER, and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. That video doesn't help her case at all, and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I'm actually doing besides getting myself into more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. And, and then you're right. You know what? You're right, Pay, because here she is, like already like framing herself as the everyday hero in her mind. Oh my God. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Ugh, Warren. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I feel like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after I just we just left him in the lot. 
I do a Warren. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space. But ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would just want to marry me immediately just so he could have his own human time machine. Or capture me for scientific experiments or make me go to the drive-in with him. <laughs> oh wait, he did try and get me to go to the drive-in with him and I refused. I'm really not in the mood this week and also I don't want to lead him on. Boom. Hello? Oh my god, this controller drift is a nuisance. Okay. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtracked ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrops to play, a pirate, old ships, and a big ocean. Chloe was late, duh, so I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. I have a piece of cat hair on my face. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip about not staying in touch. <sighs> Where is it? After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What could I say? I can see actually I can actually see she actually loves David, even if I don't so no see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief though. I wish I had a frozen pizza sag. It has frozen pizza. Yo. All teenagers are narcissists because every big moment in the is the end of the world to them. Okay, fair enough, Johnny. Maybe I just forget what it was like to be a teenager because I was so over my own bullshit by the time I was done with it. Just now learning to understand uh, be how to understand other people's perspectives. That's true. I like, I got a zit the day before prom. My life is ruined. God, imagine being upset. I still get zits today. I still get acne today. Imagine. Imagine letting acne go ruin your entire life. Yes, bitch, the world revolved around my ass when I was a teenager, even though I was still the glue rock mom friend of all my friend groups, was kind of people that were often bullied and do, do morally horrible shit. I was still all about me. That's a good point. I mean, I think in her mind, she really thinks she's doing the right thing. That is true. I just always thought it was funny. All the other picks for the contest were like doctors and firemen, and then you see a big ass picture of Max. That's true. That's like a wild. Imagine thinking you can investigate something and get someone in trouble and put them in jail all by yourself, telling your friends not to go to the authorities. Kiko, this is what teenagers do. They're fucking wild. I wish you were there for my vote earlier. Oh, it's going to be okay. KK. KK, it can't hurt you anymore. Everything is going to be fine. Everything will be fine. We can fix this. We can fix this. We can fix this. Anyway, so much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up, more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in the bathroom yesterday. Makes me happy to see her smile. But that smile meant trouble since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to go, she still had to get pissed off at me, because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was happy I answered, and I, Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. She's all like, Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once and then keeps getting upset over all of the Rachel Amber bullshit. Max, you flawed creature. Oh my God. Okay, hold on, did I miss something? Objective, I have to give the bottles to Chloe. Did I miss a page? It's like, there's like a star there. Maybe. Joyce. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again. Especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind. One you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, 
what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Ah. There we go. We gotta go to the lack of self-awareness. She's learning. She's learning. Did you know all experience people experience different things? Yes. So it's all about perspective. Also, everything hurts. But that vote can hurt us. It could. Yes. When I was a teen, nothing was about me. But then again, I grew up in a traumatic household. But I do remember my friends being all about them. Like my friend who hated her that her dad, a trucker, would call to make sure she all is good and just to say he loved her. Oh, see, Kiko, I think you and I had similar upbringings because I would have killed for that. Instead, I had a dad who came and stole my car in the middle of the night. <laughs> we'll, <t> we'll talk about it later. Uh, oh, there's a boat! So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Like, I would have given a lot to have the have that and teen friends were selfish. Yeah, that's true, Kiko. Lack of, yes. I'd like to imagine wrote, Max wrote that journal entry right next to Chloe in the car, so she definitely saw her write it. Canonically, I also wish for that now too, Johnny. Canonically, I hope she wrote all of this next to Chloe. If I was a worm, would you still love me? I don't know if I'd love you, but I wouldn't hate you. I like worms. They're cute. I like, I like, I go out of my way to save worms from puddles and stuff. I don't want them to drown. I mean, honestly, this game came out when I was a teen and I thought Max was the best, so maybe I was also the problem. <laughs> I think we all are the problem when we're kids. <laughs> That's my Chloe. Your Chloe? Thanks, Max. I should have water. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Okay. Max. You have to help me aim. Oh, I hate these. Oh, I hate Show these. Show me the way, Max. Remember when I had to do I this in fucking Walking Dead and it sucked? Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, you need to go a little to the right. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. There we go. I oh, love worms, yes. yes. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. I love again. I love that Chloe's wasting the powers on this. Her own teenagers are the worst. Say, I had a dad that said he loved me for the first time when I turned fourteen and then nineteen, and both times I threw up from how gross it made me feel. Like, why don't? Why now when you haven't been in my life? Oh, I'm so sorry. I my mom used to like just say and do horrible shit to me, and then would tell me she loved me afterwards. And when I like, if I didn't like reciprocate because like she had just said like a bunch of terrible shit to me. Like, if I didn't go, I love you, too, or say I love you back, she would be like, why won't you tell me you love me? Do you understand how, like, do you understand? I had a mother who never told me she loved me. At least you have a mom that loves you. And I would, like, I, I always knew that, like, that's not love. Like, I always knew as a kid, I was like, that, like this isn't love. Like, that's that's not love at all. And I just, I would, like... I was just like, I would get like the biggest fucking ick from her. So like, sometimes if I felt like fighting, I just wouldn't say it back. But then most of the time I'd just be like, I love you too. I would never have to ask soulmate just yet. <laughs> I try my best to not be soggy. Don't eat soggy worms. Yeah, as long as you're not a soggy worm. Welcome back, Shropy. How you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, and then the stepdad who tried to steal my savings for college that they that were in a college only account like you literally have to prove you're paying college to take out the money because he wanted to buy a car for my brother like boy you are rich you don't need my thousand dollars i'm so sorry can we kill her or no you don't need to she's not in my life i haven't spoken to her in like over a decade we're fine we're she's gone the the evil witch is gone uh did we share the same mother we might have kitty we might have was mine, yours, and Kitty's hippie chick the same mom time traveling? Possibly? <laughs> Just time traveling throughout the ages, raising a bunch of wounded women who would have to kind of be like, Ugh, over and over. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to, hey, to anyone who had parents like that, trust me, I'm in that boat with you and I completely understand. It's, I'm so sorry. I am Bax. Welcome Bax. Bax to Cali Cali, Nikki. 
The only way I wouldn't love someone is if they were a thousand liker. They then I'd have to run away. Yo, my mom was just an alcoholic and drug addict. I'm sorry, Peyton. Okay, irrelevance is yeah, irrelevance is yeah, irrelevance is it's fine. She's she's irrelevant. She doesn't matter. So fucking cool. She doesn't matter. Now for the second bottle. None of that matters. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Gotta aim up a little bit, sweetheart. Now, Max, where do I aim? Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Yo. That was just- out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Why are you like this? Um, that would be wild parent trap moment Give finding out in stream. Nuts. That would be. Like, what in the parent trap? Uh. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to show Hello, you. Hold on. I, I want to show you guys an Easter egg, I think. It's not an Easter egg, but it's like. Fine, since you. Okay, no, hold on. Wait, hold on. Give me something to shoot, Is it the Max. Barrel? Hold Let's on. see you take a crack at that rusty Hold on. Barrel. Watch this. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet feet. Shit. I don't think that was it. Hold on. Hold on. Which one is it? Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! There's like shit. There's like one if nice you tell her to shoot it. I think the now bullet bounce bounces that back and hits like... her. Like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How if I remember that correctly. For a target now? I feel like there's Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I feel like if you tell her to like shoot something in particular, well, like it Max, bounces back and hits her. Put a dent in that front bumper. Wait, what? Cool bumper. Ugh, I shot myself! Back up! Back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. So, like, um, <laughs> imagine, like, the first time you're playing this game and you have no fucking context. I literally lost my shit. I was like, no! 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 <laughs> like, I lost my shit realizing that, like, it bumps, it bounces off and shit. Fucking hits her. I lost my shit. Now I'm laughing because I might be a psychopath, but also I've had a lot of tequila. Uh, I think I'm more shit because I have parents behind me. What do you mean you think you're so more shit? You're not more shit because you have parents behind her. Doesn't she have limited use of that power? That's what I'm saying, Kiko. Why are we using it from beer bottles? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, kitty. I'm so sorry. I was already an adult when I got into my teens. It's wild how those years are so different for everyone. Hugs. Like, yes. Yeah. I was already an adult by the time I was like fucking 12. And it, it sucks. And like, I wish I like, I think that's why I'm so like childlike now because like I didn't have a chance to like live and like do all the stuff that I wanted to do when I was younger so that I'm trying to do it all now. So bagel. What do you mean? I remember that. What do you mean? You should have shot the car. I know that's an Easter egg. Yes, there it was. Yep, I remember that. Well, the kick. <laughs> Nikki's like, well then. Uh, I didn't speak to my mother for 11 years before her death. And she passed in 1991. I only went to her funeral because my beloved father asked me to. Otherwise, I've gone to her bar and gotten drunk. Not gonna lie, but I stayed sober. I'm proud of you, Kitty. And I'm sorry to hear that, honestly. To anyone who's going through a difficult family situation, just know that I am here. Uh, I went through it myself, uh, so I completely understand. And remember to take care of yourselves. Please, please, please. Girl, come on. Ricochet to the chest. Yes. Well, that's the sixth time you had Chloe shot. What do you mean? It's the sixth time I've had Chloe shot. Nah. Most of our generation is childlike and we don't care. No, I don't give a fuck. YOLO. I, honestly, I made the decision when I was younger that like, I'm a Toys R Us kid. I don't want to grow up. I'm an adult. I pay my bills. I take care of my shit. Everything's taken care of. But also, if I have the choice between, hmm, what am I going to do on this fine afternoon? Am I am I gonna research 401ks? No, nah, I'm gonna play a video game. Because I want it. We need to grow up. What do you mean we need to grow up? We're fine. Let's be responsible. I what do you see, but here's the thing. Define responsibility. Let's invest in stocks. What if you already have a stock portfolio? Hmm? Hmm? 
Uh, Bagel, I can say you and I are similar in the way we act and talk and laugh. Maybe we are related. Nothing would surprise me. It's possible. Anything is possible. Like, what if you already have a stock? What if you already have a stock portfolio? And still want to, let's go to business, go to business meetings. I do. I went to three on Thursday. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> All right, everyone, let's go into the Hamley van. We're going to Bebby's so she can make us all egg rolls and tell us we're doing great. Or special bananas. Banker leaves. Yeah, Johnny's triggered now. Banker leaves the chat. I've been stalking. So you've been stalking? Who, me? Hey, yo. Go to seminars. I have been to seminars. Yeah, damn, y'all have stonks. Fuck you. I literally don't know how to adult. I call my older sister and brother-in-law for advice like three times a week. You know what? That's a fair answer. Like, you don't have to know everything. You just have to know someone who knows everything. I swear to God, this controller drift is going to fucking ruin me. Play less games? No. Never going to happen. Invent <laughs> invest in stocks. I have $3. I have $10 in my wallet, which I found when I was cleaning up my office. So I'm feeling pretty fancy right now. <laughs> the special banana was fucking sick. It was so good. I want a special banana. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Oh, lawyer returns. I suggest we don't discuss our finances in a place with a time traveler. Oh, that's true. Yeah, don't well, discuss your Max, don't discuss your finances. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. Welcome back. Better run for cover. What the birds? Yet the bottle remains. Oh, I gotta have you bounce it. Why does everything have to be a trick shot? Jesus Christ, Chloe. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Okay. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. Jabron more likely was alone. Jabron's just trolling. My best friend is a superhero. Jabron's just trolling. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. No, she's gonna die. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Yeah, this is what happens when you do bullshit, Chloe. I did my taxes for the first time last year. And when I tell you, I thought I was gonna have a breakdown because I didn't know what to do. Honestly, the best thing I can tell you to do is when you're trying to learn how to do things like on your own for the first time, take it slow and research everything. Just research everything. I thought you could explode it. The car, Kiko. I would have taken out everyone and we would have all, we would have all died. Oh, everyone's stretched. My back hurts. I'm sure your back are all hurt. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? No. A little. Oh. Thanks for helping me. Stretch. Just oh. give me a minute. Stretch, bitches. Stretch. Too much action for Arcadia? A little bit. Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Okay. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. You can go, ch you can go chat Chloe up, huh? Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. I don't think there's anything else for us to explore. We explored everything first. There we go. Uh, okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? No, I'm afraid of oh, you getting boo -boo. shot again. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. Bitch. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. She's such a bitch. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough. What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. 
I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? No. Don't cut me, bitch. Please. Max! Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that up. The chat, let's talk. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, I'm letting you make all the major decisions in this game. The outcome of the game is going to depend on what you choose. There is a poll up at the top. You have five minutes to answer. Uh, if you do not see the poll, make sure you refresh the chat. You get to decide what the next move is. And while we do that, <laughs> I said, sure, he's like, I stepped away for two minutes. What the fuck? You investigate things, things escalated quickly. Anyway, let me, let me catch up on chat. Uh, yeah, I have major anxiety and get overwhelmed. It's one of those times I wish my parents had taught me how to do adult things. I wish everyone's parents had taught them how to do anything remotely adult pay. Trust me, I get that. Um, as someone who also gets major anxiety, for me, something that makes my anxiety go away is knowledge because knowledge is power. If I have the answer, I'm less likely to get anxious about things, at least, at least to a larger degree. Uh, I also, I might still get like a little bit anxious, but at least having the information on my side makes me feel a little bit better. So research, research everything, take your time, literally, like it, you don't need to rush anything. If you're, a, if you get anxious or overwhelmed with anything, do tons of research, ask for help, ask people for answers, look online, go to a library, do what you need to do. But once you have more information, you'll feel a little less anxious and then you can at least make a more informed decision regardless. So Chloe is such a cute name though. I do love the name Chloe. It's a really nice, it's really nice. Also, chat, I recommend do not replicate what these two girls are doing in game. Firing a gun, even in a garbage dump, may be illegal. Thank you, lawyer attorney at chat, Johnny. Who's this creepy dude? That's what I'm saying. Frank got that fucking, and I swear you don't have to go. <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe, maybe a little. I say don't shoot. It's probably empty. I mean, possibly. Who knows? Chat, let's talk. Yes. Holy crap, here we go again. Yep, voted. Thank, thank you for the vote, kitty. Uh, let's not attempt murder, possibly. Shooting him has to go, has got to have consequences. Maybe. And welcome back, Shay. How's the gym? Narcissists do sometimes end up murdering, though. That is true. That is true. I'm always a person that needs to show everything at the moment or needs to know everything at the moment. I understand that, Jerome, because like as someone who loves knowing everything, I love being a little know-it-all. Uh, I, too, like to have all of the everything like right at that time. But sometimes life just doesn't work out that way. You know? Chat needs more murder. Nikki! Nikki James Cat. Ain't no way you're advocating for murder right now. It would be on brand for Max to tell Blue Hair Girl to help bury the body to prove they're still best <laughs> besties. Keep going fucking down. And rely on credible sources, please. Validate everything. Yes, that too. Credible sort. Credible is the keyword there. <laughs> Uh, Strider, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Kitty Hippie Chick. Kitty, enjoy the ad of reviewing and the emotes courtesy of Strider. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Strider Night? And Kitty, enjoy. What do you guys think? While we're here, by the way, you guys have about two minutes left to vote. Uh, if you haven't voted already, but make sure you refresh so you can see the poll at the top. What do you guys think about me changing? Because uh, I was I was talking to some friends the other day. I'm I'm gonna pl I'm planning on changing a lot of my alerts. Um for the stream and i'm thinking i'm like not that i want to go completely like stepped down but i'm thinking about like making some of the alerts a little less hypey like that so that way i don't have to turn the alerts off during certain games and stuff like that and so i can keep a lot of them like if i pare a lot of them down or just like step them down a little bit you know does that make sense not the corn alert no i could never take away corn I know you would all kill me if I took away corn. But like, you do, how do we feel about like, li like a little, like a step down, like a, so, like, th like alerts that are like a little less obtrusive, but then I could add more that are more hypey as well. 
Like I just, I'm thinking of changing things up a little bit. I don't know. I, I'm, I feel like you guys are bored of me. If you want me to be completely honest, to go along with the, to go along with the, uh, the trauma talk from earlier, I feel like y'all, I feel like y'all are, um, I feel like y'all are tired of me. I feel like y'all are bored with me. So I'm trying to change things up a little bit. Um, so for you, I'm sorry you suffer from anxiety too. Yes. And you're reaching out to fam for help is positive. I still call my auntie upstairs for advice. Exactly. My favorite Frank quote in this game to this day is those were my fucking <laughs> It's going, there's lots of teenagers here and a guy's meditating right between two machines that I need. What do you mean? What? Shay, I'm so sorry. Why? Murder, she wrote. Uh, it's about to be murder, she wrote, if that dude doesn't stop fucking meditating. Okay, you guys have chosen not to shoot him. In And I'm going to do my best to not shoot him. I'm not going to pull a bed. Thank you for the draw me, Jabron. I sure do appreciate it. Eh. Actually, my middle name is Cat, so I'm Nikki Cat Cat. Don't you put those sunglasses on at me, ma'am. Thank you for the love hype. No, I can never take away corn. Let's have more hype. Yeah. Y'all said shoot him, have me high key concerned. <laughs> Literally not enough hype, though. I don't know. It's just like sometimes I feel like the sound in the stream isn't balanced and stuff. I don't know. We're going to play around with some stuff. I've got some I've got some interesting ideas coming. You'll see. You'll see. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. 100% hype redeems. Maybe I'll just do two different types of alerts. Maybe I'll have like the alerts for like like more hype streams and it'll just be full fucking tilt hype. And then I'll have like my laid back alerts for laid back emotional damage days how does that sound is that like a is that like a little you know uh 100 or hyper teams maybe yeah why not nothing wrong with a change of pace if you ever hate them you can always change them that's true i could always change it back if i hate them thank you for the hydrate or dehydrate jasper i appreciate it i say alerts that are more intrusive y'all are fucking grumpy 110% hype ma'am why are we being up? they do be getting a little chaotic when they're all rapid fire yeah like they can get like a little chaotic when they're rapid fire all the intrusions I'm just I'm thinking of some I'm thinking of interesting that I'm thinking of changing things up we'll see I like when I move I'm gonna literally take like a week off streaming to move and then I might take a little bit of additional time to like redo my entire stream like new overlays new everything new place new me new new stream new me you know what i mean and just come back and you guys are gonna be like bagel how is this even bagel and i'll be like i don't know is it even me question mark no 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 not bored of you thank you <laughs> bagel please bagel please what bored is this the weepy talk you were talking about <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm a little weepy still you're getting a swirly when i get to your house you better not fucking shove my head into my toilet or i'm gonna fight you and that is FBI agent. That is not a joke. I will box her. I will lose, but I'm still going to try. I will box her. I will lose, but I will box her. Imagine meditation in a gym. Weird choice. That's what I'm saying. New stuff never hurts. Do what you want to do and be yourself unapologetically. This part will follow. That is true. I think I'm very good at being myself. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Baby bagel. <laughs> I think the tequila's kicked in, guys. Should I have more tequila? Should I have tequila? What? Maybe he passed out from lifting too much. It's possible. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he's not meditating. Maybe he's dead, Shay. Can you, can you check? Just for our sake, can you check on him and make sure he's not dead? Because that'd be great. Maybe. I've canceled plans to watch your stream before. Don't cancel plans to watch my stream. Like, hey, no, live your life. I appreciate you and I love when you're here, but don't, no. Swirly of love, no. Oh, I like the toggle between the two vibes. It could be interesting, right? It could be interesting, but it would be very confusing for new people who would come and be like, oh, I love these cozy vibes. And then the next time they're like, <gasps> do I need a Mortal Kombat redeem? Mortal Kombat. Anyway, 
uh yeah freaky fridays and cooler saturdays there you go i like it i say go for it we all uh, support you thank you cutie i appreciate you this is your stream you do what you want thank you jabron i appreciate you you're the best you're the best just like that and apparently if you shoot the bumper the car will explode because it'll ricochet to the cat stick ah so i could have made your dreams come true kiko and i just chose not to <laughs> it's not that i didn't it just didn't it didn't let me rewind again it didn't let me do it uh you're the best at being you thanks i demand this now i'm sorry i can't rewind it won't let me Oh, it's that kind of night? Yeah, I'm already, I've had two tequilas. Should I have two more? Why do I have, where did my scissors come from? Obviously more tequila, duh. Okay, I think you could take me. No, nah, Justina, you're the Walmart heavyweight champ for a reason. But the channel evolves as time goes. It's a natural course. So if things tone down or up, or if things take on a new form, it's all great. We're obviously not going anywhere. I don't know why that piss made me piss myself. I don't know why that scared me. I was not trying to be disrespectful there. Uh, Pay, thank you so much for the five gifted tier one subs to Zeno the Mad, JRBC, Komodo Bone, Beardman, Jesse, and Just Jean here. If any of you are here, please say thank you and enjoy the ad free viewing and emotes on Peyton. Thank you, Peyton, for the five gifted. Sorry for screaming in your ears. I don't know why that scared me. Can we get some love and life in the chat for pay, please? And thank you. You are the best, the best, the best. That scared me, and I don't know why. I'm having concerns about who I am now. Don't worry, I knew it would have less fun to fun time with them. What do you mean? Oh, with your plans. But still, no. Read too fast. Oh, no, if you hit the gas tank, it explodes. If it's the bumper, she shoots self in stomach. Oh, okay. The trailer shoot the bumper. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, the bumper is where, you, yeah, I see. No, he's like meditating out loud. He's very alive and well. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, Wow, jump scare. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean it. You're fine. It was perfect. My internet cut out and I missed the spooky. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You didn't miss anything. It's just me screaming per usual. Oh, but thank you. Can we get some more love and hype in the chat for pay? You guys, my just go okay i'm gonna turn on the game again just because one you voted not to shoot him so we're gonna play that out also two i need a chance to catch up on my my breath and then and then three my throat hurts so i'm gonna give it a, a second <sighs> he's very alive not sure if i'd say well hey meditating is fine okay you guys voted to shoot right no i'm kidding you voted not to shoot don't shoot come on girly shoot me no. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. <sighs> nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Damn. You really stood your ground. Shut up, Chloe! Wait. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Yeah! Tell her! Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Are you? Because you sound pretty disappointed in me. You bitch. Then there are more guns out there. Are there? Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Are At least there? Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Bitch, better have my money. Okay, should have shot him? No. Nope. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Oh. <gasps> the way I almost just accidentally rewound that entire thing. We don't rewind these. It's okay if we try and shoot him. The gun is empty, so wow. it's an alley. Right? That's true. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? I don't know. We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Where did Chloe go? Follow her where? Nice, you didn't need that anyway. That's what I'm saying. You know what? You're right. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but it's weird as hell. Look, good for him for finding his chi. I wish I could find my chi. Instead, I have cheese in my fridge, which I'm about to go eat. You know, shredded cheese. You know when you go to your fridge and you just open a bag of shredded cheese and just like in your mouth? Should I go get more tequila? Thoughts. 
He's threatening to shoot us. Nah. I voted shoot him. Nikki. Nikki Cat Cat. Dr. Nikki Cat Cat. Just another day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. Chloe! Oh, there you are. I know I'm on a block. Oh, yo. So, low key, I always said that the best uh, snack for a movie theater. Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to own a movie theater. And one of the snacks that I was going to serve was literally just going to be like a block of cheddar cheese that you could just nom on and just like, you know, like sometimes it's just nice to like nom on a block of cheese while you're watching a movie. And I thought that would be the perfect fucking movie theater Probably snack. I was waiting to go for a walk. Like a nice. We both need a time out in here. Like you've never like, yes. Yes. I love cheese. Yeah. See, yes. And yes. Too bad we couldn't shoot the car and make it fall on him. That's true. Fuck Colby Jack. Okay. Melted cheddar. Melted cheddar. What? Weird. What? What's very. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Okay. So y'all are fine with eating the shredded cheddar out of the fucking fridge, but you're not okay with nomming on just like a block of cheese? Nikki, back me up here. Nikkei, back me up here. I'm sorry. You're the only one who understands me. Cheese is my favorite snack. Exactly. There should be cheese curds. No, it's just like a block of cheddar cheese and you just. You never just like nommed on a block of cheese. Any, anyway, I'm gonna bite that. Yeah, I'm gonna bite that shit. Y'all never just nommed on a block of cheese before? At least cut cheese off the block first. Nah, that's my cheese. Like, just like, it's for me. I'm not giving the rest to anyone else. It's for me. The whole thing is for me. I don't understand what you guys don't understand. Block of cheese fry, thank you. I'm also Nikki. I know you're both Nikki, but I try to differentiate between like, like Nick K and Nikki while you guys are in chat. You're all you're all Nikki. Everyone is Nikki. I nom on Pepper Jack. Too spicy, but same sentiment. You should go get the shots while we discuss. <laughs> should I go get the shot? Okay, actually, you know what? I am gonna go get more shots because I know what's coming next. And I should probably do it. Also, I was talking to you guys from my kitchen last time. Could you guys hear me? Cause it made me sad. Cause I was I, I was singing you guys a song and you guys didn't hear me. Anyway, just imagine I'm talking to you on the Everything. Oh, also, do you guys see the socks KK sent me? KK, I don't know if you're still here or if you're still at pizza, but look, you gave me, she gave me kitty cat socks, and they're cute. Thank you. Grabbing a chaser, please. Cheddar tastes better in bite-sized form, not as a solid brick. I disagree. I think cheddar tastes great in all forms. Uh, I said weird solely because hearing all this just... Yeah, y'all get, get yourself a nice block of cheddar. You know what I mean? 
I'm so sorry. Uh, no, no, I need you. You're leaking fucking shot glasses down on a paper towel so that it doesn't get all over my face. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to be all sticky for the rest of this fucking day. All right. <clears throat> so I got my shots. Now what? Do I just take them? Is anyone drinking with me? Um, I've never nommed on a block, but I can see the appeal. You are back, KKC. Maybe if the cheddar was cubed. I do like cubed cheddar. Yes. Nibbling like a little rat. My favorite activity. Exactly. Yep, my block. Fuck cutting it. Exactly, Nick. What did you say? So quiet. What? For a second, they looked like grippy kitty socks. No, they're not grippy, but they are cute. Yeah, they fight. They showed up forever later. I didn't even realize they had been ordered. So when I went, when they got here, I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I went back and it was like the email had been from like weeks prior. I was like, what the fuck? They were hecking cute socks. They're very comfy too, Kate. And I love them. Thank you. They were my birthday present. My partner got me grippy socks for Valentine's Day since I'm always tripping and almost falling in the house even without, without obstacles. That's so nice. That's so nice. I love grippy socks. Uh, so cute. Thank you. Um, I'm cutting it regardless of the block, if the block is mine or not, but I'm not eating just straight cheese. I also want multiple different types, not just one type. So you're like a fancy cube. You need like a tray full of different cube cheeses. Alex, when we do friends, gr gr fr I almost said friends giving. When we do friends Christmas, uh, when we do friends Christmas, uh, can we do like, can we do a shark coochie board? <laughs> can we do a shark? Can we do a can we do a can we do a shark coochie board? <laughs> can we do a shark coochie board? If we can do all sorts of different cheeses and crackers, I'll help make it. <laughs> shark coochie board. No, just me. Just me. That's uh. So that's that's so kind of them. Yeah, I know. I have Rugrats grippy socks. That sounds cute. I disagree with your disagree. I Uno reverse your disagree to my disagree. So suck it. Good luck and sleep better tonight after taking shots. Oh, yeah, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. We'll find out. I might just get ripper and drunk, and then tomorrow Justina's going to show up, and I'm going to be like, I'm over here. <laughs> I'll just still be laying in bed going, ugh, <laughs> when she gets here. Shark coochie. Yeah, shark uh, Now I can't say. I said it as a meme, and now I can't actually. A charcuterie. Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I drunk? Anyway, who's taking shots with me? Uh, I just want a bowl of deep fried cheese curds. Then get one. As long as wine and cheese are both involved. Yes, there will be wine. More red for you and more white for me. There you go. Shark coochie. Shark coochie. Shark coochie boards are the best. Exactly. Making charcuterie boards that are beautiful is my superpower. All right. Well, you're going to have to teach me how to make a beautiful one so I can make one for the Canadian milk boys. Uh, waking up to Justina. Lucky. You guys can negotiate something. I don't know. Uno reverse is too powerful. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> In fact, Jabron, this is for you. Anyway, uh, who's taking shots with me before the end of this emotional damage today? All right. I filled up one. I got to get my chaser ready. Talking about teen years, I remember getting bullied for being emo and I found out it's a trend to host emo nights and dress emo. What? Oh, I remember when y'all were bullying us for just wearing a black shirt. Yo, I got bullied just for existing. And now it's cool. It's cool to be all of the things that it wasn't cool for me to be in high school. Go figure. I got the pink Whitney. I'm ready. Oh, shit. If I was in better spirits, cheers. Enjoy, though. Thank you. Sorry to hear you're not in great spirits, but I hope you're doing all right. Uh, I have a shot of cho a chocolate mint whiskey. Are you are you taking a shot with me? Yes, yeah, it's very important that we have several practice runs of teaching you the art of shark coochie for science. Okay, good. Okay, we'll start tomorrow. Need to, Justina, my twin. All right. <clears throat> Who's ready? Who's ready? Me. All right. Three. I'm sipping my drinky drink, but I'll cheers. Okay. Cheers. One tequila. Ugh. Technically, that's three tequila. Oh, that one's spicy. Sorry for all the drink ASMR, everyone. I'll pull my mic back. Oh. Oh. We'll have to make sure we eat it all to figure out the flavor pairings for science. Surely not because I want an excuse to eat cheese in excess. 
maybe when I move, we can do a housewarming party. Hear me out, Justina. Just you and me, because I know nobody else. And then we, or we could do it with the Hamley. <gasps> we could do a, we could do an IRL stream. We'll do a housewarming party at my new place. What do you think, Hamley? Do you like that? Should we do a housewarming party at my new place when I get my new place? And I'll just, it'll just be me and Justina eating a charcuterie board by ourselves. And then maybe we'll all we'll play a game or something. That would be so fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy housewarming party. It's me and my one IRL friend. And then all of my friends from across the world. A cheese christening? Yes, we can christen it with cheese. Yes. Oh, I see how it... No, I meant like my one friend in like the area that I live in, Nikkei. You don't live in my area. Hello? Hello? One to tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. They don't call me four tequila Lexi for nothing. Here we go. Oh. Holy cow, Justina, I've known you for one for one year, ten months, and one days. Wow, what a what a one year, ten months, and one days it's been. Be fair, chat, I've known Bagel for one year and ten months. Yeah. Justina and I have known each other for a year and ten months. Okay. And definitely not like eleven years. That was tasty. Yes. Right on Bagel, you wild woman. Yep. That's what they call me. Ah! I'm home from work. Shadow, I'm proud of you. Step one, turn off your fucking phone. How long for real? Uh, Justina and I met in, uh, no, it's been about 10 years. We've known each other for about 10 years. I think actually almost 10 years to the day. No, 10 years, 10 years next month, I think. Yeah, I think it's like, it's. I think it's been like, I think it's, a, we're at the decade point. What year, actually, what year is it? Hold on. A decade. I don't know. Justine and I have known each other for a hot minute. Welcome home. Yes, welcome home. If I turn off the phone, I can't watch stream. Hear me out. Turn off your alerts. 2024? It's been about a decade. Yeah. All right. Who's ready for this emotional damage? Incoming math. Math is hard. Especially when you've had four... Leave the junkyard... No. Thus begins another chapter in my never-ending drama. No. Time to grab Chloe and bail. All right, here we go. It's happening. I just accidentally gave myself a salt scrub because I have salt all over my lips because of the tequila. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. There you go, Frank. Shut up, Chloe! You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. I hate teenagers. Math is easy, math are not shit for No. I'm just glad you were here. Jabron, you're me funny. Too. We're, you're good. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? The real question. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yeah, we're taking a break and she's talking. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Mm -hmm. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new Aww. secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out, to be honest, by everything. By Frank, by the school, by all of this, by the Kate thing. I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out. I liked having fucking peace, Chloe. Exactly. I'm serious though. Math is easier for some people. Jabron, consider yourself lucky. God, I love my blue haired grunge fave. She is uh, iconic. I'm still freaked out about so what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. 
Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? <clears throat> what do you mean by hung out? Like, sexy time? I had after school lessons because I couldn't math. You know what? That doesn't make you any less valuable, McKay. Oh, shoot. Where's May and her adopted daughter and their squished army men? I was just like, I read your comment, Johnny, and I was like, is this like a staple of like every like angsty indie game? You got to have the train track scene. Hung out. Hung out. You don't mean you. Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Oh, thank God. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's oh. it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Um, honestly, I don't even want to understand the ramifications, so I'm just not going to answer. My brain is fried. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Mm -hmm. ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. For real, though. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Uh, Rachel, would Rachel and I get along? Why? I want to know why. Why? I bet she would hate me. No. You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. I don't know. I have Carol anxiety. Avenue. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. Does anyone remember saying I'd Hella? rather be a good photographer. Strider note. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. That's so hella. That's hella tight. I used to say that's hella tight. That's hella cool. Perfect. Oh? Emotional fatigue is real. For real. I'm experiencing it. Oh, my controller's vibrating. Hello? No! I still say it sometimes. Whatever floats your boat, baby. Max! Help! I got stuck! What? Come on, Chloe. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been laying on the train tracks. The train. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. I'm bad at this. I have a feeling that um Chloe's gonna die at least. Uh, rail rats. Look, rats. It's still you're the rat. Hello. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what it's. Oh, that's Lexi saying. Um, push. Damn. Something is blocking the drum. Okay. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm piecing it together. Please hold. Okay, we gotta do the wedge. Okay, look. This wedge locks the drum in place. Okay, but I can't move it, so I need like a tool, maybe? Hold on, I'm gonna, Shit, she's gonna I die. Cheddar, 66% sassy today. Just take the shoe off. Yeah, just leave the fucking shoe at this point. Okay, uh, crowbar. Crowbar, crowbar. Strider's 94% sassy today. Sheesh! Okay, hold on, hold on. Do I wanna use that to get in here, or do I wanna use it to do this? Do it, do it, do the thing. Do the thing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Now I can finally move the drum. Okay, well push it! I have no context. Get me out of here, Max! Please! I have to help lift Chloe up. I need to figure this out. McKay is 73%. Okay, hold on. So. I have to help lift Chloe up. Okay. I didn't go far back enough. Back far enough? Max? No, we need to go even further back. We need to go even further back. Okay. Okay, so. Pull this. Crowbar this. I can't even move it an inch. The way I'd ask, not ask Max to help Nikkei. 
Max jumps down and just watches. Get a hand sock, go saw on her? I don't think that's how this works. Okay, so I need the crowbar to- Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Your girl's got this. Okay, hold on. We're gonna use the crowbar, which we still have for some reason, to get in here, maybe? No? Okay. Crowbarring? Crowbarring? Okay. Okay, what does this do? Hello? Uh, uh, open? Okay, there's nothing in here. Okay, open. Shut up! Okay, uh... Sure? Why am I taking the pliers? I can pull a total MacGyver. And what? To cut her shoe off? Okay, nothing in here. Okay, uh, hello? 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 Axe? Axe? Axe. We're gonna take the axe? Uh, okay, uh, what can I slice with Was this? Cheddar right? Am I just gonna cut off her leg? Okay, uh, there's gotta be something else I can do here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up! Let me think! Okay, so this isn't the answer. Um. Max, get me out of here! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to use this axe. Thank you, Lord, Max. She's not a zombie. Find another way. Let me cook! Hi, Skipsy. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay, hold on. Okay, what do I do with the pliers? Okay. Come on, Max! Yeah, shut up! Uh, fuse box, fuse box, fuse box. There's a fuse box. Awesome. It's not locked. Uh, Wait, just um, cut everything. But which wire to cut? What? Isn't it always the red wire? Hello, how's it going? Now that's the right cable. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, pull. Yes, I did it. Oh! Okay, I don't like this. It okay. gets me very stressed. You saved me again. I'm very stressed. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Uh, I'm really into good. Uh, ma'am. Saw. Uh, hello, how's it going? Saw the prequel. Saw the prequel of what? But yes, welcome. It's going. We're here. We're alive. We're still alive. My life was strange once. Wait, it still is. Welcome in, Cornhouse. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic freaking Saturday. Thanks for me. Thanks for the. Feel like an opportunity was missed to what? Right chop her leg off? Time. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us. Shut up. Listen. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? No. Uh... Um, <clears throat> we're still walking on the tracks. I know after all that, they're still walking on the tracks. It's like I was watching Keanu Reeves and Speed all over again. Yeah, I was definitely as sexy and finessed as Keanu. Let me remind you kids, please don't lie on train tracks. I like trains a lot, but yeah, none of that. Thank you, Johnny, attorney of chat. You have five months to figure it out. The fucking audacity. I don't have a Zoom cam right now, Chetta, but if I did, it would be like Zoom and I'd be like, And you would be in so much trouble right now. So I'm gonna need you to imagine. I have, excuse me? You have five months to figure it out. You. Uh, what? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can and will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors. Mm -hmm. They teach you kids anything at Blackwell. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like you said, uh, Professor I don't think that's how it works. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I'm tipsy. <laughs> one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, tequila, four. I guess it's a good thing there's no zoom cam then, huh? Ha! Huh! 
I guess so. For your sake. Bitch. No, I'm kidding. <gasps> I have hiccups. Okay, who's ready? Who's ready? Enter the Vortex Club this October. I'm not ready. Why? Oh God, we're reaching the end of the episode. Mr. Yeah. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. No spoilers. Some people haven't seen the game, believe it or not. All right, let's figure out what the so hell's are you going, going on. To that Vortex Club party. Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. She's got the sweetest outfit. I got you, Bagel. I'll throw them on you. Thank you. Thank you. At least someone's here to help me dole out the... All right. End of the world party. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. But you're not. It's your trip. Vortex Club, end of the world party. Blackwell swimming pool Thursday, 10, 10, 13. End of the world as we know it. Who are you? Who is this? This is a new girl. This is... Justin always looks stoned. Probably because he is. Thursday night. I wouldn't end of the world want party. to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Uh, no self. -intended. Too much truth in advertising. Ma'am, ten ten. Yeah, the ten ten. That's a super portal number. No. I'm... I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world. Don't be it's left the out. Invasion of end the, of the vortex, vortex Club. Coming soon. No war, peace and love. Who's clapping? Them cheeks. What you guys? I should have had drinks. You Why did I have drinks? To Frank too. Why did you let let me drink? Who you let can me really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. We saw all those the first episode. If you're interested in seeing some of these posters, feel free to go back to the VOD, which will be uploaded in a couple weeks on my YouTube channel. Exclamation point! Socials for more. Look at these Bagel trophies. Content. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. <laughs> Why did that guy walk towards me like that? Drown me! Thank you for the drown me and the social strider. Skipsy, if you want to kiss, just say that. If I had a zoom cam, I would just like, hear me out, I'd just zoom in and go like this. Um... Y'all getting sexy? No kisses. My girlfriend would kill me. No, it seems like you guys want to kiss. You guys trying to kiss? Thank Black you for announcing. Sure takes its swimming seriously. But the announcements are, are that we hear. Go otters. Go otters. Uh, this fucking guy. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. And disrespect his girlfriend. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. <laughs> I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Um, it's over. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. Hell, you mean up, stupid man. shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. True. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. If I could go back and do the commentary for this, I would I would totally throw shade at him. I'd do the whole, like, Zach always looks like he's ready to throw the football around and disrespect his girlfriend when he finds out she gets pregnant. Ugh. <laughs> Sick burn. Hello, Submax. Peyton, 12% sassy. Skipsy, 22% sassy. Ooh. Repeating numbers. It's important. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Shrubby, 13% sassy. He's just a little sassy guy. Sir? <gasps> oh, hello, Max. I <laughs> hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Did you talk to Nathan? Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. I disagree. Our head of security is overseeing Sorry, a new era of the girls. campus safety. Please hold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Surveillance and hassle Kate. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Sorry, you gotta adjust wait, the girls. Please wait. hold. Like, Do you see a, a pattern here, Max? All right, we're good. 
probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Because they're doing Nathan, terrible Mr. things! Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Bagel, undo the calamity that has become your memory. Sometimes, you know, like, I love that, uh, uh, not that you guys are giving me shit, but I love that women get shit for adjusting their breasts, but we don't think twice about a dude adjusting their balls. I'm just throwing that out there. Does anybody believe this shit? Stop being a loser. This is where shit gets real. Don't miss it. This Thursday, 10th October. That's an advertisement. Uh, we should do mystery science theater thing for games. If I, you know what? Should we do that? Should we do a mystery science theater, like, game roast? Should we come up with, like, the most iconic game that we've played on stream to date? And, like, who just bumped into me? And then, like, do, like, a mystery science that You guys, I have ideas. I do have ideas. We give shit to men who unstick their jangle jangle. We don't, we don't give them shit because we understand. We're like, oh. Oh, my God, it would be amazing. I have ideas. This is the part where you would show the principal the image, but I guess that photo was for not a chat. Chat, talk your shit, Johnny. Let him know. Tell him. Yes, yes, very much. Yes. Okay. Should we? I've got. Okay. We'll have to come up with like. We'll have to think of like the most iconic game we've played on stream thus far, and then like let you guys vote. I, I know that I keep. See what I can. Learn. I will have more time to stream towards the end of this year. Like hopefully within the next couple months, I will be settled in a new place, and I'll have like shit down to a science, and then like I can start streaming more, and then we can do that stuff. Global warning, freak snow. Yesterday's unique snowfall was another eco signal that climate change is no myth. Come join other Blackwell students and faculty at a campus gathering to discuss what you can do to prevent the second ice age. Blackwell Science Lounge, Monday, 7 p.m. Nice. This chat. Nice, nice long step, bro. Did it get on? Nice long step, bro. Did you unstick your schlong? What? I'm too drunk for this. Let him know. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit, chat? Tell him, Johnny. Stand behind him and clap, KK. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. But like, did you see Drake's video? I, if you want to see my reaction to Drake's video, exclamation point, shout out for Spartan X 517 in chat. Uh, you have to go to Spartan's stream from last Sunday. I reacted to it live on his stream. Kate protection squad damn right tell them let them know or die yep i uh I, I reacted to it live on spartan Street. courtney will do anything for victoria and the vortex club <sighs> and i'm so sorry hey courtney ciao max no photos please i have to come up with a guest list for a vortex club soiree oh, really? okay. oh like you care i don't actually thank you you're right i don't making my guest list easier ciao okay but now i'm kind of curious like if i had said i do would she be like oh max i'm so you're so cool hold on hey courtney ciao max no photos please i have to come up with a guest list for a vortex club soiree she looks like really oh like you care i do i'm not anti-soiree you seem anti-fashion though a Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Bitch. You even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Okay, I'm gonna manipulate her. Fucking chow one more time and we're fine. Yeah, you don't begin a fucking conversation with chow, Max. Chow. Hey, Courtney. Chow. Chow, Max. Chow. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest chow. list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. What's the dress code? Fancy? Because I'm a fancy bitch. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. She's Thanks, so good. Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Big or black strikes better. All right. Who wore it better? Me? Courtney or the Hamburglar? Let him know. Right now. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I thought you just told me to chow. I was looking forward to <laughs> horn chowder. As someone there, this is true, Bagel reacted live and there was screaming. I saw Drake's penis and I screamed. 
and not in a excited way in a why does it move like that and why does it look like that kind of way what the ham bagel bagel every day what what trevor surveys his domain what wait what what where's the peen oh don't worry about it there's i saw a penis and it upset me greatly. What is this supposed to be? I should feel lucky to be here. Blackwell Academy, our past, your future. Since the 18th century, Blackwell Academy has been proud of its unique status among the scholastics, arts, and sciences. We're glad you're here to contribute. Me too. Thank you. Love that for us. Okay, this motherfucker. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Because you're creepy? Was that really your reefer? No. Ooh, do I rat out Chloe here? Ooh, okay, I'm taking advice on this one. Should I rat out Chloe? Should I double down and pretend it was my reefer? Or should I say no? Should I just toss the blame back to Chloe? Don't you dare- don't I dare what? Don't I dare what? <laughs> Story is like, yep, X, hit it. Oh, always rat everyone out. Oh my god, don't rat her out. Precious Chloe. Okay, everyone wants to protect- everyone wants to protect Chloe. Where was this energy when it came to Kate, huh? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? So sassy. Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. Thank I you. I was wrong, but upset. Mm -hmm. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. <laughs> if I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. Mm -hmm. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? Excuse me? Get her name out your mouth? Don't be a rat bagel. No ratting out. That would make you a liar and a snitch. Oh, never blame yourself. Oh my god. Fine. Snitches get stitches. Snitches get glitches. Yeah, fuck Chloe. Chloe! Mary J. What? What? Who? Hey, Queen. Hi, Temptress. Welcome in. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday. How is life? Welcome in. Welcome to our cozy, tipsy uh, Saturday night. Uh, if you don't come out of the closet and interfere, he'll slap Chloe. I know. It's so sad. When I was your age, had ass I've played that. Just so everyone knows, I've played this game ad nauseum. I know, like, everything. But I want you guys to help me make the decisions. Because this is our playthrough, not my playthrough. What up, Kate? What about Kate? Yeah. I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. She didn't do it is on that purpose. Why you Kate yesterday? Bitch. I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier. You don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? Yeah. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Damn Unless it. you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Snap. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay, I almost believe him, though. To be honest, when I was your age, yeah, I ordered an or I ordered an Oreo shake and Dora Locos. <gasps> That's gonna be an unhealthy dinner, but it sounds like a good dinner. Also, how was your burrito part two, Jabron? Because I know you got the Bogo burrito too. <laughs> I Fucking Warren, doing all right. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you. I do too. Uh, hey girl, sit down. Science, bruh. What? I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. Uh, what? Do I have to hang out with this dude? I don't get it. The rice was dry the next day, but it was still pretty good. Oh, I'm sad. Sorry the rice was dry, though. But, you know, bogo burrito, baby. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in Or, the lab. hear me out, we can just look at everyone else. Me. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Same. Same energy, Luke. Juliet's getting chatted up by Logan. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Oh, wait, no, this is the dude that lost. <gasps> wait, 
Is this the dude that knocked up Dana? Wait, I'm confused. Who's who? Which one knocked up Dana? Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Oh no! Wait! Oh no! Wait, hold on! Logan is the one that got Dana pregnant. Zachary is Juliet's ex-boyfriend who was sexting with Victoria and then and now she's flirting with Logan aka her best friend Dana's ex who got her knocked up even though Dana's dating Trevor now girl code why are you why 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 are you sleeping with the man who knocked up your friend and left her in trouble I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Open it. I'm so good. You're confused? Is that my mom and dad? And that's what you missed on. Wee! What convoluted shit is this? Teenage drama. Uh, nice. Do it all right. Working school drive you crazy. No time. Sorry. Oh, Evan's a nice guy. Okay. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else drama i don't know what's up i've seen straighter spaghetti bowls than all of that chaos yo maxwell smart talk later cool yeah all right he's kind of nice. he's kind of so you can't help me i'm trying but you have to understand my position why you don't understand mine nobody does nobody what did you do to my kate also what did, oh no i don't know they're warned what did you just do to my Kate? I will ruin your life. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? That's just sass. between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David and Kate. I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Tell her. Mr. Tell Madsen him. confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. But also... If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Well. I have proof. I have oh, a picture. Yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being I discussed just by the faculty. I'm so sorry. I assume you know about this viral video. Uh, Kate is freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. Yeah, what there we Kate go. Kate this on herself. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. I'm sorry. Did the teacher just slut shame her? I'm throwing the whole game away. I'm throwing the whole game away. He just slut. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah, I have. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. And not slut shaming. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. What a Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? I don't with know. You tell me. With all persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, that was private. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. It's a so you what? don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Can we get some Hello? the audacities in yep. chat, please? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Kate Protection Squad, rise up. Yeah, hashtag men has no rights. Bye, bitch. Throw that man away. Throw the entire fucking school away. Immediately beating the dog shit out of him. Oh, oh, you're trying to have a sure, private okay. conversation? Watch as I awkwardly breathe down your fucking neck. Listen. I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Oh, yeah, do you? Yeah? Tell me about that class, mm -hmm. motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, you think so? I'll do that. The audacity. I oh, hate this guy. I know. 
That makes sense. Huh? Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, private conversation. Convers conversation says mm -hmm. what? Yeah. I like that Max Seriously, is just like. I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. <laughs> Me as Max just staring this man down during his private phone Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? You can hang up too? Okay. Mm-hmm. This is giving no you hang up first vibes. Yes. Hmm? Uh-huh. No, you hang up first. Uh-huh. Just stop sure. fucking okay. the audacity. Thank you, sir. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. Oh yeah. To go. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Where is everyone? Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Vogue. Vogue. Dana. You are out of control. Turn left, then right. Sense. The lion, no, the bitch, know. the audacity of these witches. And, and I don't Wonder like why taking they don't the, use real the word witch in a negative way. Because your girl likes witchy. She likes witchy bitch. Okay, all right. Tell me about your stupid fucking shit, Warren. Think, big brain. Think. <sighs> The lion, the witch, the audacity of this bitch. I bet if I touch the glass, all of these, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Don't tap on the glass. That's no. Don't tap on the glass. That's asshole. This can't be that hard. Science is art. Was a boss. And art is science. There you go. Uh, let's talk about how the starches on the collar and how itchy it would be. But he just lives in it. Yeah, he just he's comfortable in the itchy starch, and that His should tell you so everything cool you need to smart. know. She defines the word teacher. Aw. Hi, Miss Grant. You're funny. Grant. I was just thinking about you, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. I got you, boo. Every signature counts. Um, yeah, so tell me more about this petition. I'm sorry, Miss oh. Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I hit the wrong button. Hi again, Miss Grant. <laughs> right back at you, Max. Uh, yeah, so tell me more about that petition. How's your campaign going you signed the petition now it's your campaign too uh, thanks for stepping up more people would rather send a text than sign a petition true that's how they keep us all distracted oh nobody will notice cameras on every square foot uh -huh. i know i really hope you keep those cameras from taking over blackwell max with uh -huh. students like you we sure will thanks tell me about i'm just thinking okay. about all the autumn photos i want to take Hi, oh, this is my favorite for, time for, of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Hi. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. Oh, so you know Jefferson? Tell me about how he might be an asshole to Kate. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. Only because I have famous. to say. It's not quite autumn enough yet. Uh, yeah, what about that snow? What about that snow yesterday? How's your Saturday going, Pokey? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I like you. You're nice. I've had four tequilas. Ooh, okay, let's go talk to Frank. Oh, hiccups. Bring me the brain, Igor. Why? Pretty tame, just laundry and games. How about you? For tequila! There's I'm Mr. Good. Wizard. How are you? At work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Yeah, Axwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. What makes you think Asking I can help? for help means you're screwed. Yeah, that's Have what to I'm add saying. either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Uh, sodium! I have a vision. go -dium. go -dium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. <laughs>
Damn. Zip. Nothing. Oh, I meant... Nada. I meant potassium, obviously. Ooh, tequila? Yeah, we tequila. Uh, I obviously hey, meant potassium. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. Mm -hmm. This works? You get a free hug. What kind of tequila? Silver Jose Corvo Resposado. Weird science. Did I do it? Can I leave now? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. All right. That's all you needed me for? Weird. Oh, here's your girlfriend. You should uh, go talk to her. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Because she's threatened by you. Uh... Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Uh, yeah, I'm talking to Warren. Did uh, not ask for a hug. Warren, exactly. Tell I'm him. helping Warren with his latest experiment. Yeah, you like that? Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Why is this bitch such a bitch? Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. Yeah. Uh, I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Tell me about your How's drone, your then. Drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... What? Don't let me get in your way. So long. Can we punch her? Look, this is what insecurity does to you, okay? Like, just let it happen. Just Jesus Christ, girl. Everything is going to be okay. All right. Oh, he's still on the phone? Still doing the no, no you... I know. That makes sense. No, you hang up. Huh? Teen girl threatened by another girl instead of just going for the boy. Hashtag shocking. Because sometimes it's easier to blame someone else than to just face rejection. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. That's how it is, right? Human nature. Sometimes it's easier to just blame something else than to Arcadia face the Bay fear looks of way more majestic rejection. here. Camera? Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. No, I bet he not. probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Mm -hmm. But I still dig my little instant camera. What you drawing? That's a great sketch of Dana. Drama O oh, Dana oh. was the real deal. Something? Drama O oh, O oh, pose. Dana O oh, O oh, posing. Oh, okay. Dana. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Hayden. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. True. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. All right, sorry. Hi, Dana. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Uh-huh. And Do you then... think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Yeah, I'm literally right here, you fucks. What? I like Taylor's artistic so side, mean. not her personality. Why? Teenagers are the worst. Oh, my back itch is so bad. Teenagers are the worst. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, if y'all are going to be rude to me, just fucking be rude to me. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Well, maybe she's a good student. 
Did you ever think about that? Bitches for real. They really are. Okay. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh. Okay, sorry. I'll uh, let you continue with your contemplation. Over shit. Alright. Um. Hey. It's me. You're at my desk because you obviously want to start some shit. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. Yep. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. Really? Hey guys! Be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Yep. Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Why does he look like contemplate the orb? Why? Why he look like that? Like, why he like a fucking? Oh, it's like he's got scratches on his cheek. I forgot that came from Chloe. No one questioned what happened with the scratches on his chest or his cheek. Hello? All right, here we go. We're gonna draw. Oh, look, it's Kate. He okay, has such a punchable face. Why is taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What is wrong with that man? Okay, hold on. We got. Night. Oh. Hey. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a hey, lot man. on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she Why is she not feeling good? Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. You better do the right thing here, motherfucker. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. There we go. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. True. In the end, it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Hey, Warren, I just saw you. Yeah, why is his black eye darker? Lighting, maybe? Capturing the image. We can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Uh, like Max Caulfield, for That example, doesn't sound like me. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Uh, I'm sure you read the syllabus yeah. like it was a Harry Potter book, so you... What's your pro? Is that supposed to be Nathan? Must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That uh -huh. beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography... I guess Kate will miss class now. Power. It's basically I'm worried about world. her. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. I have hiccups. Although we don't technically see in my... Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm. Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains seated. Life is strange is good game. Yes, hi Matt, welcome in, how you doing? Uh, anyways, how do y'all, hello, hello. Welcome in, ugh, I'm not ready. For what, KK, you're not ready for what? Okay, I just need to know how you guys want to handle this as we go along. Is this for real? Okay, uh, okay, disclaimer, there's a lot of, okay, I don't have a trigger warning, I'm a terrible streamer, trigger warning, there's about to be some really heavy mental health shit, uh, if we could have someone post something about trigger warning, warning, you know what, I'm giving a warning, if you are still here in the next two minutes, once I hit play, that's on you. There are some there are some heavy mental health topics that are going to be tackled here in just a minute. 
I want to give you guys the chance to reevaluate if you are not in the best place mentally. Maybe step out of stream for the next 20 or so minutes and come back later. Um, but uh, I just, it's, it's, uh, this is a very rough situation. It can be very triggering for a lot of people. Mentions of everything. Are we ready, Kate? Protection squad. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just saying, make sure you guys are protecting yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you're getting, if you're staying, get ready to lock it the fuck in. If you're staying, get ready to lock it the fuck in. Thank you. Disclaimer: Some heavy talkers are about to be tackled. If you do, if you do need to step away, please do. Actually, we're gonna pin that. Thank you. Just gonna pin it in 20 minutes. How bad can it be, Shadow? I can't. All right. Are we ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Here we go. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, KK and I are running a tight ship, and if you don't lock it the fuck in, you're walking the plant. Plank. Damn right. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Power unlocked, baby. Must. Oh, God, there's burbs in the way. Fucking burbs. Oh, that kind of bad. It's like you didn't believe Oh, here's David. Knocking the fucking door. Chat, remember, your choices matter. Chat, remember, your choices matter. Lock it. Yeah, lock in chat. Yes. This must be painful for her to do. Yeah, imagine she gets a nosebleed just rewinding time. Imagine holding time in place. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? All right. I've been bullied too. I wanted proof. I was scared or I had no idea. Your choices matter. Spam the chat. The answer that gets the most will get voted for. What do you guys want to say here? I forgot how to do this, fuck. I have flubbed this, but I've also managed to save it. There's a, there's like a couple choices that matter and a couple that don't. B, I was scared. Okay, I stepped away for a refill and this is where we are? Yes, Strider! When are you gonna learn you can't step away? X, I think. I see B, I see X, Y, I've been bullied too, okay. Come on, come on, check. Give me, give me the answers. I wanted proof. I wanted proof. Okay. I was scared. We got two for I was scared. I have two for I want to prove. Scared three for scared. I'm going to give you guys like 30 more seconds. Why? Another I've been bullied too. Another scared. Give it 15 more seconds. Another for scared. All right. Five. Bagel, this is stressing me out. You guys are in charge. Enjoy. All right, mostly scared. So I was scared. I'm so sorry, Kate. 
I thought I could help, but not by taking a picture. I'm ashamed. I know you're scared of David. He's scary. And I know you only want to help. I let you down, and I'm sorry. I only want to help you. I wish you could. It's too late now. There's nothing for me here anymore. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Yeah? You're my friend or I'm here for you? Chat. You're my for Y or X, you're my friend, or B, I'm here for you. What would you guys rather say here? We got two for friend. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds. Friend. Lots of lots of emphatic friends here. Pokey wants to say here. Wait, why was laughing in there? I don't know. Friend? Friend? X, you're my friend. Friend? This is too much pressure. <laughs> Welcome to the Hamley, where I ever You know, I want you guys all to know that this is my revenge for the Ben situation. You all roasted me for acting under pressure. Well, well, well. This is called just desserts. This is revenge and it is best served fucking cold. Now you all get to feel the pressure of what it was like in that moment with Ben. How do you feel to know that you have a life in your hands and you could fuck this up? Does it feel good, punk? Does it? Everyone wants a friend who's been? Yeah, exactly. You're my friend? Okay, mostly, okay, everyone wants to say you're my friend. Here we go. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I'm gathering proof. It's too dangerous for us. I wasn't sure or I needed more time. Ah, yes. The tie is coming back to bite you all in the asshole. Who the fuck is Ben? I'm innocent. <laughs> I mean, we knew we had Ben's life in our hands and we chose to save him, so... Yeah, well, now you know, Chibi. Now you know for realsies. Uh, uh, gang, I think we chose her wrong. Why? I'm gathering proof. It's too important for me to stay quiet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I go with whatever KK says. Okay, so every time KK votes... Every time KK votes, I'll just double it for you, for you and KK, Nikki. Why, I think... Proof, proof. KK, we need you. I'm gathering proof. Several wrong decisions. Yeah. KK's like, we made several wrong decisions. Proof. Okay. So we got like five for proof. Give them some kind of hope. Okay. I like that. All right. I'm going to give you guys like 10 more seconds. If someone else says anything, but mostly we have mostly people voting for proof. Why? All right. I'm gathering proof. We just need to gather evidence. Let us cook. Yeah, Shadow. Let them know. Let him know! We need proof! Well, now I think KK is messing with it. KK's like, I'm gonna troll all of you, motherfuckers. Gathering Kate, proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. KK pulled the stream over and is just staring at us from the front seat. KK has fully turned the engine off, shut that shit down, and is just mean mugging all of you. 
Okay, do we want be strong? There are billions of videos or everybody will forget. I'm actually tearing up. I haven't seen this in so long. Same. It's been a hot minute since I played. Did we save her or will there be a strong gust of wind to dash our hopes? I guess we'll find out, Shadow. You guys haven't gotten out of the woods yet. What if I stay silent on this one? Stay silent. Do we want to say be strong? There are billions of videos or everybody will forget. Well, chat! There are billions of videos. We've got one vote for there are billions of videos. But I want to do this right. Okay, get in here, KK. B, everybody will forget. All of these don't seem good. Some are worse than others. I will say that. B, we've got two for B. We've got one for Y, one for X. Yeah, not great choices. Yeah. Yep. Why would you doubt me? <laughs> okay, so is that an actual vote for Y or are you just being sassy, KK? XYB. Thank you, Alex, for the least helpful answer we've received in this scenario. Y? Okay. Y? We've got a lot of... Okay, a lot of Ys, a couple for X. Okay, we've got a lot of Ys. Can I say none of the above? Yeah, they all seem bad. None of them are great. No. Uh, okay, so we've got mostly Ys. Invest in stonks. B. B. We got one, two, three, four, three, four. Okay. For now, I shall follow Strider. Okay, Strider said B. Oh, does that even things up? Please hold. Hold on. We gotta see. Hold on. Okay. Uh, B, B, B. Y, Y. B, Y, X. No, I said B myself. Okay, KK's leader. You guys said B. Most of you said B. So we're going with B. <gasps> no! Fucking controller drift. Everybody will forget. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate! You can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. All right, chat. Do we want to say your mother, your father, your sisters, or your brothers? I am a Y. Yeah, they all have a sense of get over it vibes. A little bit, Shadow. Nobody care. I know, KK, I hate that. Uh, sister for the love of God, chat. Yeah, that'll work her guilt into it. Yeah, sounds like a song. Your mother, your father, your sisters, or your brothers. Cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Now is not the time. Johnny, lock the fuck in. I honestly don't know this one. Anyone seen the omen? Oh, it's home for you. All right, we've got one vote for sisters. Does anyone else have anything they want to say? Gotta remember what we know about her. Yeah, what do we know about Kate? For the love of God, who do, who do we pick? We gotta... Not, Brothers, we gotta vote for brothers, okay. And she has no brothers, all right. So there you go. I know absolutely nothing about Kate. So we have one vote for brothers, one vote for sisters. What do we know? What do we know about Kate? She has a bunny. Her family is super religious. She got a letter from her aunt telling her she's terrible. X, we got a couple. Okay, a couple more votes for sisters. Uh, we know that she does have a mom, a dad, and sisters. Jabron is sticking with brothers, even though we know there's no brothers. X, another X for sisters. Uh, what else? She used to play the violin every morning and then she stopped. She likes reading. She's a great, she's great at illustrations. Uh, well, I feel awful. I forget all we've learned about her. That's what's the worst. Honestly, Shadow, that's the worst part of this game. And I want you to know that we almost fucked this part up the first time we played it. And I was sobbing. Justina can verify. I was sobbing because I literally was answering every question wrong. I'm going for X, X. Okay, we got mostly X. Okay, legit, I used one note when I play these. How'd that work? <laughs> All right, we're going with X. Does she have sisters? I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. 
This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Don't bring God into this. Let's try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Suicide is a sin. Proverbs 21.15 or Matthew 11.28. Who remembers? Which it's Y'all messed one up though, so now we have this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I read, I want you guys to know there's a reason I went through Kate's entire room. It wasn't for me. It was for y'all. It was for y'all. Bagel and I were devastated and under so much duress, we were fucking crying and wheezing. We took a, like a break after. Okay. Also, let's tell them about how I didn't talk to you for like two full days after we ended the game. There you go. Oh boy. What? Yeah. So we got one B, one for B. One, can I read the Bible first? Sure, Alex. Go for it. You can Google it. B, Matthew. Lock it in. Lock it the fuck in. Let me see those lit fees. Don't quote scripture. She'll definitely jump. No, she's religious. I wasn't here for that. That's a good point to run. Do not say why. We have three for B, four for B. Bagel, I wasn't here for that. I'm so innocent. So I'm innocent once again. <laughs> yeah, why is bad? Yeah, why is bad? Also wasn't here for that. Yeah, if I guess if I ever heard someone say why out loud, loud I'd throw punch them and then jump. B, I guess. B, is there a J option? J for Jesus. Uh, hi, welcome in, Panda. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. B, okay. All three of us legitimately fought about all these options because we were so stressed and missed so much Kate lore earlier in the game. True. All right, mostly Bs. Here we go. Matthew, another one for Matthew. You read? Okay, Proverbs. It is a joy to just do, to the just to do judgment. But, Johnny, what's a panda? It's an animal. I'm changing my answer to X. Okay, but so majority B. So here you go. Did you save her? All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Thank you for the hydrate or dehydrate, Anthony. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Max is so fucking awkward. GG's chat. I want you all to know there is an end. There is a branch of that scene where it does not go well. Now I know today was difficult for everybody, but you I'm did so, so good. Proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Suck it, Madsen. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Tell on him. Tell on him. They had a conversation Mr. earlier. Mr. Prescott. Tell on him. Since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Oh, suck it. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Uh, Please, tell us know. everything. Okay. So, as the final parting shot of episode two, we get to throw one of these three motherfuckers under the bus. I'm gonna put up a poll. Do we, who do we want to blame? Jefferson, David, or Nathan? I'm gonna put up a poll. You guys are gonna have five minutes to decide 
Who we blame it? Question mark. We've got Nathan, we've got David, and we've got Mr. Jefferson. All right, you've got five minutes. If you don't see the poll up at the top, please refresh your chat. I want to get as many opinions as possible on this. I'm going to catch up on chat because that was very intense. Uh, yeah, I remember having to heavy snoop in her room for this scene. Yeah, Jasper, that's, that scene is intense to say the least. The goddamn relief KK's having a conniption, but is now happy because you guys saved Kate. You did it. You saved Kate, everyone. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Uh, oh, thank God. Yes, GG's chat. Yes, we got the W. Baby is safe. You did it. Chat, you were so close to catching a fucking fade from me. I swear to God. Yay, Justina led you well. Justina, yeah, go team. Chat, good, good job on doing well. Good job. All's well then. Well, so Jay worked. Nice. You did it, Panda. You saved the team. Good stuff, team. Hell yeah. Shut up, rent a cop. Exactly. I don't want no smoke. I want to know where the fuck David was because he wasn't sprinting up those stairs. Yeah, what took him so long to get up there? That's a good point. He wasn't going upstairs. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. There were a few questions I've never seen before in other playthroughs. Tense moments here. Yeah. So depending on how you answer the question, it opens up like a whole new branch for everything. So it's it's pretty intense. I hate that motherfucker. So do I. Anyone, anywho, we should stab Nathan right here, right now. I don't think that's how this works. So everyone make sure you vote. It's either going to be Nathan, it's going to be Mr. Jefferson, or it's going to be David, Mr. Madsen, the security cop. So please refresh if you don't see it. If you haven't voted yet, make sure you let your vote know. <laughs> the shadow, I almost died when I saw how to say life pop up on the screen. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Just kidding. She got down from the roof. All right, we're good. We're already a hero. We are the everyday hero, Johnny. Perf Lord, Mr. Jefferson. What? Yeah. Also, Mr. Jefferson acting like, oh, I didn't know anything was wrong. She came up to me in tears and asked me to help her because she was being bullied. But I didn't know anything about that. Fuck you, Mr. Jefferson. Eat my ass. Oh, uh, don't worry about that, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't don't mind me. Uh, womp womp, lol, bitch ass Nate. Yeah, for real. We should start. We should stab Caesar. Uh, that's the energy we need right now, Johnny. Yes. Which one is who? So David Madsen is the security rent a cop. Mr. Jefferson is the creepy teacher that was pretending to have that important phone call while we were staring him down. And Nathan is the young man who doped her up at the party slash tried to kill Chloe in the bathroom slash etc. All the other shit. You know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Nathan is the student. David is rent a cop. Fourth option, all of the above. You can only blame one. That's not how this works, GB. That's not how any of this works. You can only blame one. <laughs> Honestly, if I was in Max's shoe, just the singular shoe, Jefferson, as a professor, he should step in, right? Especially because she went to him. I don't know what's going on, but I'll pick the option with the most votes. Hi, Kai. Welcome home. How are you doing? How's work? Actually, are you still at work or are you home yet? He was fapping in the closet. Ew. <gasps> Pick up. Ew. Nathan doesn't deserve nice things. He deserves ass splinters and bumper taps. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, Nathan, Nathan David Jefferson sounds like such a made up name. Yes, Nathan David Jefferson. It very much is. My Twitch crashed and when I came back, Nate was my vote, but I vote Mr. Jefferson, even though it's still Nate that'll win. Good. You know what? I'll vote Mr. Jefferson for you. There you go. All of the above. I'm changing my answer. There's no all of the above option. You can only choose one. You only get one. I want to blame everyone too. Panda, there's only what you only get one. That's not how any of this works. That's not how any of this works. I don't remember what option does what. We'll find out. I'm home. Welcome home, Kai. Then welcome home. It's good to see you. How was work? They're all to blame, really? Yeah, honestly, it's kind of like I haven't watched it yet, but what I assume 13 Reasons Why is about, there's, there's several people who could be to blame here. In fact, there's so many people that could be to blame here. Thank you for showing everyone my riot ID. Feel free to add me on Valorant. <laughs> I sh I'll change that command eventually, poke. <laughs> I once I when I when I move, I'm going to redo a lot of my streams, so we'll fix a lot of that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Nathan's the young man. He should go to the Y. You guys have about 30 seconds to vote. You could swing the vote in the other direction. It's up to you all. You, you, are, you all call the shots. 
I voted all of the above. Sorry. Imagine you blame the principal like this motherfucker. <laughs> like, this is your establishment to manage. What the fuck is going on here? Exactly. Let's blame the principal. All right. Sounds like you guys all want to nail Nathan's ass. Oh, Lord. Imagine 13 reasons why I like the strange crossover. <gasps> that would be so funny. I wouldn't blame David. If people really wanted to get on that roof, they would find a way. True. I thought this was Valorant when you... <laughs> yeah, this entire experience has just been Valorant. This is a Valorant mod. This We're actually playing Valorant. This is, I'm a Valorant only streamer. Uh, it's fine. I was instantly shut up. You're fine, Mojito. That was so funny. The ultimate blame, in my opinion, is Nathan because he's the one who started everything with his actions. Also true. All right. Valorant dating sim. <gasps> Omen. Okay. All right. You guys voted for Nathan. Let's nail his ass to the wall, baby. Wait, this is Valo. You winning? Oh, we're winning. We won. Our team just won like a really big match. All right. Nathan dosed her. Boom. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. Suck it! She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? That's Go for the throat! Slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Get him! Including me. Get him! And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. <sighs> Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. Who, a me? friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. But... I think I can use my power. All right, there's no going back. We voted. We voted. We voted. That last scene was our rank up game. It really was. Yeah, don't get me started on how adapt adaptation absolutely ruined the storyline of 13 Reasons Why. I, I never saw it. I used to have 300k channel points. What happened, Nikki? Did you vote against me? Any day now, Max. It's so nice to hang out here in this This office. is the ace. Yeah, rank up. Actually, very true. Max should have turned it around and been like, you principal, since I tried warning you. True. I hate those cocky kids. Yeah, get shit on it. We're signing the statement. Maybe don't let him near his book bag. We did it. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Mm -hmm. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. Good. I know this has been a stressful day. That's an understatement. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Understatement of the year. Suck it. I voted against you so there would be more points in the pool. Thank you, Nikki, for your contribution. Why is that so bright? God damn. Hello? And second, Your Honor, I bring in my surprise I witness. I believe it was Chloe. happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. Hella sunset, bro. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one and a half times. Warren, <laughs> Warren why I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? 
The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. What happened? Ew! The way I he. You, Warren. <laughs> I believe anything this week. The way he just tried to take advantage of her being chilly to move in closer like that. Nah. 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 Mm -mm. She's given him nothing but no vibes. She has been like, ain't no way, Warren. This is a no-fly zone. And this man still thinks he has a fucking shot. He thinks he has a shot. Warren, simmer down. Soundtrack in this game is so good. I know. It's beautiful. I love all of the Life is Strange soundtrack. Oh no, are you having a freak out alone in your car? Oh no, are you sitting with your uncomfortable feelings? Like, about how scared you are for being a terrible person, Victoria? Why are you looking at her like that? I'm very happy you guys saved Kate, because if you didn't, I don't think I would be able to forgive any of you. <laughs> I'm very happy you didn't fuck that up. Just saying. <laughs> Just throw that out there, everyone. <sighs> Sorry about Kate. I hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. soundtrack to this game is my hill to die on okay hear me out though before the storm soundtrack mostly daughters fucking it just fucking i'm mad just imagine if you misclicked oh uh yeah panda that's how ben happened oh what's that a creepy book about kate with photos of kate next to one about rachel Okay, I love looking at all these chart. I love looking at all these choices afterwards. Give me a second. I'm gonna we're gonna catch up on chat. Uh, but yeah, hold on. Okay, so hold on. Uh, if the teacher didn't glitch, I would have gotten those points. Pokito, I am so confident that I would have been able to get past the teacher that I will. Uh, I will this year. Mark my words. You can clip this and keep it to torture me at a later date if I forget. I will replay Poppy Playtime three. And I will get through that teacher section in under five deaths. And I will do a I will do a double or nothing. I will double down. We will we will double down. Like I will I will legit put something big on the line because I am so confident that I would have been so good at that section, regardless if she got rigged or not. Or if she got glitched or not. I am so confident. So you clip this, you remember this. Mark my words, I will replay it and I will conquer that section. And I will show you that the over 50 crew would not have won either way. Oh my God, Warren, please shut up. Yeah, Warren, we've told you no under like no circumstances, man. No circumstances. Warren's so quirky. Yeah, Warren, please shut up. Warren's so creepy. Yes, Warren's a where my hug at kind of guy. He really is. He really is. Warren's pretty, seems pretty ch chiffrone. You. I can't with you. Warren seems pretty chill, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, no touchy manhandling us. Yes, manhandling. Manhandling. 
Wait, what's wrong with that? We have told him under no circumstances, like we're not interested in him. We've told him we're not interested in him like 500 times. And this man is not getting it. This man's is not getting it. Warren for sure sniff her undies when he visits. Yes. Man's needs a Valentine's Day date. Are you going to hook him up? Uh, he definitely would think he had a shot. Like, had we told Girly we like him? Yeah, he would definitely think he had a shot. Nathan probably get probably happy he gets time off school. That's true. Can I pet that dog? Yeah, we gotta pet the puppy. Pupper, yes, there's a severe lack of cats in this game. Yeah, there should be cats. There should be, there's a precious girl, Kate. Yeah, I would have gone to live in the woods like a feral dog. <laughs> oh my God, because there would be less depression. Yeah, if there were cats in the game, there would be less depression, like hands down. Uh, hey, Chloe, remember the girl you got mad at for calling me? Yeah, well, how's this, how's this for your news update for the day, bitch? God, Chloe, so toxic. Serial killer shit. Daughters is so good, really. Yes. Why I say grace, justice for Kate. We need a justice for Kate emote. <gasps> yeah. Thankfully, we don't. Before the storm soundtrack is the best. Yes, gas station Rogers. Yes. Before the storm soundtrack is it. I literally, no joke. I just listen to numbers on repeat. Like, like I've been listening to numbers on repeat for like four weeks. Because it's such a good song. Remember when I heard the first song they did for that soundtrack pop up? I was like, what? Yeah, numbers. Numbers. Bet. Do it. Do it. Okay, fine. Let's let's do it. What glitched happened? Is there a clip? There's no clip because everyone thinks that I got out of Poppy Playtime scot-free because one of the bad guys didn't get me enough. By the way, I found a pic of my mom as a kid and my niece is like her twin. Okay. I was just about to whisper the word banshee. Can we talk about how we went from like high school kids are terrible to like Nikki's mom is a banshee to like like family trauma to like license photos to like fucking waffle fries today has been a day but these are my favorite type of days honest to god i love i love our collective hamley adhd so much can i just say that can i just say i love our collective adhd so much i just i love it the teacher didn't follow her like it was supposed to i think i would have been fine i would have been fine absolutely unhinged the amount of people that chose not to tell the police and also chose to fucking shoot frank on site <laughs> oh sounds like a good road trip not gonna lie it's been a great day today has been a great day uh we are <laughs> we're so random we're so quirky. i'm trying to decide if i want to end stream or not do you guys want to keep hanging out for a bit Thank you for the drown me. I'm gonna have to pee because you guys keep making me hydrate. So Bagel cheated? What do you mean? I didn't cheat. One day I want to introduce someone to Life is Strange by having them play before the storm before the first game so they see the events in the order that they happened. Honestly, I I think that's fantastic. But yes, but no, because I feel like half of, I feel like, oh, I can't say too much. I can't say too much because there are people who haven't seen it yet, who haven't seen the game all the way through, and I don't want spoilers. But like, Gas Station Rogers, put a pin in this. We're gonna come back to this conversation once we're done with the game. We're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to this conversation because like, I think half. I think half of this game, the game, is as good as it is because of the fucking plot twist. You you know what I mean? Like if you know, you know. I just woke up. How's Kate? Kate's alive, Camilla. We did it. <laughs> we did it. The Hamley did it. Y'all live in a lawless world. Yes, rank up. No, I didn't cheat. Look at the squirrel. What do you mean, look at the squirrel? What do you mean, look at the squirrel? I say play the next episode because I'm unhinged. You guys, that would be, it took me nine hours to get through the first episode or through the second episode. I know, Kate's breathing, yeah. Did you save her the first time you played? Yes, I saved her the first time I played, but only because I was having a manic episode and screaming. I was just screaming. Next episode, I will, I don't know if we'll do the next episode, but we can hang out more. I don't know, maybe we'll play something else. Uh, what's nine more hours? I have stuff to do tomorrow. Can we have a vote? In Discord general chat, he's growling, examine his majesty. Okay, I'll look at the squirrel. I don't think I saved Kate. You didn't know. I have returned. Welcome back. Thank you for the lurk, Noxler. How have you been? I hope you're doing well. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, after this. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll look at this first. Oh, I have hiccups. All right. So out of time. We uh, only... 
where? Hello? Where's my mouse? Uh, you told Kate to go to the police or you told to wait Kate to wait for more proof. So we had like a 53, 47 split there. So not the worst here. Let me turn my camera off so you guys can see everything. Give me two seconds. Um, boink. Give me four more seconds. Uh, Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Okay, so uh, we answered Kate's call. 82% of people answered Kate's call and 18% of people savagely did not answer Kate's phone call. So can I point out terrible friends, terrible. 49% uh, versus, it was a 49-51% split. So 51% of people tried to shoot Frank and 49 did not and we were in the latter category. Uh, 29% of people could not save Kate's life. We were in the 71% that did save Kate's life. Good job, Hamley. I'm so proud of you. Is it Valo time? Potentially? I don't know yet. We'll find out. 66% uh, of the people who played this game blamed Nathan. 24% blamed Mr. Jefferson and 10% blamed David. But we were in the majority for 66 blaming Nathan. Uh, we didn't water our plant. We were in the minority. 42%. We helped Alyssa move out of the way of the toilet papers. We were in the majority of 65%. Uh, we erased the late link to Kate's video. 92% oh, of people erased the link. 8% didn't. What the fuck? It's because he's a little shit. Yes, he is a little shit. 54% uh, of us were friendly with Taylor, but that was a very close split too. 54 versus 46. Uh, we, uh, 29. We were in the minority of rejecting Warren's invitation. Look, he comes on too strong. Okay, because fuck Nathan, true. 8% might have missed the link. It's true, it's true. 8% of them might have missed the link. It's true, we won't blame them. Uh, let's see, 40% of people wrote a message. Uh, or no, sorry, 40% of people didn't write Max is here because it's weird to insert themselves into that situation. So we were in the minority, but the majority is like, what? 70% uh, of people tampered with the rail tracks. We did. We did. We did, so we were in the 70% majority. 55% uh, gained entry to the Vortex Club party. So we have the option of the party here. This will be interesting to go to the Vortex party. 51% uh, didn't help. What do you mean we didn't help Warren? I thought we did. Did we not? Wait, did we not help Warren? Okay, apparently I misread that entire situation and I was just so annoyed having to talk to Warren. We fucked up. Uh, and then 73% uh, of people told on David to Mr. Jefferson. So we told on David for stalking Kate to Mr. Jefferson. And we were in the majority of that, but it doesn't matter because Mr. Jefferson didn't do shit either. So Warren is so modest. Jabron, you're trolling. I blame them, true. I'm blaming them personally. Yeah, I feel that. All right, uh, so then our friend stats. I think I've only had one other friend or like only a couple other friends play, uh, but we were 50-50 with the proof. 100% of me, my friends, answered Kate's call. You go, Kate. you go, Glen Coco. 100% of us did not shoot Frank. We were 50-50 on saving Kate's life. <gasps> no, which one of my friends suffered the trauma of not saving Kate's life? No, who didn't save Kate's life? Uh, and then we were 50-50 with blaming David and Nathan. 100% uh, uh, watered the plant. I didn't water the plant though, so I'm zero. Oh wait, no, that's just my friends. Oh, okay, so that's just my friends. I'm in the 0% for not watering my plant. Okay. 50-50 uh, helped Alyssa. Uh, race the link to Kate's video was 50-50. Friendly with Taylor was 50-50. Rejected Warren's invitation. 100%. All my homies hate Warren. Chicka, 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 chicka. All my homies hate Warren. Can we get some all my homies hate Warrens in the chat? <laughs> He's just a guy being a dude. Yeah, there's no, there's supposed to be a third option that you missed. What do you mean there's a third option that I missed? Oh, for the plant? Oh, maybe like dumping like the soda on it or something? Possibly. Warren is just another dude that's figuring things out. Yeah, all my homies hate Warren. Chicka, 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 bow, wow, wow. All my homies hate Warren. <laughs> that's actually a GTA song. It's all my homies hate Vagos, as in the gang. 
Why is there so much hate against Warren? I don't know, he gives that vibe, man. Uh, 50-50, wrote a message, didn't write a message. 100% tampered with the rail tracks, but I didn't tamper with the rail tracks, apparently. 50-50 uh, on the Vortex party. 100% of me and my homies didn't help Warren. Because again, I would like to point out, all my homies hate Warren. Chicka, 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 chicka. 100% uh, of me and my friends told on David to Mr. Jones. So I find that very interesting. Uh, kind of like a split, split, fitty, fitty type of a thing. So there's that. All right, we're continuing. We will, Life is Strange, we'll be back in episode three, Chaos Theory. But we are not starting the new episode. We're starting the new episode. Do you guys just want a taste of it? No, we, we can't start the new episode. We can't start the new episode, right? We can't, no. We can't start the no. No. We can't start. So, oh god, it's starting. Okay, it's starting. Okay, I'll just give you guys a taste for next time and then we're gonna start it. One episode per week. I know. You can't give a taste. I'm giving a taste. Enjoy the taste. Taste will spoil our appetite. It's literally, unless I control alt delete this, the first taste is free. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I can't. It's not letting me stop it. Oh, hi, Alexa. What are you doing, baby? Oh, I should feed my cats. Yo, I forgot to feed my cats. They're starving. I like one episode a week. I do too. I don't know what. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now it's letting me quit. I just had to do the cinematic. Okay. And we're quitting. So you guys will get to see that when we play next. Now the question is, are we still hanging out or am I ending stream? What did you all think? Boo wants second dinner. I have to feed my cats first dinner. Hanging out. Uh, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is like the time of night where I'd go hang out with all my homies. Are you cool with me hanging out with the homies? Uh, it's the motherfucking rank up day song. I think this is a sign. Feed cats, get a shot, then let's do stuff. You had to sneak the get a shot in there. Go hang with the homies. You guys are cool with me hanging with the homies. All right, I might get two more shots. <laughs> Justina, are you excited to babysit me tomorrow? When's the last time you went clubbing and how did it go? Oh, you guys are cool enough to go clubbing? I ain't, I ain't never been clubbing. What do you mean? What do you mean clubbing? Depends if that guy, Spartan guy is a homie, God no. Uh, yeah, go hang if this is your time. Oh, okay. hang. Uh, we're gonna have so much fun. You're gonna be hanging out with me. And it's great. I've went clubbing. It's so boring. I've never been to a club. Yeah, I went bar hopping yesterday. How was it? Clubs, you? It was meh. I've never been clubbing. Okay, I gotta feed my cats and I have to pee. I've had so much water and tequila. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put us on a quick BRB. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna grab some more tequila, allegedly. Uh, and then we're gonna, maybe we'll play like a couple rounds of Valorant or something. How does that sound? Does that sound good? 12, 13. We'll do piss it at... God damn it, KK. I'll be right back. Thank you for the hydrate or dihydrate, Spartan. I have to go feed and then pee on my cat. Is that what I said? I'm not peeing on my cats. It's a motherfucking rank up day. It's a motherfucking rank up day. It's a motherfuck. No, it's not a rank up day. It's just the rank up day song. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna put you guys on a BRB. I'm going to pee, comma, and then I will um feed my cats. Uh, while I'm gone, spam the chat with your favorite quotes. 
Or if you want to discover new quotes, exclamation point quote in the chat. Oh, you guys, it's the good playlist again. They brought all the good songs back. I'm so happy. Okay, we're hold on. We're pausing this. We're coming back to all these good songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the fucking good songs. It's a motherfucking Rank Up Day song. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, learn more about what you want. Twenty. Yo, we're about to fuck with this. God damn it, Tempest. I'll be back in two seconds. You're all, you're all in trouble. You're in all trouble. Y'all are in fucking trouble. promise you that uh bagel i know you already do this but if you can go nuts through as many of your camera filters as possible including the potato and corn that would be fruitful <sighs> fuck 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 oh apparently this is a filter fuck 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 Fuck. Hey. Is that what you wanted, <laughs> Raptor? Is that... Is... But I found another map fragment. <laughs> I need a minute. We're just about to say that, Carter. I am. Keep fighting. I'm not okay. I love how this filter makes your eyeballs huge. Thanks. Get out of my head. Get out of my head, Carter. <sighs> love you. Y'all sound like it. Okay, so unfortunately, there's so many fucking things to search, but we did see the ending of the game. I'm assuming there. No. I started from the bottom, now the whole team- Ah, it's a spider! Oh god, it was in the water! Eh. Okay, no. Alright, alright, alright. I am an adult. I am 75 years old. I should be capable of doing this. Right? Right. Right? Right. You're dying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is how we solve things in my day and age. You kids these days, you just give up too easily. Some of us had to stack objects on top of a lawnmower. God damn it, a lawnmower. <gasps> I look like cat girl. I could be cat girl bagel. What is this? Oh my God. You guys clapping while I change into clothes. <gasps> I'm the princess now. Garen for Pete. Okay. <clears throat> Secret note. March 8th, 1996. Sex. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Yes, you can have any meat you want. Have the water. Hello, I'm. I have found myself in some water. Oh my god, there's sharks! <laughs> of course, there fucking is. Ah, well, those right behind me, but you gotta go to the stairs. That's what it is. You gotta find the stairs. Uh, I'm not going in there's the water. There's stairs over here. Come back to me. Oh, I died. There was a shark. I have oh. died. There's a fucking well. officer with a gun here. It wouldn't hurt to try. All right, let's go give Leather Daddy the old reach around. Can we stay with Tuba Daddy then? Say it again, Dexter. I'm a fucking taco. Thanks. Anyway, there you go. You were so close. She won't say it. I'm so, look, here's the thing. I said it. I just said it with zero enthusiasm. That's all. So if she's not coming out, we got to go in and get her.
Beck flicked a large sheet of paper out of her pocket and slammed it on the floor. Maybe this will help. You have blueprints? Well, it's really just a welcome. I'm back with an orange boy, but he already hates it. It's Kevin! <gasps> What's going on? What do you see? Did you just try to bite my face? 